Let's go. All right. So first thing we got to do is make sure that my inventory is working properly, which it is good. That's working exactly like I want it to. We need to put some of this stuff up because it's annoying this in my inventory. We need to go make this. We got to grab out a seed. We got to grab this thing right here. We got to get a bucket. Oh, experience, which we got to come over here and grab. It's my I forgot that I built all this stuff in front of this. This is awful. Um, where is did I get a bucket of experience? Bam. All right. This will give me the seed right here. Tax sauce coming in with a prime sub. Thank you. Or no nope, resub tier one resub. Thank you, dude. Thank you for the five months. I appreciate you. Goodbye, chicken. Happy birthday, Darko. Happy birthday, Darko. That's for Dark Osto, by the way. I'm pretty sure. I want to say dude's making Sky Factory five. If you didn't know about it, he's actually pretty dope. All right, goodbye, Elder Guardian Spawner. You are now a phantom. Turn that sucker on. Goodbye. Is it going to spawn the phantoms? Do we know? We got phantoms. Oh, God, this is a problem. Oh, God, this is actually a problem. We got to have a mob fan to take care of these guys, but we don't really need a whole lot of the, the phantom membrane, so maybe we just don't turn this on for long. Oh, God. How many phantom membranes we have? We just need a little. Not a lot, of, but a little. Okay, we're going to turn this off for now. Okay, that was not what I expected. Do we have any more phantom membranes in this backpack? Phantom membranes. 42. Perfect. That's all we need. Great. All right. So phantom membranes. The reason why I needed this is because this makes the moon of badur dust. And we need the moon of badur dust because that's part of the, the things that we needed. Okay. So moon of, what what am I missing here? This arcane crystal dust. Boo, 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 boo. And so this is actually going to make us a couple of things, but first is going to make us some Ariel that we need. So while the pedestals are down, you actually have to put them on the pedestals, which is kind of annoying. So you have to put them here. You can't, it doesn't generate aura unless it's on one of these where the pedestals go. So this is just going to be here to generate us some aura. And so you can actually break these two and pick them up. They're not just like one and done. So once you right click this, that'll generate us some Ariel right here. So there's 254. And so let's go ahead and make some more arcane crystal powders or whatever. I think we're good on dust. Arcane crystal blocks. Let's go ahead and make, wait, don't I have a, oh, okay, wait, hold on. I got some right there. Let's go ahead and make a couple more of these just so we can fill the Ariel up for now. And then we're going to go check on some things here. Bam, two, three, four. And so these will, like I said, once you break these, you can pick them back up, but you have to put these on these spots for these to work. And this is just to generate us some Ariel so we don't have to make a bunch of bottles. It'll do it over time. I don't know how many, hello. Hello. That's that's kind of slow. I'm not going to lie, but we got a lot of blood, though. It's got 9000 blood in here. Yo, QZ, thank you for that re resub as well. Six months. No, hold on a second. Time out. That's six months in advance. Jesus. That's six months in advance. Oh, my God. That's a brand new tier one six months in advance. Hello. Hello, six months? Taxiles with a resub and QZ with a six months in advance. What? You you just sub for half a year? Hello? That's huge. Can we get some hype for that? Oh my God. That's insane. That's insane right now. I don't know if you get that ref reference. Dude, thank you. Thank you for that six months out. That's actually crazy. Thank you. Oh my God. That's wild. That's actually wild. Oh man. All right. We're going to jump back in. Okay. We're going to jump back in. Let's jump back in. So we want to wait for this stuff right here to fit, uh, generate Ariel, but to level up this thing to the next tier, which we need the Hephaestus Forge here. We need a total of 500 Ariel. We need four spawner scraps, four arcane crystals, and then Edelwood planks in the middle. And then we're going to hit it again with a gavel. So I do have to make a gavel, but otherwise, uh, this is actually not so bad. This is one of the things we need for the star. So I'm keeping it in my inventory. Um, this will generate some Ariel, which is actually not too bad. We just need to get to 500, which I want to say that I have some more bottles over here of Ariel somewhere. Uh, Ariel bottles are, you can actually make. Uh, I've said that before, but these bottles are actually not that hard to make. You just need arcane crystal dust plus potions of regeneration too. Um, I'm just grabbing them all. I'm gonna grab them whatever I can find here. Pretty sure I had some in this chest too. Nope, that's it. 
And so you can shove these in there and it'll make you some Ariel and then that'll boost it up. So when this is 500, we're going to go ahead and upgrade to tier two, which is, should be easy. And then we're going to place these back to generate the Ariel back again. So it should be kind of close. Yes. Uh, let's put up some of my stuff in my inventory. We're going to need to make one of the gavels from forbidden to do this forbidden. Um, gavel. So you can make any kind of gavel iron works. You just need a blacksmith head and then you need this. And so it doesn't really matter what it is. And so as soon as this gets 500, which it does, you can break these. Should give you the crystal pylons. We need to break all of them. Or the obelisk, rather. Good thing those stack, right? All right, so now we need to put the pedestals down. All right, this is where we need those four spawner scraps. We, I think I have some in my dank, right? Pretty sure my dank has some in it because I break those all the time. Spawner scraps. Spawner scraps. Do we put some in here? Okay. I know I got some over here in this bag because I've broken some before. 23 of them. Okay. So we need four of these plus we need the arcane crystals. We need four of these. And so what you do is you put one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and then you hit it with the gavel. And then make sure that the particles are on. Oh yeah, I need the edelwood planks in the middle. Edel, edelwood plank in the middle. You just put it inside of here and then you hit it with the gavel. Bam. I like the little tink sound that it makes. And this will upgrade the forge to the next tier. Any day now. Any day now. Any day now. Any day now. Well, well, let's go look to see what the next tier version is. Uh, tier three takes four door Diorium ingots, four arcane crystals, and a chiseled polish. We need a thousand Ariel, fifty souls. We got the souls. We got the blood. And so this is the next tier that we need. So we're gonna go ahead and break these. And we're going to put the Ariel back on here. We can make the Ariel, but we're actually going to leave this just so it can just start generating and it can get to those thousand on its own. I like these crystal obelisks. I really love the way they look. Forbidden is actually one of my favorite mods for just the way it looks. All right, so it has the 50 souls it needs in here and needs a bunch of blood, which is why we already generated all the blood that we have. So we're going to let this go and soak in there. And so that one of the next steps is we need to come over here and make some recipes for power. So I don't know if I've done this yet, but we need to make the a couple of recipes we need to make. I don't know if I've made the nitro energizing rods energizing. Do we make the nitro ones or we have the recipe for the nitro ones? We do not. OK, so we need to make the recipes for the nitro energizing rods. I'm going to make a couple of these. Um, we also need to make the recipes for the player transmitter, which I already have one. I think I actually just. Because it needs an aerial port or pearl, it's actually just annoying to craft up. I've already got one. And so I just need to make all the stuff for the hard one going up, which is all of the same recipes. I can just make that on my own. We do need the batteries, though. The batteries are one of the things that needs to be you need to have the recipe for um, because the batteries can stack up and you need two of these to make um, the star to finish the star. Rather, uh, we got to go all the way up to niotic or not niotic um, nitro. And it's perfect because now my inventory is full. All right, that's still fine. My inventory is so full, I'm sick of it. That hammer can go in the garbage can. I don't need that anymore. Let's go fill this blood back up over here because this blood vial should be finished. Um, how much blood is in here right now? I'm pretty sure it was 9,000, right, to finish the next one. Where is the Hephaestus Forge? Right here. It's 9,000 to go from two to three. And so that should be the 9,000 that we need right there. And so that's fine. We don't need any more souls. We've got them all. We just need the thousand Ariel and then everything else is done for that. Um, so we're going to put up these real quick. We're going to put the Munda Binder Dust because to make the um, Forbidden, you need to make these right here, the Eternal Stella. So you just need three X Petrified and one Stellarite, which we should over here have X Petrified, X Petrified. Yeah, we have plenty of that. Do we have Stella? We should have plenty of stellars. Okay, so we're good on Forbidden. We just got to wait for the Ariel at this point, which is good. All right, so we've made the recipes for this. We're also going to need to teach the Power Orb how to make 
um, what is it called? This is from all the modium. We need to make the alloys. So we need to make a couple of alloys here. We need to teach it how to make this one. I will have to teach it how to make these blocks. I will have to teach it how to make this alloy. And we will have to teach it how to make this. I don't think actually this alloy is used for anything now that I think about it. This alloy is actually not used for anything other than the basic stuff. So those three are the only ones that I need to do. Spawn in the mining dimension? No, not a whole lot of things spawn in the mining dimension, to be honest with you, which is one of the reasons why it's kind of like, meh. we're going to go ahead and teach this how to do this. All right. And so right now we need to go ahead and tell this to go ahead and make me some nitro energizing rods. Go ahead and make me like 20 of these. And so that should be able to make all of them. It's going to take a little while because it does have to zap all these. I need to go and turn my video settings, my uh, particles off because it's too much. And then this is fine. All this is good. We're going to need some more room over there. Let's check on this. Make sure it doesn't have a thousand Oriel already. So that's going to go faster than I expected. So the alloys, we need to go get some more unobtainium. And so what we need to do is we need to grab the unobtainium out of here and we need to make a charm and then just go mine it because we don't really need a whole lot of unobtainium. Uh, do we have any platinum ore hammers in here? We do not. Let's go ahead and craft one. Missing platinum? I guess we'll just melt some platinum down real quick. So I'm just going to hit shift K on this and put that in there and then just make another platinum ore hammer so we can double it. You could triple it if you wanted to, but I'm not about that life. Um, you could quadruple it with uh, cultism as well. But I, like I said, I don't really care. Um, so we're going to smelt these down and then we're going to go ahead and grab out our mortar and pestle and we're going to grab out an ender pearl so we can get just one will work. This will grab it all in here. We're going to go ahead and grab that out because I need that. Nick! Nick with the 500 bits. Thank you, my dude. Dude, thank you. Thank you for the 500 bits. I appreciate that. What's up with you, man? It's good to see you. We're going to go ahead and go back over here. We're going to take this water. One, two, three. Where is our brewing stand? Do we have our brewing stand here? It's somewhere in this mix, right? Or am I tripping? Do I have a brewing stand in here? I guess we're going to a brewing stand, right? Is it over here? Is it all gone? It's faster just to make one. All right. One, two, three, redstone, blaze powder. I don't know why this doesn't work. I should automatically have some blaze powders, but this works. All right. Just got back from work. All set in class until Tuesday. That's dope, dude. Well, I hope you're doing well. Let's see. Let's get that going. Let's see. This is at 557. By the time we get some more alimonium, we should be good to go. Or unobtainium. We also do need some vibranium. Usually I would make the vibranium. Um, I think I do. I want to make vibranium. Let's see. Vibranium. We have eight ingots right now, and we have this raw aluminum ore, our vibranium ore. We are going to go mine this, too, because it doesn't take that long to mine this. If you go to the nether, it's, like, really, really quick. So we're going to do the same thing here. This just dings, so this is ready. So we're going to go ahead and grab out another ender pearl. We're going to grab out these two. My crafting, if my crafting gets too fast or it gets to the point where you're like, oh, my God, I can't see straight, I understand. I'm fast with my crafting. Go smelt this down over here. Now smelt it out. That means we need three more glass bottles. Uh, one, two, three. We need one more redstone. I think we're solid on... Um, I'm pretty sure we're solid on nether stars. That's usually the thing that I'm kind of worried about, but I'm pretty sure we're solid on it. Oh, I put one back in the water. Also. Pretty sure we're solid. All right, we're going to take these, do just like this. One, two, three. Unobtainium. Unobtainium, and then we're going to get this. This one should be finished relatively soon. Um, <clears throat> if I remember correctly, we need 252 unobtainium ingots. So that's going to be fun. While this is building, we're just going to go straight back to the end. We'll come back later and worry about this. Oh, we needed a RTP here. 
and then hopefully this makes it where I'm still in a chunk generation. So the in midlands are pretty annoying. Where's my destruction gadget? I'm going to use this to get all this on obtainium that I can. Oh God, I clicked the wrong thing. If that guy hits me, I swear. Oh, can I please stop flying so fast? That's the one thing I don't like about jetpacks is how fast you fly. Like when you don't want to fly that fast, you're just like, wee. I wish you could like vein mine these. I, I don't know why. It doesn't make any sense to not vein mine them. This guy, I thought I teleported him. Want to take him there? Okay, I was kind of confused there for a second. Good morning, Code Meister. How you doing? He he got teleported. Get wrecked, nerd. I love that joke. That's a good one. Can I please get this without you hitting me? These guys are just annoying at this point. I love that joke. That's a good one, though. They said you sound like an owl. Woo! Yo, thank you for the 100 bits, Puck. You can enchant the helmet with air affinity? I can. But I feel like I don't want to take the time to find air affinity. Realistically, I'm going to need more than that. We're we'll gonna be about to do a double whammy here. How, he didn't even touch me. Okay, this would be faster if it wasn't for the fact that these Endermen are literally just annoying. He's just annoying. He's not even doing anything special. You just sit there and smile until they get it? Exactly. Exactly. Usually I'm all down for the intermittent overhaul, but that this is just kind of like annoying-ish. Because it's like, bro, why do you keep teleporting me? You don't have to teleport me. We could be good. We could be good friends. I wonder if that dude's trying to fight me. Well, he can't fight me anymore. Okay. Who is teleporting me? There's no one even around. Panther gal! With a 35 months! Thank you. I appreciate that. How are you doing? It's good to see you, Panther gal. I hope you're doing well. Yo, thank you again, by the way, Puck, for the 100 bits. Nick, for the 500 bits. I appreciate y'all. That joke is really, really good, though. I ain't gonna lie. That joke is really good. They send out like a shulker bolt that teleports you. That is so annoying. Ah, uh, hey, Albator, how you doing? Panther, I'll thank you for the 35 months. I appreciate you. Welcome, welcome back. Try not to freeze to death here. How cold is it there? All right. Are these teleportation bo bolts? That is the teleportation bolts. Who sent it? I'm an owl. Just hit me with it. Who is sending these? Hey, this is, I was mining. I don't even know where I was mining because I got teleported so many times. That's where I'm at right now. Cause I, there's just so much, there's so many. I don't even know if I got it all. Is that, do I have another one that's going to teleport me? I should have something to deflect projectiles. Slam my head into the, I'm going to slam my ax into them. Not my axe. Those are different things. I don't have an axe, to be honest with you. Oh God, just got to commit at this point. Uh, we're going to need like two stacks ish. I wish you could vein mine this. That'd be real nice. So slow for me. I don't know. I, well, you can't vein mine, so you can't vein mine these. I wish you could, but you can't. It's unfortunate, but sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. I got efficiency on a sucker, but it's not that efficient, you know? 
All right, I wonder, that's what, this is 128, 200, and, okay, that's 256 with these two. Do we have any more over here that we can get? Yeah, 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 yeah. This one was just sticking its little head out. Go get some brekkie lunch. You can do whatever you want to. I believe in you, psycho. What, have you not eaten yet? Bro, we always eat around here. I thought you were doing it just away because of fortune. No, you can't vein mine these. Unfortunately, you cannot. I wish you could. That'd be dope. All right. So there's all the unobtainium that I need. Let's head back home. Or I get teleported again. Let's see here. We're going to double this all with our platinum ore hammer. Let's get a bunch of it. Smelt it all down. And that will be what we're going to use for the star stuff in a little bit. I wish you could, I wish you could uh, vein mine it, but no, alas. Teleport to once you're home. That would, I would lose my mind. All right, how much are we already having here? A thousand? Okay, so we can upgrade this to tier three. If I remember correctly, the Eternal Stella is actually not that hard to do. We have the Discord Thalamon's 9 team. You can always ask them to change it. Uh, that's a that's a specific mod change. Vortex made that change. He made it to where you can't vein mine these things because it's making it where you can't get it with a quarry. Um, um, he is the uh, dev for the all the mod stuff, like the actual all the modium mod. And so he doesn't want anybody. Well, it's not just him, but he does. He doesn't. Nobody. They don't want all the modium to be mined by quarries because then you could just cheese a lot of it. All right. So now we need to level two. Level two. Need uh, level two to three. Four arcane crystals. And then what was the other thing? I just saw it. Diorum. Oh, we only have two. We need to go and grow some more. So let's grab some bone meal. And let's go get some more nuggets real quick. What's the projected time? I think I'll probably get this done in... I want to say that I can get this done in the next three or four hours, maybe. You just place your pedestals in the A spots next to the center. Does it work? I thought you have to put the pedestals on those spots. I didn't know. I don't know. Does it work like that? Or does the pedestals just have to be somewhere on the thing? Because if I can put the pedestals there, I'll do it. It works. Bro, if that's the case, then we're just going to keep generating Ariel. If, if that actually works. I will absolutely do this. Because I know the crystals or whatever only work in those spots. Because I tested that before. But I could be wrong. Unless there's a different way. Do these these are generating? Okay. Um, what is in the center of this one? Center of this one is chiseled polished dark stone. So we could just get dark stone out here. We have any chiseled polished dark stone? And so we can just grab this. Chiseled polished dark stone. Put this up so I don't accidentally delete everything. That in the middle. And then, so now we got to do the four of these and the four of these. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then we get our gavel. We click it. Right? There it goes. For then, except for dinner time. Ooh, what a frosty fee. How you doing? Sad my 22 hour, 16 minute guess was wrong. It would be right if I did. I probably messed around. This is my first time doing nine, so. Um. It would be right if I wasn't, like, I, I had a lot. I did spend too much time doing things I shouldn't have. Okay, so the next thing we want to make here is we want to do um, the Eternal Stella. So this needs 82 Aureole apiece, one soul. So we need four souls here, a thousand blood. Do we, How much blood do we have in here? None. How many souls do we have in here? Nine. How many blood? How much? We need one soul apiece. So we needed 82 Aureole apiece. So we have enough for that. And now we just need the blood. We need to go get these bloods, feel the blood filled. You have to hit things with this to make it work. I left, I don't want to miss it. Um, I will make an announcement for everybody at the end of this. I promise. Oh wait, I forgot these guys are already up.
Things just moved on their own down there, which is kind of weird. I think it's 1,000 blood per thing, right? And I need four of them. That's enough blood right there. We're going to turn this on and kill everything. Okay, that's going to go in there. Hello? I'm going to hit Control O here is the key bind to take those off, so that way I can serve the blood in here. And so while the blood is going, we need the Eternal Stella or the Stella right pieces. Um, thankfully, we don't. We needed three of four of these, and we needed the X Petrified Ore. This actually gives you experience. I don't know if y'all know that or not. So we need one, two, three, and then one Stella right piece, and then you need the gavel. And once it has everything, so it just needs a thousand blood in here. I don't think the X. I don't think it actually needs. I don't think this needs experience, does it? No, no experience. Thousand blood, one soul, eighty-two Ariel. So that should be enough. And so it needs a piece of diamond right in the middle. So diamond. So it needs a diamond right in the middle. So bam. And so now it's all done. We hit it with a gavel and I'll complete that. <sighs> yep, those are phantoms. How did this guy get out here? Also, how is he walking around? How did that work? I'm so confused right now. How did he get out here? There's the Eternal Stella. There's one of them. We need three of those. I'm so confused. How did that guy get out? I don't know how he got out. Why am I? Why? How did he get out? How? And he had AI too. That's kind of weird. Magic? That's weird. That's what that is. That's real weird. We still got to go mine for some couple other things before we do anything here, which is kind of rough. I love how clean my backpack is. So clean. Oh, hold on. There's number two. I don't know if I have enough stuff for this. Wither Houdini skeleton? It was freaking Houdini. How are those nitro crystals, those nitro things? That's totally how you spell nitro. How are those making? Oh, we got 20. How many of the universal pipes do we have? We're going to need more than 45. It'll make me 192. Hurry up and be done. Do we have enough RL for all of this? Okay, cool. All right. And now we need one more and we have all the eternal cellars that we have. The world's eye is going to be fun. We actually probably should just go ahead and do that golden fibers. What is it called? Um, it's nature's fiber. This one right here. This is what we need. We need to go ahead and get some trees growing with this. I don't know if we have all of that though. I need some leaves for that. Can I make some leaves with the nature essence? No. Well, so I just hit it. I was like, okay. All right. Four eternal cellars are done. Cool. Nature, that's all done, so we can go ahead and split that one. So that's done. Uh, we need to go ahead and get these alloys going because they actually take the longest. Um, let's do the ultimate. Let's grab these. Okay. And so where's my power setup? Right here. So we need to go ahead and tag in on this, and we're going to go across here. I think that should be close enough. I don't know if it's going to be enough room, though, is the problem. By the way, you can do an, it's all, it's a nine by nine area. Just think of it like a farm plot here. So this is, where we're going to do the nitro things here for this. We can put this diamond up, this up. And we're going to grab all of these energizing rods here, except for one. And we're going to put them all here. These shouldn't all be charging. There ain't no way they can all get filled like this.
All right, so we should actually have enough power here, and we can test this by doing all the modium. How all the modium do we have? We need 28 of these. So to make 28, we're gonna need 18, or so we're still missing the 28 unobtainium block. Oh, actually I just realized this. Unobtainium doesn't have a spot in our storage system. That needs to be fixed real quick. Do we have any more of those drawers that I have? Compacting drawers right there. We need these two. And so I think it can go higher, right? Yep, we can go higher. So compacting drawer, we're gonna configure this. We're gonna make an unobtainium nugget because I do need those recipes for this. Throw this in here, throw all those in there. And so there's that. And so now we just gotta link it. And we could also upgrade it too if we wanted to with the copper stuff. I don't know if we need to or not, but one's not gonna hurt. Or three. Okay, and so that makes it like that. And so if we do all the modium, we need 28 of these. I'm gonna just go ahead and tell it to make a one. And so the problem with making one is this tells me how fast it's gonna make it. Yeah, that's fast enough. I think we can do a little bit faster, but that's fast enough right now because we're gonna need some more all the modium, which is why I mine this out of here. We can easily just go get this real quick. We. And so the next step is vibranium, which actually doesn't need that much. Thankfully, it doesn't take much time to mine these. No incredibly annoying things teleporting me around either. You can make oak leaves with nature's essence. Can I make oak leaves? I'll make oak leaves then. Because I think I can make the grass too, right? I'm actually not getting enough fortune, which is kind of wild. What did it say? I needed like 18 more blocks or something like that? Hey, Draft. How are you and Dari this morning? There will be three videos, yes. Unless I can cut some things out, yes, there will be three videos. I keep forgetting where I'm at when I come over here. I'm like, hello? Something just happened up there. Hello? Sticks. Iron. Partially why I'm like trying to hurry up and do this. Okay, so all the modium, it's making these. We needed to make 27 more. And that's gonna be pretty much taking up the power over here for a while. Is it still making that first one? Oh God, it's still making that first one. Does it not have... Oh, bypass limit, there it goes. It should have plenty of power. It should have no problems getting power. Matter of fact, we actually want to put another point on it to give it even more power. We can do this here and we'll do this bypass limit, power surge. And it should give all this power though. Or just to zap it like that in general. Probably need to make some more nitro things for this because if this is how long it takes to make just one, ah, oh, that'll be fine because we got plenty of time. Famous last words. Uh, anyway, so now that the power items are done, we're going to get that going. We need to go get some vi- our, we need to go get some vibranium from the nether. Thankfully, it's not too much- or bad there. So this is why we made the vibranium ch Actually, we haven't made the vibranium charn site yet. So let's go back and make that- I was making it right here. Here's a vibranium site. And then we need blaze powder. We also need to go ahead and get those trees crafting. So we don't have to wait on those later. Let's do oak leaves. Is it me or is that dude sniffing? Why are you sniffing, dude? He's not giving me souls. Okay, now he's giving me souls.
Sir, give me the souls. Quit trying to hit, fight me right now, okay? Anyway. Ooh, oak leaves. Can I not make this with nature's essence? Can you make leaves with nature's essence? You cannot. Okay, so we're going to go grab some leaves real quick with us. some shears. Shear. This with an A. I think we also need... I think we can make grass, right? Ooh, we cannot. So we need to get some more than one shear. We can get some grass, too. I messed this up in my last speed run. But basically, we need to get all this grass. Not that grass, this grass over here. Because we need these delicate fibers here. Almost got rid of the wrong thing there. Can't do it on those trees, which is actually kind of weird. So we need saplings. Do we have any saplings over here? I'm confused with what you're saying. We do need to go get some more leaves. I don't think I could use these. I don't think I could use those leaves, but. Okay. Okay, so we're going to chunk load these. I messed this up last time. It didn't actually chunk load these, and it didn't actually do anything. So we're going to make the golden fibers right here. So we need a bunch of these. And we're going to plant these in the tops of these trees. I think these will actually convert everything over if I plant them properly. I wish we had some oak saplings, which we do somewhere over the rainbow. I have done the hardest part of this video, and yes. Just to make sure, I'm going to grab some oak saplings real quick if my game loads. Hello? Pause. Okay, my world loaded. I was so scared. Safe. Okay. I was so scared, bro. I didn't think we were going to make it. I'm going to be honest with you. It's actually terrified that this wasn't like it wouldn't load again. Let's resume. Okay, got to get the initial lag out. Bro, I'm kind of terrified of this just messing up like this. Hey, let me grab some oak saplings real quick. Oh god, that scared me though, I ain't gonna lie. <clears throat> because oak saplings have more leaves. Okay, that should be fine for now. Off to the nether to get some uh, vibranium. That's not the nether. Hello, not the nether. So nether can spawn anywhere above 64, just so you guys know. Anywhere above 64, and our vibranium can spawn. There's also, you can get it in the, uh, the other two, but nobody can fly in the other, so that's just a painful waste of time, in my opinion. So the best way to find this and to get this, we actually need a swab stick. Uh, we need wool, because we need to grab this and swap this gas that I hear wherever this gas is I don't see a gas though you can find it on the ceilings too there's the gas I need to swap you sir cool unless I don't have vibranium side arts being messed up which happened last time too but it's supposed to be on the ceilings and the walls. <laughs> in any biome. It is not only in Crimson and War Forest. They changed that. You can find it in any Y level. Above Y level 60 along the walls or the ceiling. Usually it's got to be exposed to air. Has to be exposed to air. 
Some of the biomes generation messes it up though, so it'll prioritize different ores instead. But the best way to find it is to look on the ceilings. Uh, problem is, is I actually think that the sight charm isn't working. Because I'm not seeing any. Unless they removed it from here. Because we found some already at the spawn, like when we spawned. How much do you need? Little to next to nothing. I think I need like enough to make like four blocks. I can do F3A and that'll reload. It is not a specific bi biome that changed. Um, it was just never updated in the tooltip. Last I checked, anyway. You can only find it on the ceilings and walls. Did I vi vein? Is it me or did I vein mine that vibranium ore over here? I thought I vein mined it. It could be any biome in the nether. As long as it's above Y64 and as long as you, uh, as long as it's, um, uh, exposed to air, those are the rules for the spawning for these. Now they retexture some of the mystical agriculture stuff. That's why I was kind of confused. So you'll just find it randomly in the, like on the wall. See, like this is down here on Y75. And this is, this is a lot down here on Y70. Which is weird. Okay, over stacks should be enough. Y'all being led on the trail anyway? What do you mean? What are the numbers? What do they mean? Vibranium has a spot in my system, so I'm going to just go ahead and smelt this down. Uh, and then we can just put the solium stuff up, because I don't need any of this stuff. Okay. How's our all the modium stuff going? We have two. Okay, so it's making enough. I think we're solid. He's still being sucked, which honestly, I could soul forge some of these things. How's our stars doing? Stars, we have 75,000. We, we have enough stars. We're done with stars. Stars are done. Um, at this point, the only thing that I need to know is if we have enough diamonds, but I think we're solid with diamonds too. So we'll, we'll mess with that stuff a little bit later. I'm going to delete this. Um, so we can go ahead and split this and now we got to go do twilight forest. Twilight forest is actually annoying. So turn this off, stick this in here, pick this back up, this up. All right. So twilight forest, this is where we're going to need our elytra again. All this stuff can come out of my inventory, bro. So we need the elytra again. So we need a diamond. I don't know if you can make a portal here, but we just need some kind of like, do we have any flowers in here? Can we make a poppy? Do we have any poppies? I think I have poppies over there. I think Batania flowers do work. I don't know if mushrooms work. I think saplings work too. So let's just go back into the other world and do it. Even with the elytra? Yes, but I do it a specific way. It's supposed to be... Oh, I need water, too. Loss. If at first you don't succeed, break it all out again. Okay, I think saplings work. That's why that's placed there. This needs to be dirt. I've never actually tested what it's actually supposed to be. 
And I think it's only the inner ring that matters. Taplings work. Yo, what up, Chosen? It's good to see you. I got you. I got you, Chosen. Let me show you. Let me show you how the Elytra works here. So the Elytra, the reason why I use this is fast or whatever. It's the Red Arsenal ones. Chosen, how you doing, man? This is Twilight. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace our chest piece and we're going to go here. We're going to need our... Uh, where is my Nature's Compass? I don't think I actually need the Nature's Compass for this. Okay, so... With this quelled or whatever, where the first thing we need to look for is the Twilight Forest. It's, I don't think it's the Dark Tower. Should be, the first one is the Lich Tower, right? No, 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 it's the Maze. We'll do the Lich Tower in a second. So with this, you could just right click over and over and fly around. We'll find the Maze pretty fast. I think that's a, that's a hill right there. We probably should have actually done the Twilight Forest thing. Usually there's a Maze like right as soon as you spawn out, but it doesn't look like it. I have it disable the flight controller. Yeah, the the controller thing is pretty nice because you can just spam it over and over. But the problem is you still take kinetic damage, so you will die. Okay, there's no maze, so we're going to actually do the maze first. What up, Chosen? How you doing? Yo, a tier three sub? Hello? Why is it 700 blocks? Tier three sub, dude. That's actually huge, man. That's good to see you, though, bud. You actually might have convinced me to straight up do vanilla. The Iron's TP spell is God. TP spell? There's a TP spell? Would we'll check it out. I haven't done it. You can TP over 200 blocks and we'll go. Okay, why is the nearest knock in courtyard getting me killed? I've not even tried. Honestly, I really want to try out Iron's because Iron's seems just really amazing. I really love the way they do a lot of the like spells and stuff. Did you know that you can enchant it on your sword? Okay. Did I get teleported or did he? I'm confused. I think I got repelled. Okay, he's getting teleported. We got to take off of our pants. Where you at, sir? We got to make sure we not to use repellent again because I don't know where the Naga is now. Cause, okay, he, he spawned back here. Okay, cool. Okay, he's dead. Where's your chest at? Is this your chest? Your chest usually spawns in the middle, sir. Did you, did you die or did you die? Okay, there it is. Okay. This axe is pretty nice. Instant recharge. Okay, now we do the Twilight Lich Tower. Can I just do Lich? This one actually has almost killed me so many times, which is hilarious. All right, so we got a thousand blocks behind us. How do you not hit a freaking tree? You just fly around and hope you don't die. <clears throat> I do need to try the, um, try iron spells and stuff a little bit more. Try the HC. Yeah, that's what we were talking about the other day. Oh, 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 I freeze to death there. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I freeze to death there. So that block is, let's do RTP here if I can. Ooh. And let's see if I can find one. There's 490 blocks this way. I'm trying to get the, the hard stuff out of the way first. We're going to need a swab too for the stuff. Okay, so we're going to go straight up and hope we don't hit something and die. And then I'm just going to break into this man's house. What up, sir? It's me. I lagged there and I don't know if that worked or not. This is not a bad spot. This is a bad spot. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I broke it a little bit. Where you at? Oh, God, there's going to be three this time. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, I got him that time. All right, one more time. Once you've done this the first time, this is, if you, honestly, if you haven't done this yet, please do this without doing the cheese that I'm doing. But this is actually some, okay, this dude's dead. Goodbye. Did he die in one hit? Yeah, he just took a second to die. Let's get rid of some of this stuff in my inventory. Um, don't need the hearts. Don't need none of this. Okay, and we're going to grab out, I think you just need the trophy. And I'm going to grab the zombie scepter. Okay, next one. I always forget what the actual progression is, and so I have to go to the Twilight Forest to look it up. You can uh, take this guy out with splash potions. Never tested it. Splash potions? Like, of damage? I've never seen that. Okay, the next one is the maze, so we got to go to the swamp. So we need to go to the labyrinth. As many times as I've done this, you'd think I would know where these things are. 
Okay, so it's up this way. Cheese, cheesy Tony. I'm trying. Yeah, chosen, dude. You're tier three, and I it was a gifted sub, so it didn't make the sound. But usually on tier threes, we do uh, we do something special, um, which I'm actually gonna pause and do something special. All right, so let's get back into it. Let's finish this. We're going to the maze. <laughs> So again, please, for the love of God, don't do what I'm about to do, okay? Hopefully this is, this might be patched out, but please don't do what I'm about to do, okay? We're going to find this hole. I love the new animation. We're going to turn on shaders so I can see. There's bedrock. Yeah, but I can find the hole a whole lot easier like this. I love the new animations and stuff. Also, we need steel leaf, so this actually gets rid of everything too. So if like I do like this, it won't get rid of the chests. And so we could just hop back up here. We shaders kind of makes that rough. So I need steel leaf in these chests if I can get them. That's not gonna help me. Something. Oh, there's water. Oh, there's water up there. We must have. I can't breathe in underwater in this one. I can find the hole a whole lot easier doing this. But I can also find the chest that I need here. Dang, Shadow. These spiders and stuff are annoying. Oh my god, I forgot I just literally can just fly straight like this. Wee. Still hit these walls. Oh, we're just gonna get rid of this. No more TNT. These guys are hitting me, but I have the sounds muffled because of blood magic. Can I just grab this like this? Still leave. They're actually hitting me. You just can't hit the player hurt sound because of blood magic. Because you know how much fun blood magic is. We actually got blood magic. We found we only needed the two keys at the beginning to find everything that we needed. But then once we got everything that we needed, we were literally just gaming. I cannot believe we got so lucky. Shaders are going to make the FPS a whole lot worse here. Just until this is just so I can see better. Um, the brightness slider is turned all the way up. But it is what it is. We need at least nine pieces of steel leaf. I don't need the ironwood, but I need to need steel leaf. And so this is just going to end up being a hole in the ground. What are you using to fly? It's called the Redstone Arsenal Fluxed, yeah, Flux Infused uh, Elytra. Oh, Void. Oh, God. Oh, Voidscape. Oh, God. Oh, God. I forgot. That should not be this. Oh, wait. Did I find the hole down here? No. Okay. I forgot that was down there. Oh, God. That was almost real bad. That would have been really bad. Is that the hole that I need right there? That would have been real bad. I think it might be faster to find this using shaders off. All right, there's uh, eight pieces. There's nine. Okay, we got enough for the steel leaf stuff. Oh, I don't want to do that. I don't want to touch. Well, I don't want to touch that for too long. You shall kill me. I think I can actually find this thing without me even like looking too hard for it. This is just going to get deleted, but I need this stuff for it. I don't want to do voidscape. I don't want to accidentally do voidscape either. I would have loved that fall fallless tyrannical gem like yesterday. This is the... Is there not a hole over here? Look at those shaders just making performance so good. We could turn it off. Could turn our shaders off to do this. But then it just makes it really Can you not pick me up right now, sir? He almost got me. Yeah, we're going to turn shaders off so I can actually get some performance here. It's just going to be dark. We're going to put these torches in our offhands. Hello? Why does everything want to push me away? At this point, I could have just found the hole. There's just creepers everywhere. Wee. Or maybe I did find the hole and I'm just blind. We not no steel leaf stuff here. I know there's bedrock down here, but man, we're getting too far away. As long as we don't get the void cave stuff, we're fine. Gotta be like this way. Problem is now. That's definitely the end of the dungeon right there. Okay. Creepers right there. 
Have we found the hole yet? Hmm. Some of these caves are kind of wild. The mazes? I think actually, can we find it on the map? Looks like we might have found it already. Right? Oh, there it is right there. Alright, so now I'm going to look on the mini-map and see if I can find it on this one. I don't think I can. I got to be careful with this, though, because if I void it... How did I void this down here? I don't understand. Did I fly up on accident? Oh, this is not good. How did I void this stuff down here? Hold on. Let's turn the void destruction gadget to, instead of depth... We're just going to turn this down so that way I don't accidentally void the boss room. Because that would not be good. I think you got to go down one more time anyway. Hope you don't void the spawner. It doesn't void spawners. Oh, there it is right there. Bam. All right, now I got to eat this Meef Stroganoff and get rid of this stuff in my inventory. Meef Stroganoff is such a hilarious name. And I think Hydras are next, right? Right? Am I right? Hydra? Yeah, the Hydras. Whatever. Hydra? Oh, come on now. Oh, come on. I messed that up. I need to get out of here, though, anyway. Actually, hold on. Let's go back to the Twilight and then search from there. So that way I don't have to worry about it. Uh, not the Labyrinth. I need the Hydra layer. My timer going still? Okay, it's good. 1,500 blocks this way. I wonder why so far out there. I could have sworn there were three levels. Maybe I'm thinking something else. Now, the the maze with the, the like, knights or whatever, that's hard. Those are the ones that you can actually void some stuff. That's why I'm turning the, the destruction gadget down. Dude, I love that um, Dyer made the destruction gadgets, the building gadgets. I don't know what I would do without building gadgets. I'm going to be honest with you. Building gadgets are just so amazing. And that in the construction one, I remember back in the day you had to make the divination sigil or whatever, and you had that's where the original cursed earth came from. Uh, here's the hydra layer. This dude actually won't get one shot by me, I don't think. I don't think he does. I think he does actually hurt me though. I don't want him to teleport, so I gotta be careful. Oh, I just vorpled him. I wonder if that's too loud for you guys. No. Easy. We need the fiery blood, which we actually got enough for it. We need to get his trophy head because the next one is the dark. This is the one we have to go to the underground or whatever. The dark forest, not the dark tower, but the night stronghold. And there's one 1750 blocks that away. The cut paste one is the best ad. I haven't actually done the cut paste one yet. I haven't messed with that. I do the copy paste gadget all the time, but the cut paste, I didn't know that that was a thing. How far away is this? A thousand? I didn't know that was a thing. Cut paste? Dude, you are a much better builder than I am by a long shot, though. I don't really build. I speedrun. But, like, I want to really just take my time and just, like, learn some things. Like, when you taught me about the R's book stuff, I was like, bro, I can't believe I didn't know the R's books were reusable. I just kind of thought that they were all just, like, the, um, like the scrolls or whatever from uh, Iron. I was like... There's no, I'm just dumb. That's what it is. But ours is so much fun. Like blowing things up with ours is so much fun. All right. So we got to be careful here because we do actually have to unlock this first for this to activate. We have to put a, any kind of trophy on here and then it'll unlock it. And then now, now I can cheese this. So I want to make sure that I cheese this by making sure the depth is not that much. We can actually go, we don't want to go down too much. We'll go, we'll go to the right 16. This is fine. Because this isn't going to cheese, like, this isn't going to delete the things that I need it. Actually, can I just look at the mini-map and find it? There's, like, a giant hole here, and there's something here. I wonder if I can find it like this. Because I can skip floors by just going down. I don't know where the boss battle would be. I wonder if that's the boss battle over there. Oh, we need to kill these guys, not these. These guys are weird. I need to turn the player hurt sound back on. But we do actually need some things here. We're going to have to need the um, a couple of the night things. i got to figure out where it's at, though. 
This one's not it. This is just the tree. That looks like it right there. Okay, you can't, you're not supposed to be able to vein mine these out. That's okay. I'm just going to break it in because I can do that. There should be a spawner here that I can easily use. Okay, so this leads nowhere. That's important to know. Is there anything on this level though? This looks like is where it would be. I need these guys. I need to kill a few of these guys to make enough night iron, whatever. These armor shards turn into these and I need nine of those. So I need over a stack of those and I probably should have swabbed it. Let me grab this stuff to swab it. Whoa, let's grab two of those or one of those. I actually know I need a couple of these cause I'm going to swab them later. Um, see on the map, that has to be one of the bosses, right? I just need to find more of those guys and they spawn and they have spawners and stuff. As long as I don't go too deep, I shouldn't be able to avoid the boss spawner. I think it does vo avoid the boss spawner, but I have yet to like actually see it voided. I tested it before and it, I found it without it, but then I also messed up and voided it once. So I want to make sure that I don't do that. These guys got, I know I need to swab that guy. Why did I just kill him? These guys, I'm just going to swab one of you real quick. Oh, don't blow up. Oh, it's the TNT dude. Bam. Okay, I swabbed him. These guys are just random though. Copy paste gadget. Oh, these guys are good too. They could drop it. Oh, something just broke of mine. Not my chest piece though. I might have to put my pants back on. That'll teleport things for the time being, but. Now I need to get rid of this stuff in my inventory. Oh God, I, I don't want to get rid of these gems, man. These gems are so cool. Also vanilla, how do you play vanilla and be able to play vanilla with literally all the problems that comes with um, inventory management? That's crazy to me. Like, I can't see how anybody could do that. I remember now I got to kill these guys before. He drops, they drop the night metal stuff that I need to. What up, Insano? How you doing? Inventory is so painful. It's not even funny. I have to have some kind of inventory management, like RSA2 something, bro. You don't really have as many items to deal with. That is also true. I respect that. But dude, even just drawers would be nice. You know what I'm saying? Just having drawers would be super nice. If I could just have some drawers, I would be a happy man. Oh man, functional storage has got me spoiled. That stuff has legit got me spoiled. I ain't even gonna lie. I don't think there's any, is there any doors down here? No. Also, I never had flown a Elytra until recently too. I didn't know that the Elytra flying was actually so much fun. That's something that I actually really enjoy is the Elytra flying. Okay, where is this at on my map? I want to guess that that's it. That's okay. He's fine. Nelly. Thank you for the follow. Why do you hate him? That guy had it coming to him. This just leads down to that. I felt like that that would be a boss room, but it's not. I felt like that that was the boss room, but that's the tree. That's probably the boss. These are probably the boss rooms over here. So we're just going to go that way. We gotta kill these guys. I just don't want them. Well, he teleported. If they touch me, they teleport. So that's the problem. I wonder if it's down here. Put item frames on chests and sort based on the item uses. You know, I actually watched Mumbo Jumbo's like item storage for or stuff, and I'm like, that's insane, actually. It is insane to think about that somebody would do something like that. This has to be close. So this room is just like this, but this isn't it. Oh, it's right beside me. I was just right here. I don't know if it's up or down, though. Oh, it's down. Should be in this room right here. Whatever is up or down though. Probably up. I 
Right here. I can't see anything with all those particles. Oh, one of them teleported. I was about to cry because I was like, no way that he teleported out. I don't think I need anything but the trophy here. And we have enough of these shards, I think. We can put these shards up and then we can go. God, I gotta make all these random scrolls and stuff. Is it, do you just get all this from killing the dude? That's kind of crazy, man. All the random scrolls and stuff that you get, I feel like there's something busted because there's no reason for you to get like that many scrolls, you know? That's kind of wild to me anyway. Um, all right, so now we need to go to, the next step is actually going to go kill the dark tower. So we need to go grab my nature's cut or my structure compass and we're gonna go to the dark tower. Okay, dark tower is 404 blocks away. Cool thing is, is I can actually just go straight out here. Because this actually works straight up. Okay, Dark Tower is this way. And this is the Carmenite one. And I actually wonder how this has got to go. Because I actually have to kill... I have to get 180... Or I have to get enough to make a block. So I need nine exactly. Right? The boss spawner should be... Oh, God. We're alive. We're flying. Oh, he died immediately. I really hope I got enough Carmenite him did i okay good we got the we got plenty enough carbonite cool we don't need to do anything here next up is the yeti the yeti cave went this way the blood magic edge when you break the blocks you get random items for that oh my god i didn't know that was a thing and it actually scared me because my inventory came so, became so full one of ethos biggest projects ever he called the nexus which is an item storage system for every item and allows you to order items with hex based code. Etho is insane. I really need to look into this guy. A storage pedestal from ours to create item caches can remote in the same dim powerlessly. You know, I really think one of the like ones, one of the mods that I think people really are sleeping on right now. I haven't tried ours, but I think people are sleeping on occultism storage. Occultism storage, when I wrote the quest for the all the mods packs, was actually insane. Okay, don't pick me up, sir. Put me down. I don't even think we need the Yeti fur or whatever. I'm just grabbing these to have them. And then the next one up is the tower. We need to go kill the princess. I wonder if you can actually do this before then. This one's the final boss or whatever. This is the Aurora Palace or whatever. And this one should be relatively easy. We do need to make sure we mob swab her. That's got to happen. Can I just hit space? Oh, look, we're right beside it. Interesting. It was one of the first Minecraft YouTubers. Dude's insane. Pretty sure it's in this corner tower right here. And so just because I don't want to delete her on accident, we're going to do depth is three, down is five, right is five. Yo, Diflex, thank you for the follow. There it is. Okay, so we need to swab her first. Yeah, yeah. And then I'm going to kill you in one hit. Or am I going to kill you in one hit? Come here. Let me hit you. I just want to hit you. Where'd you go? Did she leave? I don't even need to kill her at this point. Where'd she go? Did she teleport because she hit me? I think she teleported because she hit me. I have a swab of you now, so I really don't even have to mess with you right now. I'm going to be honest with you. I, in case I have to come back, I kind of want to put a waste on here. But I don't know where she's at, and my map doesn't show it either. So she's got, she teleported somewhere else. Okay, I got a swab. I got to swap. I don't need her. Okay. I don't, I don't need, I don't need her anymore. Okay. We got plenty of things we could do without her. I'm going to put these fish and stuff up. I do need to make, I want to say that I need to just do fiery ingots with these, right? So fiery ingots, you just combine this with iron. And so I should be able to make nine of these because I only need one block. So then we need the carbonite block. So that can go up, that can go up. We need a steel leaf block. And then I don't need the Naga scales, don't need the Yeti fur, don't need the wheat seeds. I don't really need any of this stuff. I don't, and I just need to do, I actually need the seeds to, well, I need the seeds so I can make these. I need the buckets of experience so we actually gotta go back home. 
Goblin, don't judge me. My home is ugly. I know it is. This is called a speed run. I'm not speed running looking. Oh my God, I need to take this off. I'm flying with the elytra on. Okay, let me put this on real quick. I'm done with the elytra stuff. That stuff can go up. One, two, just two. I got to remember that I've got a jetpack now. For creativity on all levels, vanilla, single mods, all mods. You know, honestly, I've really enjoyed being able to do like speed runs and stuff. I think it's really cool. I like being able to speed run mod packs and stuff. Granted, it usually doesn't spell well for like balance. Oh, for balance. But, you know, it is what it is. All right. So we need one thing for the Twilight Queen. I love this the interaction where you could just boop. He's dead. And there we go. Now we have the two stuff. Do I want to do we think we have enough chickens? I think we have enough chickens. Congratulations. You're now a snow sweet, uh, queen spawner. Let me grab a dragon egg. I don't have a dragon egg here. I have to go back and get a dragon egg. I think I have one. I want to say I have one in this box right here. Oh, no, it's in this box right beside my smelter. And I should probably do a redstone comparator to turn this off just in case it gets crazy. Oh, she spawned. Hello? We still need a redstone comparator. One. Oh, I just need that. And then we need her uh, lever to turn this on and off. I don't know why I thought I had a lever in there. So let me make one. Didn't I have auto make the lever? Okay, hello. Now y'all want to spawn after last night? What? I love this axe. We're going to need three trophies. You need one, two for the dragon soul, and you need one for the awakening, which I need night metal. Uh, yes, yeah, so we need a couple of these. Spawn another one for me real quick, if you could, please, so I can change you over. You said the best way to get resources early on. Um, if you, uh, mob farms are really, really good. Honestly, just getting to the mining dimension, you could get a ton of resources that way if you wanted to. Like the mining dimension is just insane for the amount of stuff. She spawned. She's dead. Okay, there's the three trophies that I need. So Twilight Force stuff is completed. I'm going to go ahead and split this one. And so now we have to finish Batania. Batania was another one that I hadn't completely done yet. Well, actually, I have to go throw this spawner over here to kill these guys real quick. I need to kill all these phantoms. And to make sure that we have everything that we need. Because we need to replace the phantom one with this. We'll turn this on. That's the killing machine. We'll turn that on, and then that will give us some night metal real quick. Should give us a night metal. Once they spawn. Cool. Armor shards. That's all we need. Turn off. All right. We only need nine of those, and that made me plenty. So we're just going to go ahead and smelt that. So night metal. All right, so those are all the things I need for that. Now we got to go finish Batania. Where's my wand of the forest? All right, so this is still making mana over here. So basically, we just need to get to the Gaia pylon. So we have a long way to go. First thing we need to do is go to the Batania quest line, which is all the way down here. So I can look at it. So we've gotten here, and the next thing we need to get to is creating runes. So we need a runic altar. And then we also need to grab a terrorist, terrorist, terrestrial agglomeration plate. That's what we need. Do we have enough to make a block of, all right, do we have enough to make mana steel here? A block of mana steel? Cause I'm going to need that. I'll get the mana steel out anyway. Cause that's nice. I haven't done any of the like grave stuff either. And that's one of the things that I need to do. All right. So we need to make the runic altar. This should be pretty easy. We just need a mana diamond or right, what was the other one? This is less, I think it's an inner pearl, right? So we should have enough for everything here. Bam, 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 bam. I know we're going to need a bunch of those. And so that's fine. And then we should be able to make the runic altar. I don't remember exactly how the runic altar works in terms of, I think you just have to power it with this. I don't know if it actually works off of that. So I'm just going to grab this. I'm grabbing all the coal blocks that this is working from. Cake automation, cake automation. Hello. All right. And so we need to grab, to make this, we need Rune of Fire, Rune of Air, Rune of Mana, Rune of Earth, Rune of Water. 
Uh, so rune of water is a bunch of annoying things. We need a mana powder. Everything is mana power, mana steel, and then bone meal, sugar cane, fishing rod. Make the fishing rod real quick. And so that's bone meal. What was that? Sugar cane. Do I have sugar cane in here? Barely. I think I'm going to need more than these. Rune of earth. This is stone. Block of coal. I'll also just put that in there. Stone. Block of coal. Um, and then red mushroom. Do we have red mushrooms in here? I think it's over here. Grab the red mushrooms. Put this in one of my chests earlier. Red mushrooms. Okay. We're getting there. Let me see how those, speaking of power, all the modium. Okay, it's only made nine. We'll have to speed that up. Okay, so let's make this rune of water first. We need to make some mana powder. This is just gunpowder. So gunpowder. We should have so much it hurts. I think everything starts with this though. Okay, so then we're going to also need... To get this off my offhand, I don't have a helmet anymore. My helmet was my increase all stat thing, which kind of sucks. So we need mana powder, mana steel, bone meal, sugar cane, fishing rod, and we're also going to need the living rock out of here. Because you have to do living rock to make the root of things. And you need the wand. So this is the part that's kind of like meh to me. Alright, so wand, this, mana steel, bone meal, and then it was sugar cane, and then fishing rod. And then it'll be a living rock. Okay, so let's do this. So right click, right click, right click, right click, right click. And then when it gives it us enough time, we can right click this with this, right? And it gives it to me, could be wrong. I haven't done it since 1.7 or all mod seven. It needs a little bit more love. So you come here. you from here i don't know if it's hitting this one or not but it'll work i think you do need living rock you have to hit it with living rock i could be wrong no that's how it works okay got rune of water that's good rune of water's done rune of earth stone block of coal is, is it a red mushroom or is it a brown mushroom red mushroom or brown mushroom okay so that's easy so powder this Stone, block of coal, red mushroom, and now needs some more power. My first occultism crusher. The crushers are pretty cool. What up, T Hill? How you doing? Is it is in can be loaded and claimed? I think you can't actually. I don't think you can do that either. If you force load the chunk and it tries to kill, uh, mine in the chunk that is force loaded, you have to either allow fake players, or um, it won't work. I can't remember exactly. So this is what four, five mana. Steel, and then what is that last one? An ender mana pearl. So one. Oh wait, hold on. Nope. One, two, three, four, five. I remember. It worked for us. As long if it's if there if you have fake or players allowed, it should. Uh, yeah, should fix my problem. I don't know if you want to mine the chunk that the chunk destroyer is in. I'm not sure how that feels. Also, the chunk destroyer can brick your world in certain methods. So you got to be careful with that too. I'm not really excited about finishing ER either. Rune of mana, rune of air is carpet. Do we have carpet in here? I don't think so. I don't even remember what the, the carpet recipe was. Isn't it like two? Okay. All right. Carpet recipe. So we have mana. Oh, so bam, bam, carpet, feather, string. Carpet, feather, string. So, bam, 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 and then we wait. In the mining dimension, I'm saying you could brick your save. I allow, we put it in, along a chunk border. As long as it's not trying to mine in the chunk that it's in. It could go outside. I usually do it just right outside the chunk that it's in. So like if you look at my map, you see how the chunk destroyer is here, but it mined everything to the right. That's how I did it. All right. So there's rune of air. And so the last one is rune of fire, which is nether brick, gunpowder, wart. Uh, brick. 
nether brick? Is it a nether brick or is it a, hold on, is it a brick? Oh, is a nether brick. Oh, so we actually got to get this sucker. Brick, gunpowder, which I had some right there, and then it worked, which I think we actually made some more, I'm going to say. Make sure that, I, yeah, gunpowder worked. Okay, so boop, 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 boop. Exactly what I do too, yeah. As long as it's not trying to mine inside of the thing that it's in. I need sparks too. It should never try. It will mine. It will absolutely try and mine everything. It's not a, it is not a joke. Let me tell you. All right. This makes the Terra Steel agglomeration plate, which is actually going to be a little bit difficult. So we need some, I believe it's living rock and we need lapis blocks. If I remember correctly to do this, we need to do like a crisscross. I put this in the quests for us to do it to be a picture. So yeah, so it's living rock to one, two, or five. When I first did this, I didn't know that it was like a crisscross formation. That was wrong. We also need sparks because you, to be able to use this, you actually have to make a certain kind of spark. What any kind of pedal? Hold on. Mystical. Can I just craft a certain pedal? What do we have? Where are my flowers at? Am I tripping right now? Did I put my flowers over here? Look at him just getting juiced. I wonder if it's a specific kind of petal for the spire or, a spa, or a sparks. Sparks take. It's red. No, it's any kind of petal. Okay. We're going to need several of these. So I'm just going to go ahead and make these. I actually should have made these already. Because you need the, uh, not the dispersive. I think it's the dominant spark one. So this is once we open the thing or whatever. And so if I remember correctly, we just need to put a spark over the pools for this to use to make Terra Steel with. And then we put a spark over this plate once I place it down. I wonder if that'll work. I wonder if that's too far or not. It looks like they're linked up. All right. And so this is, we need two Terra Steel. And so two Terra Steel is made off of... Terra steel is made off of mana steel, meta pearl, mana diamond. So we do actually need some diamonds here. Uh, I think we're actually solid on diamonds. Yeah. So let's go make that real quick. So one, two, two mana steel. And we're going to put this phantom membrane up. What was this? Mana steel, mana pearl, mana diamonds. Okay. As long as this magnet's off. We should be able to throw this in here like this and not pick it up and it should craft it for us. Doesn't start with me for the energy cube. Do you have a back? Oh, actually you don't have to. Ah, Terra Steel's one. Sweet. There's one Terra Steel ingot. We have too much stuff in my inventory now. The problems of having so much stuff in your inventory. That just goes in the trash can. Okay. And so now we got to do one more. So. And so now the next step is opening up the elven portal or whatever, because you have to open this up. So we need nature of pylons and we need the livering wood logs and stuff. Okay. So if I remember correctly, we are going to make these, which takes the terra steel nuggets, which you only need one for. We have to make this. We need to make two my mana pylons. So we need two more mana diamonds. Gonna make a couple of them. So we need to make two of these. One, two, and then we should be able to make these two. One, two, and so that'll make that. So we need the living or glimming wood, glimmer wood logs or whatever. If I remember correctly, we need the elven gateway core. We need one of these. We need the glimmering living wood log. So we just need what is this? Three of these. And then we need just living wood. Okay. So living wood. Is that glowstone? What was it? One, two, three. And then we have living wood that we just need. And then we need the elven gateway core. And that'll make the last thing that I need. And this also needs two puddles and so our mana pool. So we actually need to move 
We need to move these. I'm going to show you how to do that. So we're going to grab one. We need two of these. I think I can actually just move this, make this right here and it use these. Like we just put these over it. Could be easy enough. Um, so let's see. How is it built? What did it look like? So three, three, three. So it's like a four by four. So let's grab that. So three, this is had to be the Elven Gateway core in the middle. Three, and then I'm going to put Living Rock here. I want to say that the sides were specifically something. Yeah, the middle and the other ones were the Glimmering. I don't remember if they have to be like this or not. And then you have to have mana pools here are within so many feet. So we could actually probably just take the wands, break these off, or take the wand and break those off. And I think we could actually just put the Natura pylons directly on top of these, and it should actually still work. Mm -mm. And so now, if I remember correctly, uh, even the mana pools have a large amount of mana to activate. Can't remember how you open this. I think you have to add, I click this with the wand, right? Oh, easy. Cool. And so now we need the Gaia pylons is what we're working for next. Cause we need to kill these guy or kill, kill the Gaia dude. So we need four Gaia pylons. And so to make this, oh wait, I think we're going to need more mana pylons. Yep. One. Two, three, four. And so the Gaia pylons take four of those. So we need eight pieces of Elementium and eight pixie dust. So eight Elementium. This is Elven Trade Suit so two. Um, so I'm going to need some more mana steel. So I need to get some iron. And so those have the pylons over it. Can I not? Hello? Oh, that's because I'm throwing mana steel. So it's two per, am I right there? Two per, because you only get one. So if I need eight pieces of these, I need 16 pieces of mana steel for this. All right, so here we go. We're gonna go just throw these in there. Okay, there's those eight. And then I need, what? Oh, that's one for one, so I just need, was that eight pearls? Is I read that right? So eight pearls, so I need my ender pearls out. How many do I have right now? Four. One, two, three, four. Okay, and we needed four of these. So there's one. Where is this at? Where did it go in my inventory? All right, there's the four that I needed there. Okay, so the guy guardian needs one terra seal ingot to activate, and we're gonna fly this over here. We also need a beacon. We've never made the beacons like normal until we. I've literally never did the beacons until now, and so I actually do need the lexica Batania, which I think you actually get from just starting the quest line. I could be wrong. Um, let me see. Yep. And so I actually have to throw this sucker in here to be able to help me build this. So we're gonna go in here. We're gonna come over here. We're gonna go to entry Gaia. Uh, Ritual of Gaia. So this one tells you how to build this. So we just need any kind of beacon. I'm going to place this like right here. And so we need iron blocks. Uh, your stuff doesn't work. Oof. Your mic's messing up. Okay. Bam. And so we're going to just go ahead and put this stuff up because I don't need it anymore. Okay, and now we're going to go ahead and build the pylons off to the side here. This right here. I just need one Gaia Spirit, is it? I wonder if I actually die. This dude killed me once. Which was kind of hilarious, actually. Batania in 9 was so much easier than it was in 7. Actually glad it wasn't an AIDS recipe, but like some people like it, some people don't. All right, so we should be able to just right click on this, right? Why do we just throw it? 
Let's read the book. The book tells you all about it. Sneak right click through with the beacon. All right. I'm going to murder this guy. Are you going to make unobtainium gear now? With Alfred, Alfred all of my seven guy? I should be able to just one tap this guy. Eventually. Can it, come fight me. Oh, I did not one tap him. Oh, sh oh, he's protected now. Oh, he's taking some ticking damage from something. You're almost dead. Just die. This is where he jumps up and summons things, right? Come back. Fight me. Come back and fight me. You're a coward. I should have hit him harder. Corporal should have went off. Come back. Come on. Come fight me. They're teleporting away from me, which makes this a whole lot harder. It's me. Any day now. Are you done? Done yet? Thank you. All right, Batania's done. Split. We're done with Batania. Thank God. Because Batania's fun for like two seconds. There's a guy, Spirit. We're done with Batania. Okay, we can put this stuff up. Hang on the garbage can. No more Batania. The next step on our journey is for us to go and make sure ER is good, but I think before we do that, we need to cancel our crafts. We need to check on our all the modium stuff. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to resume and we're going to go. All the modium. We're at 13 and we're halfway there. Do we just leave it and chance it? Oh God. We leave it and chance it. We leave it and chance it, y'all. That's what we're going to do. We have to fix it later. Let's go finish ER stuff. All right. So ER, we were waiting for, oh God, we got enough magentite. All right. So the magentite has to be liquefied if I remember correctly, right? Because you have to liquefy this and then using the liquefy stuff, you put it in a processor with ludocrite. And so the reprocessor that I got going over here with ludocrite is this one, right? Yeah. So we got to, we got to do this one. What does this one got going on here? Cyanite. All right. Where's my copy paste gadget at? Hey, we're going to click here. And then we're going to go here and then I'm going to go to paste this, but I'm going to rotate. to actually, I think it's fine to paste it right here. If I have the, uh, fluidizer stuff on me, I want to say that I need like all of this stuff, fluidizer, solid injector, power port, output port, controller casing. <clears throat> and that should be enough right there. And this is the fluid injector. Okay, and this is done, so this is good. So we need to give it a solid injector, right? So we need to give it the magentite, and then we need to turn the sucker on, and we need to slap a point on it, which I put my points up in here. From Freedom Run with my unit on Thursday in the summers. Bro, yeah, running in the heat sucks, man. <clears throat> running the heat ain't, ain't it, man. All right. So I think... Am I tripping here? Magentite. You have, you have power, right? Okay. Now you have power. Okay. It's like what's going on here. All right. And this is going to give us the magenta that we need. And we want to output this fluid into here. So this is the fluid injector port. So we're going to need some fluid pipes here, which we're going to have to make some more. We could just do mechanical. Let's do mechanical pipes. Cause I'm dumb. Okay. Go ahead and grab out our configurator. I wonder if you have to do mechanism fluid pipes for this. I wonder if this just works like this. Okay. And then this should give me the magentide in here. We should be able to turn this on. And this should give me ridiculite. And so with ridiculite, ridiculite, we should be able to make, we got to combine this with rosinite to make inanite. And so we all, do we, hold on a second. We, we make inanite and then you use it. You need eight inanite plus, okay. So is it done? Is that all it's got in here? Oh, it's out of power here. Power search. It's Wednesday. See where that goes. All right. We need eight of these. Bam. Eight of these are done, right? No, we need 16 of these. We need a lot more of these. Hold on a second. Right? Because we need to turn this in a reprocessor with rosinite, which is the rosinite ones right here. Nope. That's not it. But we do get ludicrite right there. So there's a ludicrite. Wait a second. Ludicrite is this into... Wait on a second. 
Okay. Was this one on Rosanite? All right. It is cool. 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 And so <clears throat> we come over here. This is the waste. We come up here and this one's Rosanite, right? So we do Ridiculite. Ridiculite. Is that what it's supposed to be? And this gives me eight of those. One, two. Hold on a second. And that'll give me in a night, right? And so what is the other thing that we needed? Insaneite. Okay. Is that all this got? Oh God, we need more. Hold on a second. We need more ridiculite. We needed 16, right? That's enough right there. Okay. Oh, cha -cha, cha -cha -cha, cha -cha. So we throw the ridiculite in there. The ridiculite. Ridiculite. Okay. And so if I remember... This is making us the Inanite, and we need a nether block. Nether right block. And we're gonna have to put all those together, just like this. Okay, and then we needed the, where's the other stuff that we just got? The Insaneite. So Insaneite here, Insaneite right here. Bam, we're done with ER, finish, split. Okay, Occultism. Uh, this is actually all so easy. God, I'm so glad I'm done with this. Ugh, all right. That's all easy and done. So next up is we need to do occultism. So occultism is actually different. I don't think it's updated yet. But in the chapter two, you can see at occultism, we really only need this. That's all we need. So we need Strigar's higher binding. So we're going to need some chalk. We're going to need to go eat this fun stuff. We need these demon seeds and we need to grow them. Can I put this here in bone meal it? I'm going to put these up. I don't think the magical stuff doesn't do anything. Oh yeah, it doubles the crop growth when you bone meal it on this. Forgot about that. I wonder if you use that for seeds. All right, and so we're going to grab out our... Flint and steel. This is pretty simple, straightforward. Do we? The question is: Is do we have any andesite at all? Do we have any andesite at all? Because we have no andesite, we're kind of in a bad spot. We have no andesite at all. Okay, we gotta go get some andesite real quick. Which I don't even know if we're gonna be able to find any in these caves or whatever. We need to turn on sh our shaders so we can see. We could probably find an andesite cave. That's pretty common. But andesite should be everywhere. It just depends. We got to go actually use our nature's compass for this. Because you can use this to find andesite. Is there any nearby? There's one 770 blocks this way. We're just going to go there. You should be able to make andesite. Can I? Co a cobblestone plus diorite? No. Cobblestone, cobblestone plus diorite. Can I make diorite? Oh yeah, I can make it. Hold on a second. I can make that. Actually, I don't know if I have much cobblestone. Do I have much cobblestone? I don't actually think I have much cobblestone. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, nether quartz. You'll make me a couple. That's enough. That's fine. That works. Forgot you can make it. Thank you. You guys saved the day once again. And you got, the, I've got the nether quartz essence too, but I don't have the stone essence and you need the stone essence for this. All right. So we're going to turn the magnet off. We just need any kind of stone. I we don't even need the stone. We're just going to throw this, set this on fire. Just in case I need the andesite later, which I will. We need saplings. Not sapple, saplings. And so I believe, just to make sure... Spirit fire. We will need some ink. I want to say that it's ink that goes in here that turns into it. Book and quill doesn't matter. We want to say this book and quill. So it's black dye. That's what it is. Black dye has to go in here. We're also going to need some chalk. 
Thank you for the follow, Najina. I appreciate that. That is not, does that, does that look like red chalk to y'all? That don't look like red chalk to me. All right. Um, we're going to need black dye, which you should be able to make easy. You can make that with charcoal if you wanted to, but we have dye essence for that. I think we actually still need to go get some books and quills. Um, we're going to grow this real quick. And then we got to be under the effects like this. We just tripping a little bit. That's okay. We're going to need a couple of these. Yo, how long do these effects last? I was tripping for a while. We were actually tripping for a while. All right. I believe that should be enough. Do we need other stone for anything? The pedestals or whatever? Yeah. I believe we're supposed to spirit fire these, right? Make these dust. And then that will make me the chalk. I hate all the extra stuff you get. That's annoying. All right. Put this up. Put these up. Put these up. Okay. So we need the different types of chalk. So we need, we're going to need several of these white chalks, but we have to smelt down some of these over here. And we'll use the rest to make the other stone power things. Um, occultism chalk. We need a couple more of the, this, I think we need like four of these. One, two. Because they're the base of all the chalks. Okay. <clears throat> and then we need to do the... We did black dye already to get those. We're going to need the book, which you get the book by combining a book plus the demon seeds. And so what I'm going to do is if you come up here, if you click this, it'll open up the book. Or it'll crash your game entirely. Now that my game crashed, we can't read this book in the, uh, the mind dimension. We got to do occultism elsewhere. So let's resume and do that. So let's not try and read this book if we can. Let's make another mega torch here so I can make sure that nothing spawns while I'm out here. Because they're really annoying when they spawn. I'm going to slap this sucker right here. That's turned off so nothing's going to work there. I didn't mean to do this. I I didn't mean to do it. You know what? We're just going over here and we're going to act like that doesn't exist. We're going to go. We're going to go over here. That's not what I meant. So going to clear all this out. <clears throat> okay. All right. So to do occultism, we actually have to be able to read the book, which is actually allows me to read the book. I think if you shift click it, it does everything. So the first thing we need to do is the crusher. So we need to grab the crusher. And so what I'm going to do is occultism. Marid. I don't think it's the Marid crusher. I think it's the. It's not the Marid because they're the highest one. <laughs> it's just a basic crusher. because We got to get crushed in stone. The foliate crusher. This is the first one we got to do. So we got to make the sacrificial bowls. One. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think we need like 12 of these. Or 13. Perfect. And so for this one, we need the, what ritual is this? This is the AVR circle. So we're going to do AVR circle. This should be AVR circle right here. Yep. AVR circle. We got to get candles. I think we have the wax for the candles already, right? Also, we need to purify this chalk. So I'm going to go ahead and take some other stone, my flint and steel. I'm going to put this here. I'm going to throw this on top, and this makes a permanent burning one. And so we got to purify the chalk. One of them at least. Bam. And so that way we can draw this. I don't think we have any candles, but you can do the candles from the other mod. <clears throat> do we have any? I think we have the wax, right? The wax is back at the house, at the other part of the house. I think I deleted them all, actually. But I know we have wax. They're just is this over here in this beehive. Wherever that's at, right here. 
make candles. Diaper time all around me, your familiar faces. I just need a lot of candles or I'm going to crash, question mark. Can I not crash, please? Okay, we got the candles. Let's say, please don't let me crash. Yum. We need these candles anyway for apotheosis if this works. Okay, and then we throw this golden sacrificial bowl down. We need four of these bowls here. One, two, three, four. And so need to do the crusher demon, we need iron. Each of the raw things. Raw, we need one copper. Do we have any raw iron in here? Oh, raw silver. Raw silver. Do we have any go oh god, it's all being my oh. You know what? Let me just come get some over here. Unless it's in my backpack. No. Oh, hold on a second. That's Venus cobblestone. Raw iron. It only gave me one lucky me. I think I'm going to need some more raw iron. You go fly up faster without. That's why you see me turn the hover off. Actually, you probably can't. You probably can't on YouTube, but you can't see me turn the hover off. But I turn the hover off because you go faster flying up. Yum. All right. Copper. Making one of these silver. Iron. Gold. And now we need the book. Do we still need the taboo book? They changed this. Interesting. We need to make a bunch of white dye, though. It did change this, though. It looks like you need a different book this time. What is the tab? Oh, you could just throw books straight up in there. Books. All right, so now we should be able to make that. I need a feather. Do I don't have feathers. Oh, do I have? Hold on. Is that a special feather? Awakened feather? Okay, so I just need to throw feathers in there. Interesting. That's kind of cool, though. I like that. That's a different change. All right, and I'm going to give this guy this book. It's going to start summoning. We need to grab some instone out, which should have some in here. I don't know how many I need. I'm just going to give him four. And we also need to get some crushed obsidian. Can I not do obsidian? I don't need ref I just need actual cr obsidian dust. That's what it is. Ever play with this mod except maybe the most basic eat the fruit? Dude, this is actually really cool. Occultism is one of my favorite mods. It's actually a really, really cool mod, and I think everybody should do it at least once. It's actually a really cool thing. You can actually get you little, little friends and stuff, too. Stuff is dope. All right, so this guy is going to get some in stone. And then the next thing we want to make is this. We should have all the chalk for this, I'm going to say. I don't think it needs anything. So Strigar is higher. Binding is the next one. These guys don't last forever. Strigor's higher bind. Should have everything there. Hey, sir, I'm going to need you to work on that for me, can you? Okay, while you do that, I should be able to make the gold chalk. We got to purify it. Gold dust? Can you just make me some gold dust? It's such a good mod, man. And then I think it's the purple chalk, right? That's what he's crushing for me. And so I just purify these two. Gold, 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 purple, 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 white. White, 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 white. And then we have candles and we need the spirits. 
I need a bunch of these for later, so I'm just going to save them. Four. I don't think you need a whole lot of things from occultism this go around, right? And then we need the four candles in the corner. One, two, three, four. And I'm missing one. Which I'm missing a purple chalk there. Purple. And then the golden sacrificial bowl in the middle. Thank you for your service. Now we need eight. And so to do this gym, I don't think we need anything special from the next one. So we're going to just get rid of these. And then so this is the foliate crusher. We need to craft the soul gym. So we need this. And then so it's copper. So four soul sand. Okay, so diamond. Soul sand. Gold. And then we need, what was it, silver? And then copper. All right. So it doesn't matter where you put these. As long as it's on the thing, it's fine. There's no real order for these. It's not like before. So you could just place all of these down like this. All right. And then we got to get make the book real quick. And so we're going to bind this together with this one. And I want to say that's all you have to make is just the gym, right? For the star. You just have to make the gym for the star. Because that's, you just need it for the dragon soul. And so when this is done, occultism is done. We put the chalks up. Usually you would have to go for four. But this is plenty. So once we're finished here, that should be everything. We need the candles. You don't need the dimensional stabilizers. You just need this. Because you don't need these anymore. This is not a part of this. this or whatever. <clears throat> Pretty sure that's all you need for the star. You don't need that for eight anymore. We didn't make the non-hatchable egg yet. Yeah, I know. I, I already told them, hey, that needs to be changed or fixed. I've already tried to fix that. All right, we got our soul gem. So occultism is done. Split. Our stuff is really, really easy, too. We don't even actually need the book. We just need the uh, ours um, wilden ritual. We need this summon wilden. And so we're going to need the, unless they changed it, we don't need this book. We need to some. We need a focus of this, and so we do need a mana block. We need the enchanting apparatus, which means we need a core. And so we also. I don't know if we even need to make the like. How many mana gems did we find? Did we find enough? Are not mana gems the gems the are are the gold gems? I, don't, I think we actually have only eleven, so we do actually need to use that. So lapis. We do need. I don't think is the is it the enchanting apparatus that makes the. No, it's not the enchanting apparatus. It's ours. I don't know how it's called. Mm, I thought it was going to be easy to find right there. You can find all this in the quest lines. So we need to make the imbuement chamber. Okay. Imbuement chamber. So imbuement chamber should be able to be easily made. We should actually have some R's trees already. I got the R's trees way back when. Might be in one of these chests from when I first started. Actually, I'm just going to have to go get an R's tree then. I don't think I have any saplings for the R's trees. Oh, there they are. That should be good for now. Where is my bone meal? All right, imbuement chamber. Now there's a couple of ways we can do this, but I like to do this just however. So we're gonna throw some lapis in here. We're actually gonna use the soul forges for this. 
This is for the pumps. We don't need this anymore, I don't think. And so this will generate this way faster. Is it just auto generating this? I don't think so. And so we could do, do we have the router? Grab a router out here and let's, well, let's grab two routers. We don't really need a whole lot. Actually, screw this. We need lapis. We have lapis. We need pipes. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to place one here, place one here. I'm going to grab the lapis, stick this in here. I'm going to grab the mana gems, source gems, put them in here. We're going to take and do like this. And so if I grab lapis here, we don't need a whole lot of these. Matter of fact, like this is probably a little more excessive than it should be. Bam, bam. And so what I'll do is I'll configure this to pull these out to there. And then I'll do the same thing over here. So I'll grab these out. And then we'll yoink them out of the bottom here. And then I'm going to connect it here and here. And so that way my mana, our source gems go in here whenever they're finished. So I'm going to go ahead and grab these source gems out so I can go ahead and make the things that I need. So we need an arcane core. So we're going to need stone like this, couple. Connector usage. Yup. I grab the arcane core, the enchanting apparatus. We're also going to grab ours ritual. We just need the ritual brazier or brazier. We're going to need, I think we, how many pedestals do we need for this one? One, two, three, four, five. And then we need one for the ritual. And so I need a source gem block, which we don't have enough. And so there's two summon wild ends. There's one like this just to give the basic stuff. And then there's one like this. And so we actually need one of each of the Ars Nouveau wild and stuff. And so we have wild and spikes. We have these. I don't think we have guardian spikes. We have the spikes, but I don't think we have the guardian spikes. And so we're actually going to have to summon. We have to actually use this ritual a couple of times to summon this. So it has to be vexing. We have to have a vexing log. Can we make a vexing log in any way? So we have to find a vexing tree. So let's go to a vexing tree real quick while this is loaded. I had a feeling I was going to have to find a vexing tree. I don't think there's a vexing tree out here. I think the only tree that was out here was that one R's one. Do we see any R's? There's an R's forest right down there. We own. Is this an R's forest? Is that right? Yeah, that's an R's forest. <clears throat> so we need a vexing log. Or is this a ray? This is... And ours for us, okay. Vexing log, this blazing, vexing. How you craft the ritual? Only that you use the augment for it. Right, right, right. So we still need the vexing log. We still need to use this. So we can, I mean, we really just need the wild and stuff. And so I don't know how many times I'm going to have to summon these things. But I'm going to summon it right here, and then I'm just going to use it again. And this way I can just summon them the first time. Crazy! We were talking about our semen around here. I need to take my pants off. Why did I say all of those things together? We were talking about our navy men. Come here, I need the wings. Because it's you. Okay, did we get the guardian spikes here? We got Wild and Horn, Wild and Spike. Did we not get any Guardian Spikes? Am I tripping? Wild and... We need the Wing and the Guardian Spike. And the Horn. The Horn, the Spike, and the Wings. Okay, so we have all this. Never mind. Okay, so now we can just make the Ritual again. And so now the way we do this is we go over here, we take 
one. And then we activate it again with a wing. Apparently we had all this. And then we do the horn. And now we activate it. And now it'll summon this big dude. Listen, it wasn't me. Come on, I know you switch forms and stuff, but just let me kill you. Okay, he's dead. All right, that's it. I'm putting my pants back on. All right. Now we just need to do this, which we need one of each, that plus a gold ingot. Gold. I think it was a mana block in the middle too. Okay, so do this, you just make a hole, put the core in there, put the enchanting apparatus there. We need to get the pedestals all around it. One, two, three, four. It doesn't really matter actually where you put this, just so you know. So one, two, three, four. And then the gold ingot, and then we need the source block, and then that should do it. If it wasn't me, then who was it? I don't know. How close are you being done? Close. We're actually kind of close. Our stuff is done. Split. Now we have to do immersive engineering, which is actually kind of annoying. Uh, because immersive engineering, we actually need a couple of things. Okay. Immersive. We actually need a lot of things. We gotta go get some recipes for this one. How are we doing on the all the modium stuff? 16? It needs to make 12 more. It's not gonna get done in the time by the time I'm done over here, so I'm gonna tell us to cancel it. I'm gonna make some more nitro rods real quick. All the modium? Is it can I not make 12 more? Okay, I, I only made 16. That's fine, because I need this to be making nitro stuff. Hey, okay, I need to make, like, another 20 of these. Let those craft. And then let's get immersive engineering and get all these stuff. Because we need, like, steel. We need these steel mechanical components. We're going to have to make some more steel stuff in general. I think we need the steel scaffolding, because we actually have to make all of this stuff, which is kind of rough. I think we need the sheet metal. I think we need steel sheet metal eventually. We do need sheet metal in general. Not aluminum, we need iron sheet metal. Patterns. Gotta head out about a suit or a party on Friday. Oh, whoa. That's kind of dope. Suit at a party on Friday. That's kind of cool, dude. All of this is in the chapter two part. We need it. So we also need a pyrolyzer. This is how I like to get my cold coke. And we need Constantin gear. So Constantin, can you actually craft this straight out? So you need, yep, you can actually just craft this straight out. Hold on. Constantin. If you have the fire charges, oh, I need nickel smelted. We'll just make the dust real quick. What Constantin is copper? And with those, we should be able to put this in the crafting recipes here. And I should be able to say, hey, make me a pyrolyzer. And it should work. With the pyrolyzer, we can actually come over here, stick it where it can get power right there. And so this, you just need any kind of like, I want to say that it's Coke. 
I like my Coke from a can. Canned Coke is pretty good. But we can put coal in here. I don't know if just regular coal works. And so this will make me the things that I need for the beginning while I'm making the recipes for this. So this recipe, we still need a lot of these pieces, okay? We need the light engineering, the heavy engineering. We made the steel scaff uh, scaffolding, the fence, redstone, fluid pipe. So let's go ahead and get all these recipes. Steel fence. Heavy, what is that? Electrum, we need to make the electrum stuff here. Let's grab this recipe and let's grab a fire charge recipe just so I can teach it how to make that. And then that should all go in here. If it deletes those recipes, it is what it is. All right, there's me some creosote oil. We need some buckets. Bro, I swear to God, if y'all ever drink those body armors, they go through you so quickly. Like dead serious. Can I just... Hello? Can I not just click you with this? You used to be able to just click this. Hello? Can you not? Do I actually have to make the thing to get this out? Can I not make the buckle or, bu or bucket? Just I have to, do I have to do a fluid encapsulator for this? You used to be able to just. Hello? Oh, it's because it didn't have a full bucket. Why am I dumb? And so now we want to make this these treated logs with this. We're going to need some more than this because we actually need the engineer's ta table. We need the engineer's workbench. We need a lot more of these, but hurry up, get up. Coke. Doesn't Coke go in the pyrolyzer to get you some more? I know we need some cold Coke anyway, so we got tar. That's cool. So it needs two more to be able to get this. So that should be fine. And so we're gonna need the blueprints for this too. I think we need the crafting components blueprint. This one, so we need some blue dye. All right, almost done. I can speed it up, yeah. All right. Engineer's workbench. Congratulations, you've been promoted to go right here. So we throw this in here. And so now we got to make a couple things. We still need all these different like building mechanics or whatever. We also need to go grab the recipe for the, for this, we need to make that. And so you should get a book for this, but the manual engineer's manual. Can I make the engineer's manual? It's a lever plus a book. Miss the days where you didn't need all these manuals to do things. And so this teaches us how to do everything. So like we need heavy machinery. We have to make a couple of things. If we follow this, this will actually tell you exactly what you need. But like one of the things you need is coke dust. The only way to actually get coke dust is by using a crusher. And so we can build the crusher in the heavy machinery. We need the crusher thing here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this. I'm going to go through it like this. And so if I scroll over this, I'm going to take a screenshot of this and this will tell me exactly what I need out of it. I'm going to make sure to set a delay on this. And so now this tells me exactly what I need. We also need to make a bunch of steel. So steel plates, we got to grab out. Do we not have any more platinum? I could probably smelt all this platinum down and save us so much time by making platinum war hammers. All right, and so this will make me, we have some steel plates in here. I don't know if that's enough though, but we're gonna need some more steel. So this is steel. What is it for? Oh, steel shears, dolls. I need to just tell it just to make me a bunch of ore hammers. 
Can't do 10. And then I think I need steel. Like this, we need a bunch of steel rods. We also need a bunch of iron rods. And so that should finish it. And so now we should be able to get all this. So this one, the first one we need is the light engineering block. So I need 10 of these. Missing the iron mechanical component. Teach it that recipe. So light engineering blocks. We're going to need more than 10 of these. Missing plates. So let's grab another ore hammer. And let's make those plates. There's an easier way to make these plates. But that should be plenty of plates. Let's try this again. There's 10. It's going to craft 12. We're going to grab all 12 of those. We need the redstone engineering block. I'm going to need like 10 of these. Should make all the rest of those. We need the steel scaffolding. I need 10 of those for this one. We need hoppers. It should already know how to make hoppers. We need nine of them. So I'm going to make 10. And then I think we should be good to go. Okay, so we're going to put this right over here. Because this is kind of annoying. So we're going to come over here to the crusher. And so we're going to go to the first level here. The first level looks like this. So it's six and then a ring over of scaffolding. So it looks like... Doo -doo 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 -doo. And then we have light engineering blocks in the... First one right here, boop, 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 boop. And then we're gonna go up. We're gonna do redstone, light, redstone, light, then steel fence. Did I not make the fence? Okay, then it's eight steel fence and I'm guessing it goes just like this. Uh, eight goes, the eighth one goes right here. And then we need the light engineering in the middle. And then three on the side. And then we go up. And now we have the nine funnel or hoppers at the top. So one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. And so now you take your engineer's hammer here and you whack it in the middle and it'll make it. And so this is where you would take points. And you slap a point down right here. Not right here. That's the input. Slap it right there. And then that gives it power. And so this is where we want to crush that cold coke that we were making. So this will give us crushed cold coke, which I don't think I need more than one. You actually come up here at the top and you throw it in there. And if this connected, it doesn't connect there. It connects right there. There we go. There's the cold coke dust. I think I need eight of this coke dust. What up, Derpy? How you doing, buddy? That's the redstone site? Yeah, I, I realized that a little late. That's okay. Okay, I'm just going to crush the rest of this coke because it doesn't want to give me eight pieces. All right, cool. So crusher is done. Following this, we've got all this. The squeezer is the next big thing, lols. So to make the squeezer, we follow the same thing. We go back, we go to the squeezer. We, I'm going to take and go just like this. I'm going to pause it and go play. Up, oh, pause. And I go right here and then I'm going to take a screenshot of this just like this. And then I'm going to grab all this stuff. Um, we're going to go double check to make sure everything's okay in the, uh, all the money and stuff. So let's run it back. All right. So the next thing was the squeezer, right? So we got the clip of this one. We're going to need to make a piston. Do we have any pistons already made? Oh, we do. Sweet. We're going to need some steel scaffolding, some more steel scaffolding, Sca scaffolding, scaffolding. We're going to need some fluid pipes gonna craft me 16 which is good you actually need the fluid pipes to make this work we need wooden bear is it wooden barrels from wooden barrel is from immersive engineering right oh god this is why we needed the buckets 
because we need more of those thingamaboobblers. All right, so one, two, four. All right, let's go ahead and make some more of these treated wood planks. Hello? I knew I was going to need it. So I needed four of these guys, right? So we just need to make more of these planks. That should make me four. One, two, three. Oh. Wait, hold on. Wait. Wait a second. That's tough. We're going to need more of those, just by the way. And so that's everything that we need. We do need some more points. I don't know if we have enough stuff to make any more points, do we? Oh, we do. Sweet. I'm really bad about this stuff because I like actually break things. Okay. So first one is, is a three by three with the things in the middle of fluid pipes in the middle. Okay. Let me look at that one more time. I messed this up. I don't care. Fluid pipes in the middle. And then the engineering block in this corner, which I don't know why I didn't. That's a light engineering block. And then for the next level, we need those four wooden barrels in the back. Then we need light and then a redstone. And then I think at the top, we needed the piston facing down. I don't know if it has to face down or not. I kind of wonder if it has to face down or not. Let's see. I think we use the wrench to rotate this though. Where is my configurator? Can we rotate the piston without that? I don't know if it has to be like that. You know what? Let's just go ahead and test it. Probably could work like that, but I'm just breaking it. So only three barrels. That's the fourth barrel out there. Okay. And so three fence around the outside here. And then is that right? Middle piece. So we just need the hammer here. And I think we hit the piston, right? Do we hit the piston? We hit that middle barrel block. Bam. Cool. And so this one needs power from a point. So if I remember correctly, it's this dot right here. Yep. Okay. So it's got power now, and this is where we crush down the coke dust, I want to say it was, in the industrial squeezer, and it gives you the graphite dust. So eight will go in here, and it'll just crush it down. Yeah, to where you right-click it. Bam, HOP graphite dust. This is where we need to smelt this down into an HOP graphite ingot, so we actually need to go smelt that down, and we're done with those, the top side of this. So we're going to go ahead and smelt this down. Graphite. And there's that one. Okay, we are going to need a lot more stuff here. But so that is it with the top one. So now we need the bottom ones. We need the fermenter. So the fermenter is hilarious. Let's do the same thing here. We're going to go back, fermenter. And then I'm going to screenshot this to make it easy for me to see what I need. We need some more light engineering blocks. All right. Engineering blocks. That's how you spell it. We need some sheet metal. We need cauldrons. Four cauldrons, and then we have the other stuff. Okay, and so we're gonna pause, go down till it's finished. This is the fermenter. Is that the ferm? Oh yeah, the fermenter is just a little bit different. It's the same, same exact like design almost, but. And now we're going to grab the skillet steel scaffolding. What was this one on this one? The f two fluid pipes is what it was. This one, I don't think has you do the annoying part though. Four cauldrons in the middle. Same exact design. And then so up, we have the four sheet metal at the top. And then right click here, or do we, I think we missed the engineering blocks in the redstone block. So engineering and redstone block, redstone block here, engineering block here. Yeah. And so this one again needs some power. So we're going to grab another point. All right. And so this actually needs any kind of thing. So the fermenter here, we look the fermenter up. This is 
should actually be. Okay, cool. I'm just going to look here because we need this to make the fermenter makes a couple of things. You should be able to look in here and look at the recipes this way. So potatoes give you 80, 80, 80 from apples. What was the one they gave you the most? I can't remember. Corn does. Sugar cane does give glow berries. Honey. Oh, honey bottles. Oh, honey. Oh, I'm missing glass bottles. What? Am I tripping here? Can't I just make it like this? I was going to say, why is it being aggressive? And so this one's actually going to pump out. This is going to make the um, ethanol. And so we need a little bit of ethanol. We'll go into a... It's not a mixer, it's a refinery. So we need, how much do we, ethanol do we need? Eight millibuckets plus that is, okay. Refinery is up next. That's what we got to make. Refinery, 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 refinery right there. All right, so same thing. Screenshot this to make it easy so I don't have to sit here and scroll through it. All right, so refinery is actually much bigger. And so it actually comes out this way. So we're going to go over here and we need some heavy engineering blocks because we're out. We actually need two of these. So we're going to go ahead and make some iron sheet metal. We're going to need 32 of these. So I'm just going to make 64 because why not? And so I think we need more fluid pipes. Do we need more things? Still scaffolding. Still scaffolding. We're going to go ahead and make 10 more, which is maybe 12 more, and that should be it. All right. Scaffolding. We're going to pause, go down the bottom. So it's long ways of the things in the middle. Okay. So boop, boop, middle, boop, 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 middle, boop, boop. And then we need the fluid pipes. Across the entire center. And I think that was a light in the back, heavy in the front. And then we have the next layer. We have heavy, light, redstone. So heavy, light, redstone. We have sheet metal, sheet metal. And if I remember correctly, this just goes straight up. We need all of this like this. And then we have that completes it. So then we take the hammer, bam, there's this one. Let's go ahead and build it again. And so I need to build it this long ways right here. So we're going to go like this. Nope. What was a redstone right there? Heavy in the front, light in the back. And then we need the fluid pipes in the middle. Oh, hello. And then just a double check. The iron sheet metal goes here. Because you got to double refine this. All right. And so we need fluid pipes to go here. So this one just pumps it in. We need more fluid pipes. Should be able to just make them straight off of this. Okay. Blue pipes. We're going to pump this out. And here, we're going to give this some power with a point. I know what you're probably thinking is like, oh my God, how many points is he going to have here? Because he's literally just doing point after point. Yep. That's the point. And so this will give me ethanol. We need a silver plate. So we just need this. I think the war hammers are in my inventory. War hammer. We just need a silver plate. Put the silver plate in here, and that'll make acetyl the hydride And now we need the fluid pipes to pump into the side right here. So this is the import, and this is that's the output. This is the import, and so this is going to pump into here. And so the acetyl. Blah, 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 blah. We need to turn this into. We got to get some more creosote oil. oil. Yum. And we put it in here. And we just stick it in this barrel, right? Do I have to shift click it? Can I just put it in here like this? Hello? Pretty sure you're supposed to click it. You're supposed to be able to just click the barrel. If I shift click this as it goes everywhere, I'm going to be so sad. Is, that, is it full? That one? Oh, God, I'm going to shift click and it's going to go everywhere. 
I can't just click it in here. This is where it's supposed to go into. I don't want to have to make this and put this in here. <laughs> I could probably pump this in from right here. Put it on the import port. That works. You used to be able to click the barrels, which is kind of weird. So we needed eight, and then that'll just make it once it has some power, right? Don't need anything else to make the finale resin. Just acetylaldehyde plus this. It's just got to get some power. Am I tripping or could you just put it on the barrel? I'm pretty sure you could just put it on the barrel. And so now we need this resin. Yo, Mordai, thank you for the prime sub. What up, my dude? How are you doing? We need uh, not another refinery, but we need a... Um, we need these conveyor belts and then a duroplast sheet. So we actually need to make this metal plate mold. So let's go ahead and grab these recipes. Real quick. Oh, we need the metal press molds thing too. Steel sheets. So let's go back over here to our engineer's workbench here. Throw this out, throw this in. And so we go throw these in and then we need the metal press mold. I'm pretty sure it's just the plate. Not a packing in this one. And so now we need to come over here and make a conveyor belt. So conveyor, or this is a bottling machine. Yeah, it is a bottling machine. Okay, same thing. Yo, thank you for that prime sub, Mordi. I appreciate that. We need a fluid pump and a conveyor belt. Okay, so conveyor belt, fluid pump. Is a fluid pump hard to make? Answer is no. All right, so pause. So as this goes out in the front here, I'm gonna build it right here. So it's like this. Actually, it doesn't matter because I just need to bucket it. And so that's a redstone engineering in the front. What was it? A light in the corner and then sheet metal in the back. So light. One up, we need three conveyors, sheet metal, pump. Does this go up in the corner too? Yeah, another light one. And then the conveyor belts, they actually have to go the right way, just so you know. You have to pay attention to the way you're looking here. And then so now I think you just take the hammer and whack that in the middle. Am I right? You whack the middle conveyor belt. Hold on. I don't know what I just did. But I did something there. All right. So now we need a bucket of this resin. Right? Can I grab said bucket of resin? Oh, God. That's the input. So it'd have to come out here. And the thing is, is I think you could just straight up pump this into here. And this should be the resin in here. And we should be able to just throw the mold on here. And if it has the resin in it, which it does, we need to make the Duraplast sheets. It's resin, sheet. Can you, you not have enough? Is that what's going on? Can you, can you, can you do this? Oh yeah, I forgot power, you're right. Oh my God, why am I so bad at power? I always forget the power, man. These machines are so wild because these are the ones where you actually had to like do crazy things with them. All right, so this is actually just here to make. We need, I don't think we need the, we just need the advanced crafting components. These are actually pretty easy because you just need to make the aluminum wire because that should be easy to make. You should be able to grab these out here and make the aluminum wire. Aluminum. I think you can make the plates like this, right? Yep. wire i only need one this one needs a nickel plate which we don't even have nickel smelted down what is wrong with us redstone i know you can make the copper wire pretty easily because that's just like Oh, actually, no, you can't. Do we not have any copper plates? Do 
Interesting that these recipes change like this. Made it where you have to do the original stuff. Okay. And so we got to switch this out for this. And then we want to make... Let's get this lag out and let's resume. And so we got the Duraplast sheet. We got to finish this. We're right here at it. Why would we not? Okay, Duraplast sheet goes in with... We need the vacuum tubes. Oh yeah, we crashed because of the vacuum tubes. Am I going to crash because of the vacuum tubes again? So that's glass. Can I just make the glass? Can I not crash with this? So glass, what is this? The plate, the nickel plate. Did I not pull the nickel plate out? Copper wire. Redstone dust. Nickel plate. Okay, so there's that. And so that would make this, and then so we need aluminum wire to plastic sheet. Aluminum wire, vacuum tube, Duraplast sheet. And that should make me the advanced component. And so with this, we could combine this together. We gotta make a couple of things here. We gotta make a light coil rod. This is easy. Is this electrum wire? This is no longer easy. This is no longer easy. Because we need electrum. I don't think we smelted any electrum just yet. Oh wait, we have the Electrum. Never mind, hold on. Electrum. We could literally craft these. Or can we? Okay, just give me like 10 of these. 20 of these. Bam. And so we should be able to make the plates off of this. So what is it? Was it plates? Is that right? We're trying to make, not the Tesla coil. We need the rail gun is what we're trying to make. And so we need two of these electro coil box. And so we need four electrum wire. So we need wires. So wires. I still got to make the plates and then I make the wires. It's four wires per coil. Wait, how many is it per coil? You make four and you need eight. So you need two a piece to make those. So two a piece. So one and three, four. And then I think it's We're gonna need more of those electrum plates. Which we had some right there. Is it a treated stick or is it just a regular? Oh, wait a second. This is making the MV coil wire, right? Is that what it's supposed to make? Okay, yeah. And so we make two of these. And so now we need the wooden grip, copper nugget. You actually need copper nuggets for this? Hello? And treated sticks. I don't even think we have the treated wood anymore, right? We do. Okay. Treated wood grip. HV accumulator. This is the one we haven't done. We need redstone acid. This is actually really easy to make. We need a bucket of water. Uh, boop, boop, boop. And then we need the accumulator. We need a aluminum plate and we need four more treated planks. Do we have any buckets? Get these out of. Okay. There's too much stuff in my inventory, man. So aluminum. All right. And this should make me the accumulator, which should make me the railgun, And we're done with this. So that goes up. So split. And so now we're putting all this stuff up in my inventory because I am not messing with this anymore. And if I need it later, I'll get it later because I don't need it right now. I wonder if I crash if I put all that stuff up. So next up, we need to go make sure that we have all these nitro things making. We need to put all of these out in my inventory if I can get them all in my inventory. And then we need to go put them all up over here. Where 
We're gonna need more powers or more cables. You can't put anything in there. Can't put anything there either. So we need more cables. So let's do universal. I should be able to cap or block in off of this backside right here, I wanna say. Actually, let's just cap in right off of here. You know what I just realized? The reason why this is not working for power or whatever is because this, I don't think these are, that's the plug. I don't think there's a point over here for these. Hello. These need, oh, they, never mind. It does have a point. So these will just literally be going off the, these over here. So they actually need to connect to this point over here to work better. So this doesn't need to be a thing. One, two, three. And get power for now, but it needs to connect in from over here. And I think I could actually just completely connect in from the power from right here. Because this should work. This is so ugly. I know, trust me. All right. And so now we should be able to make the rest of the all the modium stuff here. We need 18 of these. Okay. I need to make our, so I need 12 more of these, right? And so that should make those, and this is, should be a lot faster. And this one might just make... Okay, this, this should be fun. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's see. We can get rid of all these. Next up is A2 stuff. A2 is actually not that hard because we have the A2... Um, we have to actually go find a, a thingamaboobler. I think it's lazy. La easy. A... Something? What is it called? We need to just go get the meteorite stuff first. So let me go grab that. Where is my thing? And then we'll find an A2 meteor first. I think there's actually one like right next to our house, I'm going to say. Right? Didn't we find one next to our house somewhere? That one. All right. Turn our speed up. Is it bad that I don't do A2? Chosen posted this thing the other day talking about A2 is better for crafting. And I was like, yes, but no. You could actually need this stuff. And so y'all are going to hate me for this, but. Do you need the crystals for this, by the way? Like, do you need the, um. Can I make the seed still? Hold on a second. Certus seeds. They're still easy to make, right? Still need Certus quartz blocks. Well, we got five. And so that'll make us the first one. So we need to get some tertium real quick. One, two, three, four. And so that'll make us our first one. We'll go find another one while that gets started. A is hard for me. I think it's it's not so much that A is hard. It just seems more complicated than a lot of people really would like it to be. And so I think that's the thing that gets a lot of people is that like, to me, storage should be simple. That's the way I look at things. I'm a little bit different though. And so some people might not like the way I do things or they might, you know, they might, you know, you never know. We need to get the service courts out of this. Uh, this is chipped, damaged, flawed, and none of that matters. We're just going to grow them. We don't need any more uranium, I don't think. We actually are pretty much set on everything seed wise. But we're going to go find one more meteorite. Because just to make this simple. E2, meteorite. I wonder if it's going to point me in the direction of that one over there. It didn't. It didn't. That's cool. It's just depending on it. Is it available on easy villager trade? Oh, yeah. I forgot you can easy villager trade that. You need the charger, though, right? It's more complex for sure. And there's a lot of reasons why it's more complex. And so I respect it being more complex. I actually think it's a much better, like, experience, in my opinion than our, our refined storage but for me i don't like the like i don't like it being like i don't like um whatchamacallit i don't like it where it's like storage being complex i just don't uh, it's just not my thing so that's just me we're gonna go ahead and use this to make another one how do i get magentite you need to run plutonium into a uh reactor and it'll make you magentite as an extra thing this is my magentite right here plutonium goes in magentite is there so it has to be a reinforced reactor to be able to do that just so you know all right and so we'll just make some more seeds with some tertium um let me go make some more seeds real quick and we're gonna go ahead and grab out over here in this system this is a terrible system don't follow me 
We're going to come over here and we're going to throw it in here so that way it gets more. And so with Sirtis, we should be able to make some more crystals. I think you make the dust too, right? Yeah. And so, A2, there's a quest line for it, makes it easy. As an antimatter situation, we we finished antimatter a while back ago. Antimatter is pretty easy. So we need a singularity. So we're going to need a matter condenser. And we're going to need a Emmy quantum ring. I want to make sure that that's the right one. And so Emmy quantum ring needs these processors. The energy cell is not that hard. And then this. So this is the inscriber and the extended. Is it extended inscriber? Is that what it's called now? Don't tell me this is supposed to be the. Emmy storage bus, Emmy interface. Is the extended inscriber supposed to be the same thing as the other one where it actually helps you out? Is that what it's supposed to be? Like it's automated or is that did they fix that in this one? I'm not sure, but we need the inscriber. And so we need sticky pistons. Four inscribers glued together. Is that all it is? It's kind of weird. All right, and so we need the presses for this. So calculation, I'm pretty sure we need the engineering processor. Since we're not actually making this before, can you actually like stack these in here or whatever? Like, does it actually stack again? Is that what's happening? It, does it automatically do it? Because I'm going to be sad if it doesn't. So we need Sardis Quartz Crystals here. Does it actually work? Oh, God, it's fast. Sweet. We had to have lazier AE2 for that a long time ago, so at least this is working. Um, matter of fact, where did I put those soul forges at? For this. Uh, let's just grab these. I'm picking up all these coal blocks. That's hilarious. I don't know if this actually works on these or not. But we about to find out. I guess they connect like that too. It's cool, I guess. Uh, let's do the silicon one in here and then do silicon here. Does it work on this? That should have power. I don't think it works to speed it up. I don't think it works to speed it up at all. Engineering is diamonds, right? Diamonds. I think the other one is gold, right? Gold. Engineering diamonds. Logic is gold, or is logic the other one? Logic's gold, and then the calculation processor is the Sirtis Quartz. Sirtis. Let's go ahead and make a bunch more crystals. So we can make a bunch more blocks. Four, one, two, three, four. Go ahead and make some more tertium. And let's go make some more seeds for this. Make sure we plant the seeds. Did I plant that? I did plant that. And we get lots of snow right now. I think it's that's what some people were saying. Am I at 60%? Yeah. Okay. 60% was what I wanted to be. I just gotta find this. This makes things so much easier. And so we need to print it silicon. We needed the gold and I think it was redstone, right? 
make these. And so same thing here, we're gonna get the silicon out of here. Calculation, redstone. Don't really need to automate this. It's not that big of a deal. Just need to get what I need to get in here. I think I need, I wanna say that I need the, we need two logic processors, two engineering ones. And this is just to make the matter condenser. Oh, we need the fluix dust, which we do need to teach it how to make the fluix seeds. But we need the fluix blocks, which we need crystals, which we need charge certain. We do need the charger. Can you charge in your inventory? Oh, extended charger. Interesting. I wonder if this actually works with the soul forge because I know it ain't connecting. Okay. It looks like it kind of works. I need a lot of these. So let's do a drawer. And let's do functional. Let's grab a puller. Oh, we need a one by two drawer, I think, actually. Pusher upgrade and a puller upgrade. This two by four will work. I'm gonna grab the configuration tool, lock it. I'm gonna say I want charge crystals in here and then I want regular surge scorch crystals in here. And so I'm gonna grab the puller here. I wanna pull. Ah, uh, no, I need a one by two. Cause I need it to not pull. Actually, I think it's only when it outputs. So puller, we need to pull from the north. And then we need a pusher to the north as well. And so this should push a crystal in here. And it should pull the charge crystal back in here. Hello. Should pull from the north and push from the north. All right, whatever we need to do, the fluid crystal, we need this plus redstone plus nether quartz and water. So to make this, we need 16 fluid crystals, so we need 16 charge crystals. I wonder if this should make it on its own. It should make this on its own. This one, I'm just going to hold them. Probably can't have both upgrades in the drawer, I'm guessing that's why it's not working. I've done it before. If I want to make the seeds, I need to make the, to make the seeds or whatever, you have to make... Oh, does it make four per... Yeah, because you need four fluix blocks to make the seeds. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Should be able to make more of these, though. I probably could just do a hopper right here into this. I guess it doesn't want to, to work like that, but we could just hopper this. Throw those in there and it'll just make them for me now. All right, so how many crystals do I have? I need 16, right? Okay, there's the 16. And so we need redstone and we need nether quartz. Zippity zappity. Blah, 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 blah. And so now I make the crystals with this. That'll make two seeds. And so we need, I want to say this is a tier three recipe. So it's Imperium. So we have plenty of Imperium. Yum, yum, yum. Now we don't have to make any more. And so 
That should make me the flux crystals. We also want to plant this other service court seed that we got here. They were going to disable these seeds, and I would not want that. To put a service court in it, it should be pulling it. I was like, this is a quality of life thing. Like, why? Just like saying, hey, get wrecked, A2 nerds. All right. <clears throat> now we should be able to make everything that we need to. These things should be chugging along here. Should actually have more silicon presses. I don't actually think I need these now that I think about it. Was this calculation processors? I don't think I actually need the calculations. I think I actually need the logic ones, right? It's my logic ones. Yeah. Take this out and let's do logic. Oh, hold on. Take this out and do logic. I think I need some of them. All right. So we need to do the matter condenser is easy to get because you just need dust. And this is actually going to get powered up and use water, which I don't think I have an eternal block on it. So we're going to see if I can just do this and I can grab another forge here. Grab this. And then I'm going to grab out an eternal water block. I'm going to steal it from this one because I don't need this anymore. I'm going to shove this on the side here and we want to take it. This is to make singularities. We need the 64 K storage thing, which we're going to have to teach it how to make. Um, and so the other thing is the quantum ring. And so we pretty much have everything here except for the energy cell, which we should be able to make the energy cell. We make the dust. We have, we just need the quartz glass. I think I need more than that, right? Nope. Energy cell. And so that'll make that. And then we need the matter condenser. We need an engineering processor, which we should have. Print an engineering circuit. Have I not made any engineering circuits? Doesn't have to be 64K. 64 should be the lowest, right? I think 64 is the lowest you can use for it, though. Am I, not, am I right? 64, you have to do 64 or 16K or 256K. Or do one of those two. All right. And so this should make us the, we've got the matter condenser going. We need the quantum ring. So we need to make one of these. And I just make, okay, so it's this, which is this, which is this plus wool. Oh, come on. Okay. And so then I should be able to make this. And is this together? And then that's the dense one. And then we need that to make the quantum ring. All right. We need to just. Does it have to be colored? Or can I just use it? I think I can just use this, right? Can I be able to just use this or does it actually have to be a dense cable that's colored? No, I have to just upgrade it into a smart cable. That's what it is. All right, quantum ring's done. So now we just need the stuff. I need to tell it how to make this stuff so I can get that 64K. So I put those up and I go find my drawer system over here. We come over here and we tell it I want to make 64K uh, and this is going to be for applied energistics. We're just going to teach it how to make this. Make our way down. And so I'm going to teach you how to make this. And so now all this can go in here. And I didn't teach you how to make the quartz glass. Let's teach you how to make the quartz glass. Teach you how to make this. And put this in here and see if I can make that 64 K. So I just need one of these missing one calculation processor. Is that all I'm missing? Probably missing more than one actually.
Let's see. Nope. Just needed that one. Should instant craft. We put this into this. And then we tell it we want to do two singularities. And so this is just going to take some time. And so we're pretty much done with this. So we split. And now we go to the evil craft stuff. Evil craft is actually really easy too. Evil craft we should fly through. So with evil craft, evil craft, we need a pedestal is what we need. So we're going to grab these, which I should be able to do with my blood infuser. Do we still have those condensed? Do I have any of that condensed blood? I think it's in one of the main chests somewhere over here. Maybe a backpack. I need this humanoid flesh. There it is. And so now I put this over here intentionally because now I should be able to just shove this in there. And we need to make a couple of things. So first off, we need to make these pedestals. So we need some dark power gems. Uh, dark gem. We're going to go ahead and tell it, hey, I want you to go ahead and make me some. I needed how many of these? One, two, three, four, five. And then we need a dark power gem block. Do I have to make the powered one? Can I just make the regular? Okay, let's just make the regular one. But I don't want to make all that. Sanguinary pedestal. I don't even know whether we need this. I think we have enough blood as it is. And so I'm going to go down here. Make sure I don't get hit by that. Did I break that? Okay, cool. Whatever. I'm not trying to break all of this, okay? And then I'm going to put the pedestal right here. And then I'm going to break this. And then we're going to get a pipe. So mechanical. I'm going to let this pump. It's probably the easiest way to get blood. And so now if I turn this on and let them go fight about it, they should give me blood in here. They should keep it filled with blood. That's the powered one. I don't want the powered one right now, but that should give me blood anytime that I need it. And so now we need to make a couple things. So we're, the whole goal is we're supposed to use this humanoid flesh to make garbongio or whatever. Um, we're going to need, am I tripping or is it a crafting recipe? Okay. The Garmin Balsia or whatever. So we are going to need a materialized vengeance essence. We need to promise of tenacity one. Uh, so let's do evil craft tenacity. So the first one is an iron block. Throw that in there. And so we need a, we're just going to grab these. I think it's gold. So we need bowl of, so we need the dusted bowl of empty promises here. Is it, are these dark power gems? We do need to be dark power gems. Am I tripping right now? Is it just not, is it because it's not full of blood? Are these things not spawning on top of this to give blood? Is it because it's not draining because I don't have it set to drain? As long as that doesn't kill me, I think we should be all right. Oh God. Wrenched it. Or am I using ultimate universal cables here? No, they're mechanical. All right, let's try and pull this out. Is that going to pull that out? Oh, I need spikes. That's what it is. Spikes. We need the spiked plate. This will just give it infinite blood. Okay. So now we're going to turn this off. Kill these guys that are in here. Put the spike plate right there, and that should fix the problem. And that should give us blood in here, and so that should keep us full of blood here. We need 10,000 for this one to work. And let's go ahead and make the dusted bowls. So evil, dusted. You know, there's actually there's actually really cool things in this that I've never done. Like the dusted bowl of promises. Do we not have any crushed dark gems? All right, we're going to go crush these, which is over here in my mix somewhere. Did you know that there's brooms and stuff that you can do? I did not know you could do brooms. 
when I until I made the quest line, I was like, hello. So you need this to make the promise of tenacity one. So you need the promise of tenacity in here, which this is going to upgrade this. And then you put iron promise acceptor. We need to combine this with a dusted bowl of promises one, which is a dusted bowl of promises plus 5,000 blood. But the brooms are actually really cool. Almost there. It's a harder star than eight, man. I'm almost a 64 intimate almost there. No, the eight, I think nine star is easier. In my opinion, I think nine star is easier. We got two minutes till 24 hours. Ah, probably gonna be 24 hours. It also depends on how we're doing with the star stuff. So all the modium. Ooh, we need seven more of these. Is it done crafting? Please don't tell me you're done crafting. You done crafting? No, you're still doing it. Seven more. I think we'll we'll be fine. But once this is done, done, this will make me the Dusted Bowl of Promises tier zero, right? So I can use that the Iron Promise Acceptor to make it. Honestly, I should Soul Forge this. Trick for everything. Soul Forge. Where's my forging over here? That should make that a lot faster. So we should be able to upgrade this into an iron promise acceptor. We throw this in there. I think we need the dusted bowl of empty promises. We need to make that again into a bowl like this. And so now I think we need the gold block of gold to make the second one. Is that actually speeding it up? I'm not really sure. What do Soul Forges do? They increase tick speed, which is pretty cool. Now we got to do this one. I'm just staying full of blood. Plus, if I put this in here, that'll help too. And so now we should be able to turn this into a gold promise of tenacity too. And so this can go in here to replace this one. And that's going to fill it with blood still. And so this one is promise of tenacity. Three, so we need a diamond. Right. And this is powered too. And so we're trying to make the Garmon Bowls you, which we need the tier three plus materialized vengeance stuff. So we do need the vengeance essence. And so we need the vengeance rings and stuff while this is going. So vengeance rings, we need to make these. So we need a vengeance ring. And then we need the Vengeance Focus. So this will kill it. And then we need to upgrade this to kill things. So we need two Blood Orbs, the In Crystals, and then do we have the Pop Crush Fruit? We do. I need Glass. Is it only three? It's four. Now we're out of gas tiers, so we can actually make those with the catalyzing glands. Yo, thank you for the follow there, Critter. I appreciate that. And so pretty much at this point, you would need the orbs, which is tier one. An empty orb, we're going to need two of these. So there's the diamond promise acceptor. We'll throw those two in there to fill it up. That's tier two. And so we'll also have to get that tier three one. So I'll have to do this bowl next once these fill up. Yeah, the soul forge is a wild. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm fun. We're doing it. We're doing good. Smart. Didn't smart. I covered. I don't know how like half half of that stuff works. I don't even know the difference between those. And I'm just kind of like, what? Balls chosen. I really wish I had a fence like that, though. Dude, that looks we don't we have a little iron fence, but we need a like a legit fence. We don't have anything. So it's a spreadsheet. What else you got to do? I've got evil craft stuff. We're actually not too far off. We have, um, I don't think it's going to show it on. All right. So we have, we have to finish ER. We have, a, we've done this, done this. So we're right here. We're finishing the AU2 stuff. We have Evil Craft. We finished this and then we're pretty much done. So we definitely got another hour and we've got this. There's a couple other things that I've got to do, but it's okay. We should be all right for now. 
Okay. And so that should be promise of tenacity three. And so now we need the Garmin Balzio or whatever. So we need materialized vengeance essence, which is what we are making the ring for because we need one to summon them and one not to. So this is cool because you can summon vengeance spirits or whatever. You have to kill a vengeance thing and then summon them. And so you could do one like we need to make a normal vengeance ring to summon it. And so we'll just go to the nether and start killing some things and then we'll kill it with a beam. So we'll go to the nether and we'll find the nearest mob, which there is a mob that just spawned somewhere. We can just find any mob, really matter what it is, just got to kill it. Yo, thank you for the follow, Lil. I appreciate that. So like this, we activate this ring. And so now when we kill things, there's a chance to have a vengeance. And then we kill the soul. And that gives us the vengeance essence. Superior mining pigman. I just killed the mine, one of the mining pigments. That's hilarious. And so this will make me the Guamimboazio. So we just got to go find my mob stuff over here. God, I was less organized this time. Uh, let's put that material. Oh, it's got to be materialized in its essence. So let's go ahead and make that. Throw that in there. And so materialized in its essence will be. Huh. Thank you for the follow though, y'all. Appreciate it. That's the Garmin Bazio. We need this to make, we mix this with the rejuvenated flesh or the human of flesh and we're done split. That's done. So now we have all the extra stuff. This is where it kind of gets fun because we got to put all the extra stuff up. We got a lot of extra. Oh no, we have to do the extra stuff. One of the extra stuff is going back to the overworld and grabbing all those rings. I don't know what I'm, oh, I have a beacon going. I'm grabbing all these leaves. We just got to chop them down. Should be plenty here. Got the crafter yet? The crafter. What crafter? Oh, there's a couple extra things we have to make, but yeah, I, I, I know what you're talking about. So nature's aura, we need to make the nature stuff here. Is nature's aura, and we're going to make the book, so I need to make one of these. And so we're going to do the ritual of the forest here. I'm going to visualize this. We're going to need stumps or right, I think it's nature. Something's hitting me. Let me just push me and I don't know what it was. Um, we need the, what are they called? You use them with golden leaf, golden leaves. We need powder for this, but these right here. So we need eight of these. I want to say, All right? Is it eight or nine? I think it's nine. Eight. And so then now we need the powders. We're going to need a bunch of these. And so we're basically making the eye is what we're making these guys right here. Because you make two of these and they make you the world essence. So two of these eyes, we need two spider eyes. One, two. What was the other ones? Gold leaves, gold ingots. So it's gold, boop, boop. Then we get a sapling, some bone meal, your evil craft angers the spirits. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. Set up. And then we just grow this. And then this should give me one of the eyes. We might need a couple more of these. Cool. Wasn't it just like all the way around it like this? Like that. And then leaf. Leaf. I. Gold block. And then we grow it. Patrick star is definitely the hardest part. I don't know what that one. Okay. So to make this into the charm, we need these world eyes. We're going to need two spyglass. 
And then we're going to need, is that an Enderman, uh, Ender Pearl? Oh, we need a cork, bottle and cork, and we need two of those. And so now we just go over to the end. And now we should be able to make two of these. One, two. Those are done. All right. Let's go back into it. Let's resume. All right. Put this stuff up because we don't need any of this stuff anymore. We need the rejuvenated flesh. That's going to go in my backpack. All right, now we got a couple things we got to make. This is still making the all the modium stuff, right? We got five more to make. It should be fine. Should have plenty. And so we still have to make all these other extra stuff. Let's start with the dim seed. I think we still have a lot of things from the dim seed that we have to make. Like we need to tell it how to make all the recipes going down. So like obsidian. So we need to tell it how to make all these patterns. All right. And so we got this pattern. This is four, three, two, one. And so we shove all these in here. And I should be able to say, hey, make me that obsidian times five, right? There we go. There's obsidian times five. And so that'll take that off. We have dirt and the netherrack. I don't know if I actually have the netherrack. Does the chunk destroyer give you netherrack? I don't know if it does. Ooh, if that's the case, we might have a problem. Let's see. Is it crafting the obsidian up? Yeah, it's crafting it up. No starry bee? Uh-uh. So we got to teach you how to make the dirt. Dirt, I have a bunch of stuff for. We're going to go down from here. We can get dirt pretty easy, though, if we don't have enough dirt. This is like, I think this is like 4 million dirt right here. But with efficiency, we could easily tear through dart. We can also make some speed upgrades here. Make me some speed upgrades. So we can put them in these crafters. Make them a little bit faster. All right, is the my 5x obsidian done? It is. That's one of the things we need. All right, we need to have a chest or something. Let's do a chest. All right, let's grab a backpack. Backpack's a better idea. Whatever one's, we just got to empty it out. Which one's emptier? This one's an empty easy. And so this is a backpack of the All the Mod Star stuff. So I'm going to place this right up here. And I'm going to place this stuff in here. Everything that needs to go for the star. Void Forge. Uh, jet Suit is in here. Let's see. We don't need that. We need this. Focus. Guy Spirit. Insan Insan Insanite Block. This is the one, right? That needs the Philosopher's Stone. Uh, the Egg. The Rejuvenated Flesh. The weather container, we just need to change these box, these four. That's the two world eye plus the nature's eye. We can go ahead and craft that into this. Because we have this. It makes the oblivion shard. So one part of the star is done. Uh, we need the occultism soul block. We need the carmonite. The three snow queen trophies that only stack so far. An active dragon egg. You need the trunk destroyer, actually. That's one of the ones that I haven't pulled out yet. The nuke, the railgun. Mm -hmm. I think that's everything that's in here. I'll be fine for now. This is just my, I need to craft this up. So this has to be crafted into a lightning bomb. And the lightning bomb is part of this recipe. The lightning bomb in there. Let's put the guy in an R's jar. It doesn't farm it, by the way. Ooh, that feel right there. Okay, can I make the dirt times six? 
Can I make Dirk 6x? That's a problem. Can I make the Dirk times 5x? How many Dirk times 5s can we make? So basically, we'd probably need three more, but this is fine. So Netherrack is also a problem because Nether ne or Netherrack needs a couple things, but there's a super easy way to get Netherrack. I think it's, is it a 6x Netherrack? Yeah, there's super easy ways to get Netherrack, so I'm not too worried about it. Pretty sure we don't have enough essence for this either. But like, I can grow this in like a heartbeat. Same essence issue we're going to run into. All right, 5x. There's our six dirts. Can we make another one? All right, so basically missing three things. So how many dirt seeds do we have over here? Do we make any more dirt seeds? So let's grab some Inferium. Let's grab some Brudungeon. Let's just tell it to make me like 64 of these. Let's grab some dirt. Let's grab like 64 dirt. Let's break this down. Let's make my some more dirt seeds real quick. What? Oh, it's right there. Now let's put this back in said backpack. Oh, stuff that I need. Okay, so that's my dirt 5x. And so we'll just replace these seeds. I don't know what seeds we got diamond seeds growing over here. We don't need like all any of these seeds anymore. Silicon seeds. We don't need those anymore. Don't need sulfur anymore. Don't need quartz enriched uranium. Don't need none of that. Let's replace it all with dirt seeds. Cause dirt seeds grow pretty fast and I can just water and can this forever if I need to. It's a collectible, so it's just a collectible. Like you, you did the Gaia thing and it just collects it. It doesn't even actually do anything with it. It's kind of sad, man. I wish it would do it with Withers because honestly that would put ours in such a good spot. Let's see if I can make the Netherrack 6X. Six, six Ooh, that's the problem. We only have tw 29,000. These are both easy to get with a builder. Honestly, I probably, I thought that the, this gave me Netherrack. Oh, we got dirt in here. Well, we can just throw that dirt in there. Pretty sure that gives us, am I tripping right now? We can get the netherrack and the dirt pretty easy. Instone is one of the ones that we need for the dim seed, right? We need instone 5x. Instone 5x, that's in there. That's wood seeds. Where's all the rest of my dirt seeds? Am I out of, I'm out of prosperity base seeds. Throw them in here. All right, am I? Hello? Is it just not collecting? Am I tripping right now? Dirt? Did it just not want to collect this? That's weird. That's real weird. And so the nature's one is actually kind of, are the nether or, or nether essence or nether agla or whatever. We should be able to make these. I can get nether rack in easier ways, but pretty sure the nether one's a tier two. So we do actually need prudentium here. Let's make it a little bit easier. We just get some more dirt seeds. And so if we wanted to make a watering can, oh yeah, we do have to do the mystical agriculture stuff. I forgot about that while this is all making. 
is we're just going to plant a bunch of dirt seeds. I forgot uh, to do all this mystical agriculture stuff. So mystical, we need a axe. I think you can you put mystical. Oh, hold on. Can you? I don't know if it's the axe or not, but can you put can you enchant it with mystical enlightenment on an axe? I don't remember if you can or not. Can you? Pretty sure you can. Right? You can't. Oh, it actually has to be a sword. Max Fido's are amazing. They're pretty good. Pretty sure that you can enchant this with mystical enlightenment. Almost entirely sure that's what you have to do. You can do it on scythes, but scythes aren't that important. So that means we got to do sword and we got to get all the way to a supremium sword for the damage. I think it knows how to make everything with these. I want to say that it knows how to make all of them with these. Because I think I taught it how to make these gemstones already. Pretty much we just got to kill the wither one time to get the stuff from them. Hold on. Because you need the gemstones to make it like to go down. But you don't need it like this. And I think I need to put some in our prudentium in here. Ooh, ooh, that's how you spell it. But like netherrack with like netherrack with the least amount of work, a builder, a builder would be probably the best. I had to guess. Pretty sure the builder would be the easiest. Problem is, is this going to automatically pull? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here. I'm going to tell this to stop. And I'm going to come over here and say, hey, I'm going to put this Prudentium and the Inferium up. I'm going to say, hey, I want you to make me a Supremium Sword real quick. Missing the Gemstones. Okay, I didn't make the Gemstones. Cool. Good that I know that. Which Gemstones it was? Supremium Sword. Uh, Imperium Gemstones. Prudentium Gemstones. Superior. Okay. So everything but the Inferium Gemstones. Cool. Good that I know that. Also need to teach you how to make a Diamond Sword. Oh, hold on. I don't know why I did that. It should know how to make the regular gemstones, though. Oh, no. All right. So, premium. Give me that for premium. That's how you spell it. If uh, is that that fast? I'll give it a shot. Yeah, dude. The oh man, it's so fast. The builder. If you put it takes twenty thousand on each side, and so it it gets pretty fast. You just gotta you just gotta make sure you're in it to win it with it. Okay. Three percent for loot pinata. Three point five percent for loot pinata. This one has. They both have twenty four, but this one has a crit chance on it. So we're gonna take that. And so, do we have any gems that we can put on this? This one just gives it twenty five percent attack speed. This one gives it 1.5 attack knockback. It gives it 20% crit damage. Oh, I don't know if I want the attack speed. I think this is pretty fast by itself. I think it's a life steal, lols. All right, I need Mystical Enlightenment in here. And there's not a really good easy way to find Mystical Enlightenment without actually looking through it. Mystical Enlightenment, where are you at? Mystical Enlightenment, right there. And that'll have life stealing on it. But we also need sharpness, if I can find sharpness. I think I have a sharpness in here, right? Warpal would be really good too. That one's got a bunch of stuff on it. Smite. There's all my sharpnesses. There should be a Vorpal 3 in here, too. Scavenger good, a good one. That one has Mystical Enlightenment plus Scavenger. Why not?
Am I tripping or do I not just have any sharp? There's Vorpal 3. Let's grab that one. Sharpness right there. Okay. I'm only level 59, so we're going to have to make sure that we put the Mystical Enlightenment on there first. Vorpal Sharpness. This one is going to give me Mystical Enlightenment 7. And so now we're going to grab those gems and put that on there real quick. Uh, this is a lot just to kill the Wither once. Hey, now we need some soul sand. And we need some wither skelly skulls. All right, I just need to kill this guy one time. I'm almost entirely certain it's just one time. I don't need the stasis chamber on. Pretty sure. We need the tinted glass. Do we have any in here? We do. Make sure that they don't fly out. Okay, and we build this guy. Am I tripping right now? Oh, I put that on my head. Lols. It was like a sharpness in the third line, like the fourth from the left. Dude, you got some eyes, man. I just need 18 of those blocks, so it's going to be a little while. Oh god, he teleported. But where did he teleport to? It's the pants, man! I'm afraid to know where he teleported to. Do we just build another and hope that he doesn't come back? There he is. Okay, he's over here. But where is he at over here? Is he up? Is he down? I should have went up first. Shouldn't he be going down? Oh, God. Is he up? He's got to be down, right? So stupid. All right, we're really just doing this for the cognizant dust or whatever. That is so dumb. Are you? He teleported out of my box. I didn't. I was in the box over here, and he hit me, and I have repellent on, and he teleported away. What do you want from me? I tried. He, he just left. He said, I'm out of this. I keep forgetting my pants are strong. Repel is such a pain. It is. I will never have repel again. It's hilarious. But I will never use repel again. Jesus. That wasn't it. I don't need the stasis chamber, but I do need the wither builder, which I don't think I... Did I ever build the wither builder? Oh, I did. It's still in here. Lost. All right, so we don't need the sword anymore. We still need some dirt. Can I still make the dirt? 5x yet? So I need three more dirt 5x. I can get that easy. I'm not too worried about it. I do need to make sure that I'm getting these seeds and stuff going. The stars are almost done now. Uh, nether seeds need to be planted. Dirt seeds need to be planted. Okay, and so this will make the Mystical Enlightened stuff. I need to get these two, three, so I can make these. So this is the Soul Stone. Do I not already have the Cobbled? Do I not have Cobbled in here? I think it's in my, my dank. Um, let's see, Cobbled Soul Stone. Is he, are you in here? All right, so we should be able to make these now. There's one. I need to make four of them. 
two, three, four, and then I need to make four of these. We need the orange. Ooh, or out of orange dye. And so we need to make these. So one, two, three, four. I made five because I'm dumb. And then we need this. Okay. Congratulations. You've got a friend and right here. That was perfect. I don't know why I'm doing this. Hold on a second. And so this is how you make a wake him. Wait, okay. This is how you make a wake him supreme or whatever. Alfred be calculated sometimes. Why don't I type in level? You know, lever was actually one of the things that I never knew how to make. Like I'd never remember the recipe. And so we need air. We need earth. We need fire. And then we needed water. I wonder if I could just draw this up. Hey, that does work. Cool. I'm really liking functional storage. And earth. Okay, so this will keep this filled up so I don't have to worry about it. We're trying to make the awakened supremium block. So you got this is how you make these. You actually have to make them here. And so we need the four cognate dusts or whatever here. One, two, three, four. And what is the block in the middle here? The a supremium block. Supremium. Ooh, Alfred's got a lot. And I'll make that. And so now we need the Awaken Supremium Furnace is one of the things that I actually have to make. This is another one that uses us for the Philosopher's Fuel. And so do we have to make the, oh, we have to make the furnace recipes all the way down. And I think I could just convert this into this. And then we need to get the furnaces and put them all the way down, get all the recipes for those. So we'll just grab the recipes for these. We should have all of everything. I don't think I know how to teach it. I don't think I have taught it how to make the Supremium Blocks. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think I've done that. I don't think I've, I've taught it how to do that. It's kind of funny. I shouldn't have to teach it how to do that, but you know. And so now I think I should just say, hey, can you make me this? Because it needs in. Oh, wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Is that. Did I just do double up? Do I have a crafter ready to go? Oh, I need another crafter. Oh, look at me. I already got a crafter going ready. Cool. All right, did I double up? That's Prudential Furnace, Block, Supremium, Perium, Tertium. That it. I did double up. This one is supposed to be this. And then now we just think, I think that it should know how to make everything now. So I should be able to just say, make me a Supremium Furnace. Make me a Supremium Furnace. It's like, oh! Done. So now we go over here, and I'm pretty sure the Awakened Supremium Furnace 
just takes two of these ingots, two of these gemstones. Should just take gemstones. I was like, am I dumb? The answer is yes. I think it matters what it is. You need to just shove it together like this. There it goes. Now I teach them to make the furnace. It knows how to make furnace. The regular furnace. Wake on the premium furnace. That goes in bag of stuff that goes to the star. It's like this bag just, just exploded out of nowhere. All right, so this is done. And so we need to make the Twilight Forest Portal. So this one takes those blocks that we grabbed earlier. I just need one head here. And where's my other one? This one. So it's four blocks. This in the middle. Where's my night metal block? Did I make my? Okay, there it is. I made this recipe, which was pretty cool. I got that recipe to craft. That was pretty dope. Let's grab these nether seeds. There should be nether seeds in here, shouldn't there? Did I make any more nether seeds? I did not. That, I don't know what that song was. I'm going to be honest with you. It was just a random song. All right, you're going in here too. There's that. And then you need the two for the dragons thing. Do we have everything for this? Do we have a heart? Piglet heart? Bam. I think we have everything for this. What is it? Focus, Gaia Spirit, Jim, this. I need two of those. I need the dragon egg. And then a scale, which I should have in here. What am I missing here? The two heads and then the inactive dragon head thing. Do I, am I true? Well, there it is. We have both of these. There's the dragon soul. All right. I think I can make the next emitter. No, that's the other thing that I got to do. The wireless universal grid. Got to make that. I got to make the in exchanger and I got to make the create arm. We can do that later. The player transmitter. That's what I have right here. That's been charging my big jetpack this whole time. We're actually going to use this to, to go up. So we got to make a bunch of dielectric casings. Dielectric casings. And then we need hardened capacitors. We need basically two of each. Should be making the rest of these. Does that mean that the, my all the modium stuff is done? All the modium is done. Sweet. So there's the 28 casings. How are the stars? Let's get the star recipe real quick. So it is 15 times 3x nether stars. Should have the stars. We didn't have to use the extra stuff to make this. Usually we have to use the extra stuff. And so what you're wondering, well, you might be wondering what is the extra stuff? The extra stuff we usually have to do is um, we have to make the extra recipe for nether stars. So I shouldn't have to, but I need 15 of these. And if I do, that's fine. Yep. We literally made all 15 other stars just like that. That's kind of crazy. That's wild. Let me grab these speed upgrades. Shove them in here and star. I should be making all 15 of those. All of our nether stars are good to go. Don't know why I put that in there. Okay, let's get these recipes. Do we have all the capacitors yet? We do. Let's go ahead and upgrade this. Let's go hit U here or hit U on this one. So it upgrades from this from basic. So I'm going to put this up here. U for here. And then there's that. There's blazing. It's niotic. There's spirited and there is the nitro. And so now we need batteries. We need two nitro batteries. 
missing two of the hardened batteries. I didn't get the hardened recipe. That was just funny. Am I tripping? Did I not just make this one? Antimatter star recipe for sure. You maybe would have to do it. Can I? Do I not have the hardened recipe here? Missing ba battery basic. Do I not have the basic recipe for this? All right. Battery. Nitro. Do I have to upgrade these by hand? Surely not. I think if the follow void works. I think it's doing the MBT is reading the MBT. That's what it is. Might still be on the way. What? From all this mess. How's my brain not imploding? I'm going to be honest with you. I have no idea. I hate the clutter. I'm like not a fan of clutter at all. I don't, I don't like it being cluttered. I scold a 16 stars. is kind of nice. Wait. Honestly, the stars is the stars are not that bad. If you do like I did. Oh, I need another one. It's, it's going to, is it lagging out now? Okay. If you do like I did and did the, can you just not teach me? Can I tell you to make two nitro stars? Can you just not tell me? Can I not get these spirited? I just, I just don't get to create anymore. Okay. Let's just grab these two batteries out. And so let's see how to upgrade this. What do I need to upgrade this? I need two spirited capacitors and a spirited crystal spirited. So we need four, two crystals, and then we need four of these capacitors, which is probably going to make the crystals too. Did it just shove it all in there on accident? The antimatter recipe I don't think is good enough. I thought about it. Man. This is my nether star, what I'm doing. I'm using uh, eight sim chambers right here, all using the soul surge. This is sucking the wither right here, which gives me souls, which gives this, and it pretty much makes it where as long as it has power, it will generate one nether star per second. And so it's pretty fast. And so I'm just using four of these to go through all of them, which is pretty fast too. The industrial foregoing souls is actually insane. All right. So spirited, do I have the stuff for this? I do. And then niotic, I need the same thing. I need to make, or not niotic, I need nitro. I need it to craft four capacitors. I just crafted three. Okay. In eight, I actually did a really weird thing with the, this book, and uh, it was kind of wild. Okay, there's the four capacitors. There's that. And so now I should be able to upgrade my two batteries here. So I need more dielectric paste. Dielectric paste. The ward milk is pretty nice. That sounded a whole lot better in my head. Just going to be completely honest with you. So we actually have to make both of these full. And so while this is not charging my inventory, I do have a wireless network thing over here that will charge my inventory. And it's just going to charge these for me. So I need to get these charged up. Well, I was able to spawn the wither in the world with the R's, TPing them into a kill chamber. I mean, I could build them crazy fast. You could do the same thing with a wilder bu wither builder in this one. Um, okay, so we need to make... We need to make this one. This one should be easy to make. I just got to make the recipes for it. Never made the fluid grid. That's kind of funny. I actually don't think I've taught it how to make any of this stuff. Interesting. It knows how to make the grid, so I don't have to teach it how to make that. Yum. And I should be able to just teach it how to make this full thing, right? I don't know if I did that or not. No. 
wireless. Can you make me this? Won't build of the builder in this way. It'll build it. You use vector plates to push them away. Well, there's one of the things that I tested before. So you use the vector plates to push them away. So this is where we need the purple blocks and the chorus flower. We'll have to get one of those. But yeah, you use uh, vector plates to push them. As soon as they get built, you shove them out of the way with vector plates and then you let them fall down a hole. And that's how you would build that. How do you make the chorus flower? You just get it from. Can I literally just get in stone? Chorus fruit. I think you could just harvest it, right? I don't think I got any flowers ever. Do I get any flowers ever? No, but I have the in stone to grow it in the botany pot over here. Like someone just threw up on your screen. Tell me about it. I hate the way it looks. I hate the way it looks. Oh, I have to have several tier threes. Okay, that's actually nice. Should know how to make all of this. If it doesn't know how to make the red die, I'll teach it to. And so now we got to finish teaching how to make these. I think we taught it how to make that. We need to teach it how to make this. How far down do you have to go, bro? What do these even do? I'm lost. What do we have to make? What is it? The end exchanger, right? Two in-stone rose bushes. Oh, God. Can I make the amethyst one? Do I have to make each individual exchanger? I think I have to go start from the bottom. Why does it need the rose bush? Why does it need a rose bush to make this? Did I not teach you how to make red dye? Oh my god, it doesn't even know how to make it. I think I taught it the wrong thing for the rose. That's what it is. Let's see if it works now. Red dye pattern overriding? Maybe. Um, exchanger. Can I make the first one, please? Okay, then can you go up from here? Can I just make... Can I go stone next? Okay. Okay, we're moving on up. Can I just go straight to obsidian? Okay, we can go obsidian. What goes past obsidian? Amethyst, can I make that? Oh, missing obsidian. But that doesn't make any sense because it's literally right there. Okay. Can I make the extraordinary change three? Can I make this? Okay. All right, cool. Amethyst one, can I go up from here? I need a four or three. All right. So we're just gonna click. Ooh, oh, that's the wrong button. Amethyst, there's netherite, and then this was the next one is the end, which is the, the chorus fruit block. So we're just going to bone meal this. Probably an easier way to get this, but. Right. Right. Have a problem in RS, you have to do it semi by hand, because some of them are weird. All right, hold on a second. You, I'm missing two in stone here. You, bam. End exchanger. Okay, end exchanger is one of the things that's needed for the this. So we're gonna put this in our bag here. Player transmitters needed. These two batteries are needed. How are we doing on dirt? Can we make any more dirt? Five X's. No, how are we doing on netherrack? 
Can we make the netherrack 6x? That's not gonna happen, so I think we're just gonna have to get the netherrack by hand. I wonder actually if it's better for us to just get this by hand. Like if I go shapeless, if I could put, is this in my dank right now? How much does my dank hold? 653, let's upgrade this with nether stars, right? Crying obsidian, we have crying obsidian. I think I wanna take a break from Minecraft for a little while. It's kinda wild, I ain't gonna lie. There's our crying obsidian. And so we need four crying obsidian, right? Did I not just get my crying obsidian? Did I not just pull out crying obsidian here? Am I tripping here? Okay, dank six and then the dank with another stars. So we have infinite nether stars. And so now this one should hold int on each one of them. And I wanna see how fast it takes for me to get this. Auto compacting backpack. I mean, dank works. All right, so we're just gonna turn that off. We have the auto feed, so we should be fine. Can I run while doing this? We're just getting it all. We can do the same thing with another right? Another right? That should be easy. You can do the compressing on here. What up? Oops. Need the speed. I could do it like this, but then I would need an air affinity. Actually, I don't have a helmet. That's kind of hilarious. How many do we collect just then? How much dirt do we collect? 593,000? Here. We don't really need a whole lot. I was going to fly back out. What's wrong with me? We could just do the builder. Let's just do the builder because I'm going to need a builder for the netherrack. But it's going to lag my world so hard. Oh my god, I'm not ready for the builder. Screw it, we're going to do the builder because we have the power for it. And this is if y'all haven't seen the builder before. I know how to make that middle one. So we need a shape card. We need to do clearing or just quarry. I don't think fortune quarry matters. We just need a quarry card. This is the quarry card. Hello? I taught it the wrong thing. And so it just needs a shovel or diamond. And I just go ahead and teach it how to make that. Bricks, hello? I normally hate it. Yeah, I can see it. Did I teach you how to make the shape card yet? No. All right, builder. Shape. Two bricks. All right, Corey. I think I'm going to lag my world doing this, but I have an idea. Y'all might think I'm crazy, but I have an idea. I have an idea. Okay, so I'm going to need to tell this, hey, I want you to mine this here. I'm going to take the Corey card. We shift click it here. We're going to click here and then we're going to go all the way over to here. And then now this is all copied. We want to do dimensions. We're going to do this by 260, I think it is. And so now when I shove this in here, now it needs a backpack. Can I just make a backpack real quick? We got to upgrade it a little bit. Chest. I like the chat of the backpacks personally. They're my favorites. One of my favorite mods, to be honest with you. Just so versatile, so useful. And then we need the compacting upgrade. 
I don't know if we have the middle slots for this. Should be able to tell how to make pistons. Sophisticated shulkers? I've never... I've never used that. I've never used the shulkers. I think we taught it how to make the stack upgrades, right? We did. Hold on. Let me make the stack upgrades. Tier 4. I think I should be able to make these. And then we'd have to void. I think we need the void upgrade, right? Do we teach it how to make the void upgrade? Let me just go like this. Well, we got two stack fours. Probably still making the other ones. And so we're going to put the backpack on here. Bam. We're going to do here. We're going to do, we're going to crash my whole world, just so y'all know. Compact only uncraftable. Orcs and gooey. Uh, we're going to put the void upgrade in here. We're going to do bam, void overflow. Um, and then we're going to put the stack upgrades, which you can only get one more. And then we're going to block. And that should work. And so now we just need a point and some universal energy thingies. Because like I said, this works in every direction. So you want to do, for every time you do this, it will... Uh, power it. So every direction or every face that you have, it will give it power. So now I can just tell it, hey, make sure we bypass limit power surge. And so we just tell it, hey, we're ignored, go. I don't know where it's going right now. Is it giving me dirt? All right, so here's the thing. Here's my thing. We're going to do something a little extra, extra here. Do we have any more of those soul forges? I need the, my friend, the wither for a second. Uh, where is the wither at? Where's my closest pool? Okay, here it goes. Our, sorry, not the wither. I need my friend, the warden. I wish there was a wireless version of this. And this is how you crash your server. Who needs the power, which I think this should actually keep up with power. Is it running out of power? You can infuse it as well to make it faster. I think this should be plenty fast enough because look, we got 1x, 2x. I want to tell it to void the, from this mod. Okay, void, overflow, block, match mod. And we want to tell it to void anything from Greg Tech. Is there any Greg Tech here? Or am I voiding the wrong thing? Want to tell it just to void this? That's void overflow. I can teach this to do void any. Oh God, hold on. Allow. There it goes. Greg going to be mad if you void them? I voided all of it. Might I just filter for the dirt if that's what you want? I'm getting netherrack too. And so that's kind of why I'm going for this. Because the dirt's what I need and I need netherrack. Honestly, I could just void out. Um, I can make another void filter here. And using said void filter, I can void out all the other stuff that I don't need. So if I put this in here and I make sure I do void overflow. And then I do only works with all of my, um, this, we could just void cobblestone. So it's not voiding any, or it's not getting any cobblestone. So you'd block this. Shouldn't get any cobblestone. Okay. That's avoid everything. Okay. That's working better. It's the same thing with deep slate. We need to deep slate to be done. Or am I voiding everything right now? RF tools filter, I think, is the one they're saying. Um, match mod, one great day thing, that's what I do, yeah. Are you done with blood magic? Yeah, we finished blood magic already. And so this just gives us a bunch of dirt. So we got a dirt times three there. And so dirt, 5x is what we need. And we need a 6x. Can we make one more of these? Oh, we can make another 6x. Because we need two more after this, right? Two more five X's. Uh, we're missing a little bit. 
but I think it's done digging the dirt. So what do we do? We dig with it. Empty dank. Oh yeah, that's a good point. I forgot about my dank. I think dirt doesn't have a spot in my system, so we could actually be full. Can't you link all this? I think it does have a spot. I hope it does have a spot because my system's going to be full. There should actually be enough now that I think about it. The netherrack is a problem, though. Just kind of being silly at this point. I should have already had this stuff set up. I just didn't set it up. I knew it was going to be something to do with mystical agriculture. Like I didn't set up enough seeds. All right, so dirt. 5x. I just need to craft two of these. Can I not craft one of them? No. Nope. Hey, Fido. Let's go work on other things. It's cool to be do this, but let's go work on other things. I'm off. Good chatting with you. Yo, thanks for coming by, man. I appreciate you. Hope you have a good one. Thank you for hanging out with us and exploring some fun here. I think I do need to chunk load this. Is this already done with this area? I think it's already done. Is it voiding netherrack? It should not void netherrack. Got me some more dirt, though. Should not void netherrack. Oh my god, something just sounded. That scared me. I don't know what just happened. Okay, almost there. I don't think it's recent netherrack layers. I don't think so either, but it scared me. All right, what else do we need to make? We're done with the exchangers. We're done with the player transmitter. We're done with this. We need the all the Madia or all the Adium Star. We're going to grab all these recipes. We finished the Oblivion Shard. We need to make these. These take. Two unobtainium blocks, two vibranium blocks, and we need two of them. So unobtainium, we need four blocks. One, two, three, four. We need vibranium blocks. We need four of these. One, two, three, four. And so this will make an awaken one if we do this right. And so we need an unobtainium vibranium. Um, we need two of these. Oh, those craft. Clear bookmarks, clear mind. Maybe. I think that should actually be fast enough with all this stuff that's going on over here. Oh, it'll be faster later. And so we'll just come set this up over here. Because it needs two. So one, two, one, two. And so that's done. So we need this. What are we missing on this one? We're missing this part, the flight module, and the 200. There should be a one a steward fluage part that we need. And we need that top one. So let's make this. Make one of these. Can I just make it like this? Yep. That's done. So we need to teach it how to make this system part. Now, so this is a store fluid storage part, which actually doesn't need as much. I think it knows how to make the withering processors, but we're going to set that to the side until I can get it later. The fluid processor parts are actually cheaper to make than everything else. Believe it or not. Because it starts at 64, and so you don't need as much. And so if I shove all these in here and we need to teach it how to make this withering processor that's going in our smelter. And then we're going to teach it how to make this one right here. And so this goes up here and this goes in our smelter. And if we teach it, say, hey, give me that 100 and 1,100, it'll craft it. Cool. Good night. See you later, Forlini. And so now while that's crafting, let's see how our unobtainium stuff is. Still making this alloy block over here. I wonder if it's running out of stuff. Nope. He's still chilling over there. It's still making that one. That's fine. What are we at? 25 hours? Flight module. We need to make a syringe. We need to make a module template and an infuse ender pearl. Let's just go ahead and teach it how to make all this. Actually, I can just make one of those.
And so next we need this flight module. We need the gas tiers, it's easy. And then we need the flight module, which we need a syringe. And so now we gotta go beat on a gas real quick, which is why in my backpack there should be a swab for a gas. And so we just grab a bucket <clears throat> for experience. And then we go to here, we go home. Where's that dragon egg? Do we still have that dragon egg on us? I don't think this one has the ignore conditions, but we're going to switch this over to a gas on her. Where's the chickens? Hey, chicken, boof. Happy birthday, no star, we're close. See if it'll work without it. This is a smaller one. Oh, it doesn't have ignores conditions. Let's make it ignore conditions. And so now it should work. And so now we just beat up a gas with this. Does it have no AI? It should have golden. Do I have a golden apple? Oh God. Oh, this is not good. Y'all just give me a second, okay? Oh, I have pants on, they're gonna teleport. Okay, I killed that guy on accident. We're just gonna leave these ghasts out here. Okay, y'all just stay there for a second. We're gonna go home. I'm kind of scared. Happy birthday? Wait, happy birthday? Whose birthday is it? Happy birthday to the ground. All right, flight module. Done with that one. The chicken. That's, I think he says happy birthday, Darko, is what he says. Because it's referencing Dark Costo, I want to say. This one makes this, which we have everything but the high power cap capacity condenser thingy. Let's make that. And we can make that using, okay, we can make that using um, our mechanism stuff, which is good. He needs some milk. What up, Shiloh? Do you need something? Everything okay? There's a body. Oh god, it's so cold down here. Why are we missing? Did we not just put the iron frames in here? Did I not just make the iron frame recipe? Am I tripping? Oh, it's doing the wrong thing. Hold on a second. No. I want the iron frame. Whatever, we'll just do iron frames. We'll just make iron frames. And this is going to make the high power condensity thing in my boobler. I hear taco as well. Wait, what? It does sound like taco. What sounds like taco? What are you taco about? All right, we need the unobtainium thingy. We have only one made. That's fine. Come over, slap it down, and the missing essences. Oh god, we need the air, uh, fire, earth, all that stuff. God, it's actually freezing down here. Did we got air, or did we get earth? Yeah, air. Where is that earth? Yep. All right, what is in this one? Air. Congratulations, you're now being promoted to even more water. Which one's Earth? This one's Earth. Is this nether seeds? I'd be so sad. All right. And so is this done? There we go. Awaken. Cool. There's one. And so now we need to set this up to make another one. And so we're waiting for that other unobtainium piece. But once this is done. All right, so this should make me my un un awaken unobtainium if it makes this one in time. That goes in said star thing. Which, by the way, how's this holding up? Is this almost done? 70 something percent? Okay. We're making the rest of the stuff that I need. We've done this. We've got the fluid disc. We've got, we're waking, making those. Those are fine. Creative essence I can literally just make in my crafter. Because it's just the creative essence. I just need everything. It knows how to make everything, but the in Supremium gemstone block, which I can just teach you how to make that. Doo -doo 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 -doo. 
Um, let's do creative essence. I can't make the creative essence, but I can make the gemstone. We needed what, four of these? And then we needed four insanium blocks. So we could just grab my master infusion crystal that's in this thing and hit you on this and then do the creative essence. That's done. We stick that in here. I don't think this is used for anything else other than the master thing. Yep. All right. So that's done. Uh, we've got all of those done. Is our antimatter still in our system? Antimatter. There's all five of those. Wait a second. Okay. No, I'm not. Wrong. Okay. I had a heart attack because I thought I was wrong and had this wrong. All right. So philosopher's fuel. We have the Dioran block. We have the, we don't have the Insanium Coal block. We don't have this. We don't have that. Uh, we don't have the block of Tyrion Steel. So let's get all these things together because these are actually really easy to make. I think I just have to tell it to make two netherite furnaces, right? It has to be all these different colors. Ooh, that's kind of annoying. I have all the stuff for this set. Should know how to make all of this, actually. I can teach you how to make all the colors. I'm not too upset about it. And I'm pretty sure it knows how to make a furnace, so we're just going to shove these in here for now. And let's go back and grab the rest of those recipes. This is the plating. So you need, to make this, you need eight. So you just need one rainbow core, which is wild. And so then we need to teach it how to make this which we know how to make everything but the crystal furnace. So let's just go ahead and do that. Actually, I think the plating. Does the plating take a copper furnace? We don't know how to make a copper or a silver one. But I know how to make the rest. Let's go ahead and grab those. You have a good dinner. All right, let's do the plating. Can we make the plating? I wonder what it's going to be uh, telling me that I'm missing. No, nope, I can make the plating. Well, there's the eight plating. And so what am I missing for the rainbow furnace? This, I know I ain't going to be able to make that core. Ain't no way I'm going to be able to make that core. Because I need all the colored glasses. So what colored glasses we need? Need blue. Pretty sure I can just make this. It's so cold down here. My hands are literally shaking. Purple. Magenta? Do we have magenta dye? It's a good thing we had all of this stuff. This is just a silly recipe. I'm going to be honest with you. This is just such a silly recipe. All right, now we can just say, hey, make me this core. Missing four magma creams. Do I not know how to make magma cream? Magma cream. Make me the core. Give me the rainbow furnace. Rainbow furnace is done. Now we need the ender generator, so we got to teach it to make these recipes. which these are all actually really easy. And these generators aren't that great, but they're really easy to make. And so they're easy to stack up. Honestly, I should have made these in the beginning. All right, these go in the backpack. Okay, inner generator is done. Let's teach it how to make the Insanium Coal Block. Which, if I remember correctly, I'm going to... Oh, no, I actually don't have to do that. It's not every single one of them. It's just those. And so, coal block. There's that. This is where it's like, oh, man, he's been working so hard. There's still so much stuff he has to make. How is he going to make this in time? And then when you get to this point, you're like, oh, he's, he's killing it. Like, what? He's already set up to make all of these things. And that's where I'm at. Like, I'm already set up to make most of these things. Thing is, is I wonder if we have enough diamond essence to make this. Because this is a lot of diamonds. I'm 
going to need another crafter. How do you plan on getting the antimatter so quick? I already got it all. It's already done. It's easy to get the antimatter. You just have to set up once and you're good to go. All right, let's see if I can have enough diamonds to make this. It's a 4x, right? Am I missing something? Missing 150,000? We could easily get the diamonds going with this if we s turn this off and then turn this off and then make some more swabs. We need wool. And so diamonds drop from a couple of things. So we go diamond essence. I'm actually going to teach us how to make the diamond essence recipe over here. So we can import and export. So this one is, should be done. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to teach it the diamond essence one. And so that should fill this and it should just fill with diamonds forever. You think you'll do it? I think I'll do it in a little bit. Like I'm not too far off. I'm almost done. Like I'm almost done. Is it a four? Is it a five x or a four x for that seed? It's a four x. Did I make the recipe for the four x or the five x? All right. Now let's get the emerald recipes as well. We should have all the pat. Or we should have all of these for this. Do we get this one? This is a four. Okay, we should have all the emeralds for this already. I think the total for this one is like... Honestly, I shouldn't teach it the... Di I think it actually has the compressed emerald, so I'd only need to teach it the nine block one. Because that's what's confusing it. So if I do 4x emeralds, it should actually know how to do this. Yep. And I think what's confusing it is that I have the extra diamond recipes... I think that's the problem. And so in like this one, I don't need to teach it how to make regular diamonds. I don't need to teach it how to make that block. That's what it is. All right, so there's our four X. So I should probably be able to, yeah. So we're only missing, we're only missing so many diamonds right now. It knows how to make the diamonds. And so it's just got to make all the diamonds right now because it's confused, right? So that's the problem. But it's going to make all the diamonds. I just don't know where all they're going. Where are my diamonds at? Here. You're not even close to full. But it's making these all, it's turning the, all of these into diamonds right now. And so we actually should change this recipe to be this one. And so I think that actually makes the diamonds faster, right? Yep. Cool. I'm glad I learned that trick. That trick is cool. Okay. This can be thrown away. How's our builder doing over here? Are you done? You're not done, right? Did you even go to Netherrack? Oh, wait. I forgot. You have to do... Wait. Don't wait. Box... 512, I think, is the max. And so I need to tell it to start again. And so it'll do the same thing. I don't think it's going to give me any... I don't worry that's... I'm pressing things. Ah, there's my netherrack. That'll give me my netherrack that I need. Is it done? That'll give me my netherrack. Don't make Turny Turny's car around. He'll be done when he's done. Yeah, I'll be done here soon. Builder has diamond. It's true. That is true. I just got to go back to it because I'm dumb. How many diamonds, though? He's got, what, three times compressed 1x? Oh, I just put a recipe in there. Um, Diamond 4x. So, yeah, it's just making the rest of the diamonds, and I think it has the rest of the diamonds already, and it's just got to grow more diamonds. And so that'll get diamonds too. I could have made it a fortune quarry, but that'll be fine. Turn the car around. Oh yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Uh, usually whenever I'm in the last end, itty bitty ends of this right here, you can just find who drops it. 
So diamonds get dropped from cave creepers and only cave creepers. Well, let's go get a swab and go get a cave creeper real quick. Let's get several swabs. And let's just have a cave creeper farm. All right, so I went into a hole over here, and I think it was like over this way. There she blows. And this one should spawn cave creepers in here. Oh, it might not be low enough, actually. I just got frozen. I wonder if cave creepers will actually spawn down here. I can't see. Is that a Vex? Oh, he just used that ability. Do I have my pants on? I wonder if creepers are going to spawn down here or not. I can't see anything right now. Turn this up again. Yo, Andy, thank you for the follow. You did apotheosis? Nah, but that's easy to do. Oh, I need to be putting these in my backpack. Like all these things that I... Oh, there's that. Am I tripping? All right, well, cave creepers not spawn down here. Maybe cave creepers are disabled. That's the second creeper I found. I found the cave enderman. Cave creepers might just straight up might not spawn. This would be a perfect place for them to spawn is over here, but I'm only seeing creepers. So maybe it's not far enough down. I'm going to do something silly here because I'm super silly. I'm going to get rid of all this stuff out of my inventory here. They definitely is only in lush caves. No, they're in, they're in plenty of places. So if we go and we look up diamonds and we look at the drops, you can find about them in the cave things. They only spawn below a spawn biome any, but I think they only spawn below a certain Y level. Could be wrong though. I'm going to do something wild here. I'm going to grab some cardboard boxes. wonder if I can die to these guys. Something just happened. My bar, I can't see what's on my bar. Can you not hit me right now? And we're going to go lower. That's where we're going to go. We're going to go to the depths. I don't know what all I just picked up. And it was only a dozen or so blocks down. It should spawn down here. Oh, what kind of creeper is that? It's a hills creeper. The hills have eyes. Oh, hey. Pause. I'm gonna let the dog out. Bro, it's 4.30? Hello? He almost got me. He almost got me. The soul or surge just gives you extra stuff. That's all it does. It gives you, it increases it by five times is all it does. Increases whatever it's connected to by five times.
I'm gaming right now. Kind of sad that I'm not done. But it do be what it do be. <clears throat> I think I wasted too much time by playing around. There's a ton of chickens out here. Oh my God, there's so many chickens. Can I click you, please? That's how you play. That's what it sounds like when I play piano. All right. We don't need Evoker anymore. We don't need Cave Enderman anymore. We don't need the Helmet Crab anymore. And we don't need the Witch anymore. Congratulations, you've all been promoted to Cave Creeper. And as long as this is on, it will kill everything. And honestly, if I kill things with looting, I would go crazy. Especially if I had like... This should be a plenty enough for diamonds though. That'll fix our diamond problem. Next up, we gotta actually do apotheosis though. That's gotta happen. Uh, I think our dirt should be done over here. And our netherrack should be done over here too. We got netherrack times five. Netherrack times, oh, we got a five X. Don't we need a six X? You know, we just have to extend this out basically. Bunch of coal. Um, Dirt, two X, one X. So dirt, I need two seven X's or six X, two five X's. Can I make one five X? No, still not enough. It'll be there. It's nine shallow. Wait, what? I also heard taco. Wait, what? All right, let's finish making all these things that we need. We need the Tyrion still thing. And so to make these, we actually have to have in stone stuff. And so you can, you can do Tyrion still dust. But you have to, well, never mind. You can't do Tyrion Steel Dust. You need the metal compounding here. And so we need Crimson Steel, Electrum, Crushed Choker Shells, and Netherite Scrap. So we need to make this. And to make this, we need some Crimson Steel ingots, which we don't even have Crimson Iron. Which actually, Crimson Iron should be over here. Crimson Iron, where are you at? Is this done? Or am I just lagging? We'll just go get it over here. Crimson Iron should spawn in here. It's end dimension stuff. We Actually, it should be in our backpack, shouldn't it? Crimson Iron is nether. Pretty sure we have Crimson, Crimson Iron back at the base, actually. Hold on a second. Can I do slash home? It's been 30 minutes. Lol, it's been four minutes. Really bad at this. Is there any Crimson Iron here, actually? We should have it. There's none in here. All right, we actually got to go to the other dimensions to get this. That should be easy, though. What's this hole? That's, uh... Try not to make any bad jokes. I think I have netherrack in here, too, right? Oh. Don't think you can double crimson iron. But I need the netherrack, so I'm just going to go ahead and break this out. I don't know how much I need. I know I need a bunch of crimson steel. I got fortune, so this should be fine. And then let's go to the end. Hey! Sad part is, is we actually need to go get some crimson stuff. We actually have to go get the crushed shulker shell or whatever from another place. And I'm definitely not going back to where that went was before. How much did we get here? I think I don't need a whole lot. I think we're going to go with this one. With a vengeance focus, you have to kill them with it. You have to hold with vengeance ring in one hand and kill them with the vengeance ring. So you have to kill them first. To summon the vengeance ring. And then from there you can do it. Alright, we're gonna smelt these down. Smelt all of these down. Actually, I don't think I'm pretty sure I can't double it. Okay. So let's see. We can make the crimson steel ingots. 
four. That should make this. We need blackstone. Don't we have blackstone somewhere? Um, guess that's enough. Cool. Metal alloy compound. I don't know if this needs power or not. I'm not 100% sure. So it's going right here. And so this needs the crimson steel. I need what? Nine of these. So I need nine crimson steel ingots. We just need a bunch of magma cream, which we have these. There's 10. Pause. Do we have, oh, do, don't we have to make these? Oh God, these are these. Oh God, we're going to need some more zero electrum. We're going to go back to the end. This is why I wish I was, I was waiting. Actually, I wanted to wait to do the all the mind speedrun speed run until that the end dimension was fixed and so it had the actual or the uh, mining dimension was fixed because otherwise it takes forever to find this stuff i literally got one there that's kind of hilarious can you make a sight potion for those I don't think you can. Bring the builder with filter, but I'm almost done. I think the builder would probably take longer to be honest with you. Cause I have fortune and we're done. You can do the ritual of scrying though from ours. Never heard of that. Okay, so we need five of these. And so we need crushed shulker shells. And that's a problem because shulker shells, we need nine of these, right? Hold on a second. How many does this make? It makes four. So we need two shulker shells. Shulker shells. We need two of these. And so I need to just go find one choker. So I'm just going to go to the inn. Can I RTP or is that off the cooldown? Okay, it's not on cooldown. And so then I need to find the inn CD with the this and find an inn CD. I knew I should have killed those. One of that ever more block you're looking for and it does these little flames these blocks and it just like pops it out. Oh yeah. You didn't give me nothing, bro. Did you give me something? I need you to give me shulker shells. Somebody just launched something from somewhere. Where are you hanging out at? Where'd you teleport to? Am I wearing my pants? I'm wearing my pants. Did I get it? Okay, cool. Wait, that's eight, right? I need three. Cool. And home. All right, and now we can metal compound this. We need this. What was it? Netherite? Is it a netherite ingot, right? Is that what it was? Scrap. And then it's three of these. Working on those. All right, so then I just need three of those and that's gonna make all that, so that's done. All right, and so that's philosophy. Do we still have that Dorite block? Dor the Explorer block? We do, we have that. Is there anything else that I need to make out of here? Block Tyrion Steel, Insanium, Insanite. Was it a dark room block? We made the dark room block already. So that's, that's done, we've got this. So Dim Scene I'm working on right now. Nexium emitter, we have everything but the create arm. Uh, black hole, I needed the pulsating black hole. Pulsating black hole. We need this. We got the chunk destroyer already. We need this. We got the micro missiles. So we need this one. And we got the dark room block and the nuke already. 
So this is actually pretty easy if you find the runes, which you just have to swab the dead king. Which I haven't done yet. I can actually probably just kill him. Because what we need, one of these, so we need eight basic rune stones, right? You drop zero to one, it's a 50% chance. And we'll just have to go find him in the catacombs. This one's pretty easy. We just need the thick potion. So we need glowstone and water bottles. Bottle. Actually, I'm going to need to make a bunch of these. Because I already know what I'm going to have to get into. I try to do the iron stuff. What is it? A thick potion is what? Thick potion is glowstone. Just makes it thick. Right. All right. So now we just need the four gem dust out of here, and that will make everything that I need except for this lava bucket. And we need that thick potion. So whenever that's done, we'll be good to go. So yeah, that's gonna be done. Um, everything else is fine. So we need to go swab this guy. So let's go grab a swab. Let's grab wool. If at first you don't succeed, you can swab it. Okay, there's that. That's done. Apotheosis we will eventually have to get into in like two seconds. Let's go home. Let's find the, what is this? Iron Spells Catacombs. Where are you going to find it at? 4,000 blocks this way. The Dead King, yeah. You can find it in some loot chests, yeah. I think you can actually, can you find it? Can you get these blank runes from other people? No, it's just this guy. Okay. All right, so at this point, we really are super close. Pyromancer is easier. Does he actually give it to you? Did he drop the fire runes? Oh, Pyromancer is easier. You're right. This one is not the evoker for it. This is the mountain tower, right? Pretty sure it's the mountain tower. Mm -mm. Could be a different kind of fort. Could be the evoker fort. Quit teasing me. I don't the cryo. So is it the evoker fort or the mangrove hut? Pretty sure it's not the fort because we've already done the fort. It's the hut. 4,000 blocks this way. Yeah, I'll be done. I'll be done in like the next. I want to say it's going to take me like an hour from here. We're going to get it sub 30. Definitely. But yeah, I'm almost done with it. As long as these diamonds don't take forever and a day to make, which it shouldn't actually be taking that long because we should almost be done with it. Should almost be done with all of it, honestly. Matter of fact, let me see if I can make, make that diamond 4X yet. 4X. Uh, yeah, that's halfway done now. And so dirt is the other one we needed. And so we needed two more of these, and that's just being made right now. And comp, and I didn't even change my rank, was Big Pange. Welcome to Overwatch. Were you playing solo, or were you playing with somebody else? And Zua, wait a second, Zen Duo, you actually want to play comp with me? Why does nobody want to play comp with me? Solo? Okay. How do you check void? Void what? Oh, the VOD? I might have messed up and forgot to eat. I'm always warm that back up and eat it. Yeah. Is it? Well, I forgot to eat. Five hours because I'm, I'm like, I'm almost done. You blame chat? Shallow says that it's y'all's fault. <laughs> I just placed gold one and Sag. Oh man. Can taste that plat. Wait, where are you at right now? I'm gonna eat my food. I'm gonna eat it once it's cooled down. I'm flying right now. Don't worry. Where are you at? Chef Shiloh. Shiloh made me some egg rolls and some stuff. I wonder if I can just kill this guy. Oh, I can't even open up my inventory right now. That's great. Do you feel the speedrun was harder than all mods eight? I think it's actually easier personally. I think it's just, there's a lot more annoying. I don't think it's harder. I think it's more annoying. I think there's a lot more annoying aspects to this than there was in eight. Platoon last season. I, body, where are you at right now? Are you like gold three? 
I think there's just a lot more annoying aspects that don't really make the make it harder. Like I think blood magic honestly is a good addition, right? Like I think blood magic is like a good addition in my opinion. I think it's actually a good part of the star, but everything else is basically the same and nothing else has actual value. Right. And so the things that do add value like blood magic, I'll give it blood magic does actually add value to the pack. I think it does. I think extreme reactors does add some value, but I don't think, I think they're, they're more an, of an annoying thing than anything. The war zone cleans out all the high hackers yet. You're not going to get, you're not going to play war zone, sir. You and I both know you're not playing it, but like all the other stuff is all the same. It's the same thing. Where's this guy at? Is he at the top of the tower? Hey, what's up, brother? I'm just, hey, don't hit me. You just burned your house down. I hope you know that. He tried. What a champion. Should be able to find some runes in here too if I'm lucky. Am I wearing my pants? I'm wearing my pants. Is it, is he, he's got that place all the way downstairs too. No runes? What a cheapo. I think there's some runes at the top of this tower. Nope, I was wrong. We're going home though. The power buff, so it feels more rewarding. I actually already buffed it three times. It gives you three times the power that it would normally give you. That's the problem. So, like, I buffed it and it's not enough. It needs like times five. I'm sorry. All right, there's my Tyrion Steel stuff. Oh, that goes in the backpack. All right, and now I need to go grab a scene. How many buckets can you make? I need to talk to this chicken in French. Woo woo baguette. There we go. It's funny because it's literally a bag. All right, we're going to use this and I'm just going to kill him. Maybe. I don't want to use my auto spawner for this, but this should just spawn this guy a couple times, right? Might take a little bit. I think you need all the modium to reduce the thing or whatever, right? Got it down to Z or that. Come on now. Wait, do I have the unobtainium thing? Did I make that one yet? Ooh, there it is right there. Oh, look, pyromancers. If y'all set the hell force on fire, I'm gonna be so upset. Can y'all stop shooting each other? You know what I forgot to do? A lot of things. Y'all, y'all are just shooting each other. Yes, kill the, kill that guy over there. Kill him. Kill that guy over there. These, what type of spell was that? Other than like, I'm gonna die. Please help me. I need help. I need one more scroll. Oh, hey guys. All right, hold on. Okay, I kind of want to leave these guys here. I'm gonna be honest with you. I kind of want to leave them here. Something just broke. It was my pants. It was my boots. Oh yeah, we got him. Did you see him? He just hit that man. I don't want my world canceled. Fire. Was this a bad idea? Absolutely. But was it hilarious the whole time? Absolutely. Is it just going to burn the whole world down? Also, absolutely. I think we got enough of everything now. It's way too many scrolls here. I think I need those inks too, but this is fine. Did we get... Okay, now we can make these runes. So we need a rune, right? Because we have this. We need the arcane salvage and the arcane ingots. One, two, three, four. So the salvage or whatever is just smelting down the arcane debra, which we should have arcane debra. Down there, her world. Listen, I, I'm just hitting them in the mouth. Uh, can I not smelt this down? Did I just smell some? This has to be in a blaster? Oh my gosh. Arcane Debra. I say Debra because I don't like saying uh, debris. And that's, that's what I call it. Somebody actually, some dude actually got upset with me because I called it Arcane Debra. They were like, hey, I'm never watching your stuff again. You're dumb. I'm like, hey, now call me out. He didn't call me dumb, but he, he said he didn't like, he didn't like what I was doing. And so <clears throat> there's that. All right, so now we just need to make this center orb and now we just need to make this orb and there's that for the star that's done. 
And then that means we need the chunk to short. And we also need to finish this craft over here with this. Cool. Delete, delete. Legendary ink. Well, I never. We also got to do apotheosis, which is kind of like me. But I've got notes and I know all about them. All right, I'm going to pause to eat. Okay. All right. Wiz Pink, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. I'm going to pause to eat. Oh, never mind. It's hot. Ow. Ooh. People get mad at me all the time by saying it all the modium. All the I used to say all the and then what the drunk watched my video. He's the all the modium dude. My all the mods dude. And he was like, hey, it's all the modium. Get it? Because all the mods. I, Andy Shome, thank you for the follow. Uh, Wisping, thank you for the follow. Resile, thank you for the follow. I just want to be done with this before the boys go to bed. What's on the menu? I'll show you in a second. I just want to be done before the boys go to bed. Which is in an hour and a half. And it was so fun. Wiz Pink, don't worry. I got another 26 set plus hours coming straight for you. These are still hot, I think. Ah, we're going to eat in a minute. We got to finish doing what we're doing. Ah, I just burnt my tongue. All right. Oh, ah. Let's go ahead and get this done real quick. Let's get this apotheosis stuff done. I don't usually do the apotheosis. I ain't never done apotheosis in my goddamn life. So we're going to resume this and we're going to go. All right. So apotheosis, we're going to need to start out with some bookshelves. Do we have bookshelves at all? Do we get any bookshelves at all? We have no books. That makes it a little bit harder. And so this is where things are about to get weird. We're going to go to the other dungeon. Oh, I should have went to the pylon. Hold on a second. We'll go to the pylon. And so in here, there are these books. And that's all we need. And we're getting out of here. All right. So there's our bookshelves. We don't need any more than this. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five. That's not right. And now we need an enchantment table. I will absolutely do that after uh, I'm done with this stream. I will have a post and everything. You can see it all. All right, so the next thing we have to do is we need to infuse hell shells. We need to make hell shells. And so these are the ones that are annoying because you have to make the potion of regeneration for this one. And so potion of regeneration, we need awkward potions plus gas tears. So we need gas tears. And so that's easy because we didn't make this. And so we need awkward potions and awkward potions are we need nether wart for this wart. I can just make these. And so let's go make these potions real quick. I think we have what thick potions in here. We need the we don't need thick potions where we're going. We don't need thick potions. But we do need some glass bottles. On your beard routine right now, I'm just growing it out. It's just it's it's just in a bad spot right now. Brewa. Brew bro ha ha. We're just gonna make a couple of them. You know, nothing too crazy. Making this fast. I need to actually shave my beard because my beard's actually in a really bad spot right now, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm just being completely real with you. Is we are in a bad spot. Wait, this is not supposed to be this. This is supposed to be guest here. Good thing that don't double it up. <laughs> It'd be fun. EMC would break this whole thing. Child, I can't eat the food yet. Cause uh it's too hot still, so I'm waiting. I think I needed nine infused hell shelves. Let me see. I needed nine glowing hell shelves. Thank you. 
Which one said boom boom? Did this one say boom 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 boom? I think I don't need any more. <laughs> These should be my last sets. How's the game going? We're going. We're gaming right now. And so now we need to make these hell shells. So we actually need some bookshells. So this is where we get the leather and we grab some paper, which I think we actually have some paper, right? Oh God, there you go. Do I have to smelt this down to normal leather? I gotta smelt this down to normal leather. That sucks. Can I not use these other bookshells? Make these. I don't think I can, can I? Nope. Because they don't count as bookshelves. Do die, do die. They don't count as bookshelves. Why the hell they don't? And planks. E9. I'm going to need a bunch of these, actually. And so now we can make these. Nether bricks. Hello. Well, that works. And so now we need to infuse these. So we're going to need a lot of experience for this. We need some labaos. Should have the infusion. All right, let's see. Infusion. We need 22. We need at least 30 quanta. And so we don't have that. So we have skulls. That's what the skulls are for. And so now we should be able to infuse them. 35, 15. Oh, we got to put more of these bookshelves down. That's why. I forgot. You actually need a bunch of these bookshelves. And you'd also use the soul. Or is it the at occultism? You use these little crystal thingies. These give up to 22.5. Can we infuse yet? I guess we need one more bookshelf. So I'm just going to put couple of these down. Can we infuse? Infusion. 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 Can these stack? Oh, these stack. Infusion. Infusion. Got to put this wither skeleton skull on. We want to make these glowing. <clears throat> That's the ones that I like the most. Can I infuse? Ooh. Can I infuse now? I need level requirement 48. Well, good thing I have 384 levels. Infusion. And... Fusion. All right. Okay. So I need nine of these. Pretty sure those count, right? So the next one I need is candle. Pretty sure I need to replace some of these. I'm gonna break all of these so I can replace them. All right, the next step is once we do this, we go over here and we look. So we infuse shells, hell shells, we have these. And then we go for the deep shells. So deep shells is the next one we got to make. Do we not have cracked whatever? Do we not have cracked chicken? Where is my deep slate? You need the cracked tile, deep slate tiles, which is kind of weird. Can I not make the cracked polished deep slate tiles? Am I tripping right now?
Can I not stone cut these? Was this literally just taken out? Whatever, we'll smelt it. And so I'm going to need a total of these 14. One, two, three. Oh, well, there's that. I got a bad feeling that I don't have enough books. Or I don't have enough stuff for this. You, what is it? Flesh. Oh, we're going to need a lot of paper too. Ah, perfect. And so to infuse this, we need to infuse this with, we need 40 Arquanta and 40 Arcana. So we should have all of that except for, let's see. We have this infusion. Okay, so we can infuse these. We need a total of 12 Echoing Deep shelves. This is going to cost a lot of experience. I believe it's going to cost a lot of experience. We should be good. We only got 300 and something. We need 12, right? I need 14. Okay, so we should actually have the stuff to make these. So next up we need 12 of the echoing deep shelves. Is that what I usually use? 12 echoing deep shelves. Ooh, I like it when I'm out of candles. And then I need two echoing skulk shelves. So I needed two more of these. Echoing skulk shell. So we need the skulk that we mined earlier. One. A two. Hold on a second. A two. And this should be enough. So we're just going to get rid of all these. All right. Let's see where we're at in terms of deep shelf are enchanting these things. Can I enchant any of these things? Can I enchant things? The next thing we need is dragon's breath anyway. So dragon's breath is what we'd enchant next. So to get dragon's breath enchantment, we probably have to put a couple more things down, but to get here, to get this infused dragon's breath, we need 15 to 20 quanta. And then we need 60 Arcana and then 40 of this. So we have 45. This is, that adds the plus two. And so that's Arcana. We need to take these out. So uh, playing a clicker game, wait, what? And that should do those. And then we need the glowing hell shells, I think it is. So where are we at right now? We're at Soulbound. This is 35, and we need it at 40, right? So you could use these crystals. Each one adds one, right? So can we enchant it now? Infusion! So we need a couple more than this. All right. <clears throat> and then this will make us the Draconic, or the Inshells. Which we're going to need in the stone.
One, two, three, four, five. And so now we need the draconic one. So this is the only problem with this one is you need dragon heads. So this is why I have dragon heads. I have those predictions I saved for the dragon, uh, dragon heads. So we need a total of five of these. And now we should be able to turn all of these in shells into draconic in shells. And now we could replace this whole thing. So we can get this thing going right. So this will give us max speed. And so the first one is five draconic, four echoing deep shells. How many echoing deep shells do we have? So four, one, two, three, four. And so this will make us see, we need the teleportation cores. I'm gonna need three of them. Okay. And so the first one, this one should let me tell up or make the nether infusion. Should be an infusion. So there's the nether infusion. The next one I need seven echoing deep shells. So that's four, five, six, seven. And then wither skulls. Need three. One, two, three. This one should give me draconic. And the next one is funny because you actually need something different. We need two echoing deep shells, one just regular deep shelf, and then we need melon shells. We need two melon shells. Nope, we need one melon shell. Melon shell. It's a good thing we have a bunch of melons growing over here. Because we got to make this. So we got to make the glistering melon. So one, two, three. All right. So this should, if I put the teleportation core in here, give me infusion. If I have this right. So we'll see. Oh, the three. Hi, crazy. This should give me infusion for this one. And this should be endure. So there are our three infusions that we needed, and that's all we needed to do. That makes apotheosis a whole lot easier. And so now we use those to make the miniature portals. Mini, what are we missing over here? Or this one? I teach you how to make all of that. Honestly, I could just make all of this. All right, we need like eight of these. So we need a couple of these. I'm going to be honest, I didn't look at these miniature portal recipes. I just looked at the teleportation core things. And that's it. Is that a bad thing? That's probably a bad thing, right? Because I don't have the dragon egg for that. Probably not a good idea. Which I could just easily get. If I take a lead dragon prediction that I have here. Is it an inner dragon? Ah, one dragon egg. How lucky. All right, there's the three portals, and this is to make the dim seed. Those are in there. We're done with this. And so now all we have to do is... We've got all of that. We made the dragon soul already, right? Yep. All right, we're going to pause, because all we have to do now is create. Let's go. All right. So, pulsating black hole, we're going to need to make all this stuff for this real quick. I'm going to go ahead and tell it how to craft all this. So, pulsating black hole, it needs the, this is from 
Pneumaticraft, pressure. We need to make all the stuff for this. We need to teach it how to make everything. Everything. Did I say, oh, not that one. We need to teach it how to make all this. We gotta go get some compressed iron too, but we'll get all that here in a second. This is easy. There's a pressure chamber wall. <clears throat> we need the security. I think it's a safety module actually. Safety or security upgrade. Security, security. I don't know what they're banging on upstairs, but they're banging up there. They're banging on something and they're banging on it over and over and over. Air compressor. They're still banging on it, whatever they're doing up there. I don't know if y'all can hear it or not, but they are going to town hitting something right now. We need iron and we're just going to get a bunch of blocks of iron and we're going to make some TNT. They're, they're just, well, I mean, they're kids, so a little bit different. They're just j are jumping up and down. Uh, we need um, flint steel. And we're going to go blow a hole in the ground over here. You have to bang out the speed run? I'm working on it. God. Batters up! Cool. All right, let's do air compressor. I'm going to need like 10 of these. Missing the compressed blocks. I'm just glad to be done with most of this stuff. I thought I made these. But I was wrong. All right, <clears throat> that's no good. Wait, what? We have the pressure valves, right? Pressure. So we're gonna need a bunch of these. Thank you. We're gonna need the safety modules. I think we need more than that for the pressure walls. Now we need the valves. I think I only need two, one. I made 16 chamber wall, two of these interfaces. Except they don't even live here. They just visit multiple times. They shake my monitor. Jesus Christ. They're just banging it out, man. All right, let's build this. One, two, three, four, five. Do, 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 do. Yeah, they're just up there stomping on the ground and stuff. They're just being kids. Um, It's okay. I'm usually down for them to play around or whatever, but sometimes they just kind of get really aggressive, and I'm like, please, child, sweet summer, summer child, I'm going to need you to calm it down. Because they kind of do crazy sometimes, you know what I'm saying? They're just like, it's time to go. I should have built this up already with a wand. I wonder if you can have multiple valves in this and it work like that. Or if it, you just, I think to keep the pressure, you want to do like this, right? Right. It's going to sound funny for a minute. But that's okay. As long as these have the safety modules in them and we put the safety module in this thing too. I think we have to put it in this thing, right? 
Where do we put this at? Oh, we put it in the valve right here. That's where it was. I've done this before, I promise. Bro, you are hooked up. Oh, you're not. Like, don't you start hissing at me, bro. You are hooked up. I have hooked you up. So these safety or security upgrades just make it where your stuff doesn't explode whenever you're like making this. And so this is just needs to now get up to what is it? This one's which one's in and which one's out. That one's got to be in, right? That one's got to be in. So chest. Congratulations on using these two chests. I, truth or dare? Uh, <clears throat> chicken nugget. Have holes, yeah. I could kill, yeah, this is this is the thing that could explode and kill everybody. Correct. All right, now we need to create stuff. Actually, let's check on our dim seed. Because we still need the dirt and we still need the netherrack. And I think we still need the diamonds, right? Or do we get the diamonds? Can we make the 5x or the 4x diamonds yet? Missing. Am I tripping right now? Why is this barely dropping any diamonds? These are all silent. Yeah, these are barely dropping any diamonds. Interesting. Oh, yeah, I'm absolutely going to nuke it. Yeah, we nuke everything after we get every single time we nuke it. Never fails. All right, <clears throat> this thing should be done over here, though. What do we have here? Block of diamond one. Let's see, what did you give me? Do you have another netherrack times five? I need a times six. <clears throat> so that's fun. I don't think I need anything else though. Right? <sighs> oh, I can actually set this to void all the like stuff I don't need. Hold on a second. We want to void stone, cobblestone, gravel, sand, in stone, because I have all the in stone. And now I should just tell it to go. And now it won't get me any stone. It'll just get dirt. <laughs> it should be a fortune quarry card, too. Can I make it a fortune quarry? Does it keep the card settings? Yeah, cool. So that should fix a lot of it. That'll give me some more diamonds and stuff. Should give me more dirt, too. Need a lot more dirt. Can I change blocks of dirt? I don't think so. I think I could probably just turn make dirt, right? Dry out things. I'm pretty sure I could just make dirt in the infuser. Sand plus biomass, that's going to be a hard pass. <clears throat> and then slag or compost plus that. So that's, it's not that big of a deal. Because the dirt, we can just make another builder if we wanted to. 
We just need what? Two more of these. Not even. We need, yeah, we need one more for dirt 5x. So yeah, we're almost done with the dirt. The netherrack is another one of the ones that I really need. And so it has to make like a lot of netherrack for that. <clears throat> I should have just been doing this before. I don't know. I completely forgot about it. So it should be able to make, I need to get, is it netherrack that I need? Am I tripping for the dim seed? Yeah, I need a, a netherrack 6x. Six, uh, six Do I have the 6x six craftable? Yes. And so to make the netherrack 6x, six as uh, 6x, six I just need 50, I need 40,000 more nether essence. So it's fine. And the diamonds are coming along fine. I think the diamonds are going to be okay. Unless it's just not wanting to go up anymore. Let's put the diamonds in a spot that I shouldn't have twice. Because these are all upgraded. Right. Yep. Time to chose. Oh, I chose chicken nugget. You pick though. You whatever you want. I don't care. Uh, now we need to do create while we're waiting. Create. We're going to need the mechanical arm. And so we're also going to need this. So with this, we need the brass casings. Do we have brass? How many brass casings was it we needed? This makes three. We need, I think we have enough casings for that. Polish rose quartz plus iron plate. And so we needed crafting tables. Polished rose quartz is easy to make. This one you can sandpaper, you can enrich down rose quartz, which you just need a bunch of rose quartz. Blah over here to this enrichment chamber. Strotus in here. I, uh, I'm probably not going to do any dares, bro. And so polish rose quartz, I should make that. Uh, and then we should be able to make, I think we need a couple of these. Lost mates, all of them. Need 55 of these. Okay. There's the 55. Now we need this. So we need a brass plates, precision mechanism, and a casing. Brass plates engineer. Did I throw my engineer's hammer in here? I did. You can't make brass plates with this. Should be able to make it with. Can I not make it with? Oh, I can make it with the ore hammer. Do I have the ore hammers in here? I do. How many brass plates I need for this? Three. And then this needs, this just needs cogwheels, large cogwheels, iron nuggets. That's okay, because we need the water wheel. Did I make a bunch of andesite alloy? I don't know if I did or not. We did not make enough andesite. I think I can make a full shaft here, Los. Then I should only need like five water wheels, right? Sure. Go for it. Okay, now we need the cog wheels. And we need the large cog wheels. All right. And to make the precision mechanism, we need uh, the deployers and depots. Deployers. Do we have to do anything with these? I don't think so. We already made the electron tubes, right? Pretty sure we were solid on those. Do we not already make these? I only need three. 
to brass plates. No need a motor. Now we're just going to use the water wheels. And this is where I need the alloys. Andesite alloys. We need some oak. And then we're going to make these. We should be able to make three of these. One, two. Okay, do these stack? They do stack. Cool. And so now we need to make the depots. One, two, three. This is going to look really bad. I just want y'all to know that. This is going to look really bad because I don't do create, okay? All right? I just want y'all to know that this is going to look awful. That's not what I'm going to do. Can I just place this down like this? We'll rotate it afterwards. Can I connect them like that? Create ranch. That should be fine like this. Okay. So we need five of each of these. One, two, three, four, five. It's only got to go through five times. I think it has to go through, it's the five, this one first. And so then it needs five of these. One, two, three, four, five. And then it needs to go through the iron nuggets. Ain't that one block too high? Is it too high or doesn't, could it not go all the way down? It probably is too high, but that's fine. Yeah, oh yeah, what the hell? Why is it, why is it so high high up? I thought I only put it one block. Hold on, why is this in here? Ah. I was like, no, nah, it should be right, but nope. Okay. Okay, let's try that again. Huh? Just shift click them on top of the de depots. Can it not be like one a piece? Can it not be like, does it have to be right above it? Cause I just, I just do it right above it. I don't know. You know, that's actually probably a good point. All right. And so now we need to make the first mechanism or whatever, which is a gold plate. Cause we're doing this manually, bro. We're doing this like on our own. Engineers. Should be just one. And then we're going to go ahead and make, we're going to go ahead and do the water wheels. Oh, I need to rotate these back so I can have them facing this way. So I can do the water wheels out here. We're going to do shafts. That is not what I put down. Can't you do big wheel? Oh, I needed gearbox. That's what it, that's what I wanted to make too. Gearboxes. Ooh. Oh. I need to make more of these. I like the gearboxes and the vertical gearboxes. I know nothing about create, so that's where I am of where I'm at right now. So you could do I'm just gonna do the I'm just gonna do the shafts out here and then do the water wheels on this like this one two three and so i'm gonna dig the water out i dig this out so i don't have to have the water flowing down and being annoying so it's not annoying and then so i can grab my some water blocks i might have to slow this down or i might have to speed this up depending it only needs one water block if i remember correctly yeah let's speed it up So I always free it. It's large into small, right? Do we not have any casings on us? Do 
This should actually work like this. And that should speed it up a little bit. Cool. <clears throat> these all have to connect with... We have to connect these with cogwheels. Okay. Now I just do it by hand. I could do this manually, but or automate it, but I'm not trying to get into Create too much. Just use Starbuncle wheels these days? So, w wait, what? That's two, three. This is number three, right? It'll tell you on the thing. Yep, I need two more. This is so ugly, by the way. Everything that I'm doing with this is just so ugly. All right, now we can make the mechanical arm. Hello. And that's part of the star recipe. Let's check on over here, make sure this is fine. We got dirt in here. Is this done? Is this get finished? All right. Uh, nether rack. I need a time six. And I have one five X. Can I make the six X yet? Oh God. We're almost there. Can I make four? Ooh, this thing needs to be finished. I need to move this somewhere else. How far does the shape quarry or whatever work? How far does this work? Cause like, can I put this like, all the way over here. Now we're going to do 512. It's 512 by 512. Should work though. At least he got rid of all the Greg Tech stuff. How's our diamonds doing in here? We got one block of diamond, one block of diamond there. Diamonds should almost be done if we're doing the 4X. Am I tripping? Are we at the same level of diamonds that we've been this whole time? Are we just not going up in diamonds? The builder's not infused, but we should be going up in diamonds. Is it just not going in here with diamonds? Those should be giving us diamonds for a second. Am I tripping or is it just not giving me diamonds? Is there something going on here and I don't know about it? It'll only hit diamonds and deep slate. Okay, so I have a cave creeper farm going right here. Is this only going when I'm not around? Is that what's going on? Shouldn't this ignore players? Did I throw away all of my knotted shells? Oh God, no. Did I throw away the knotted shells? Oh no. I think you have to be close to them. That's the thing is these aren't spawning. Yeah, the spawner agitators aren't spawning them. Is 
That's what it is. Essence can make those, yeah. Actually, a little annoyed by that. Because they should work like that. Should be done. Tell me about it, dude. What up, Pierre? Something's actually up if this is the case. Something's actually up if it's not letting me do it. That's weird. Because that should be made. That's what I was kind of wondering about. These spawner agitators aren't actually giving me diamonds. Because, like, these should actually be giving me a lot more diamonds per. Because those things, when they die, they should give a lot more diamonds. Unless this isn't pumping out like it needs to. There's no void upgrade over here. Unless this void upgrade's not working properly. Void settings. Is this void one messing up? kind of weird that it's not because <clears throat> it should immediately go into this floppy is a good one are y'all still playing i'm shattered you I haven't added you yet okay i haven't played in forever Rather. okay so let's go ahead and just go make this this doesn't need to be here anymore We'll worry about the diamonds and stuff a little bit later, but that's weird that it's messing up. All right, can I make it right here beside this pressure chamber? Hold on, let's see. Is the pressure chamber done? That's a dynamic tank. I'm a dumb. I'm, I'm a dummy. Where's my pressure chamber at? Pressure chamber. Dynamic tank. They all look the same. Are you done? Oh, yeah, you're done, done. Oh, it's like, it's venting. It's ready to go. All right, so let's get all the stuff together to make this. Black hole. Okay. So we need the this. We need a nether star. We need the lightning bomb. The nuke. I don't think it needed the railgun, right? This one the micro missiles, the evoker thing. Um I need those casings later. Mm-mm. -mm -mm. The Chunk Destroyer, Dark... I could just be getting the Chunk Destroyer to be going right now. The Dark Room Block. The Vial of Searing Explosions. And let's see what we have here. One, two, three, four, five. This needed to be in the... So there's five pieces, six. And so we need the Pulsating Black Hole. Micro Missiles, so that's one. Chunk to store those two. What am I missing here? I can't see inside of there, but whatever. What up, Pierre? You leaving? See a crack? <clears throat> Is there things for, wait, for what? I need to go get my chunk to show you real quick. I'll probably have to make another one, but I really don't want to use it right yet. That'll make the pulsating black hole. I needed this. We've used this already. The micro missiles is the other one, which is in this chest. I don't want to use the chunk destroyer just yet. Roof, roof is right. Okay, it's gonna active. It activates while I'm back here. That's good. What is the other thing that it needed for this? Did I put the nether star in yet? I put the nether star in. Put these in, the lightning bomb in. You can do it with a bang on. The nuke that's in the third row of your inventory. Oh, yeah, that. And then I have to do the chunk destroyer. And I don't want to do the chunk destroyer just yet because I actually want the chunk destroyer to work. So we're going to break this. 
And I'm going to place this right here. Can I go back this way? It can. Make sure it didn't get anything that way. Should have already been running this, but sometimes you do this. Thank you, Dark Fan. Appreciate that. All right. Power surge. This backpack's looking a little full, by the way. Oh, 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 I don't need a puffer fish. I don't need any of this stuff in here anymore. What is this first void filter for? Oh, I was getting rid of the Greg Tech stuff. That's what it was. Raw power light. Oh, I needed those raw diamonds. Actually, oh God, we could have used the raw diamonds from Greg. Ooh, oh well. Raw diamonds from Greg would have been the sh stuff. What a dark fan. Been lurking for a while. Bro, we're going in. I meant to come over here and make the star. That's what I was supposed to be doing. So we're going to middle point this. We're going to do a cog wheel for the middle point here. That's fine for right now. And so let me grab the star recipe real quick. And grab this. You know, as many times as I made this thing, I should know how to make it. So it's a like this, and then one, two, three. I should have enough room. So four. What is it? Three across the bottom right? And then four. And then we have straight across here. And except for the ends, I need to break that off. And then it goes five in the middle. So one, two, three, four, five. And then we have boop, 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 boop. And then it goes up. That one's going to have to get rotated. Both of these are going to have to get rotated. Are these breaking and not giving them back to me? Am I tripping or are they not giving it back to me? And then it should be three. And there's the star. Such a noob, dude, I'm trying. These are trying times. Okay, I like to put everything in the middle. So I like to go all the way down in the middle. So these should go, oh God, I didn't mean to click that one. So that way it tells me that I'm making this all right. Also freezing down here. That was fine. So we're going up. And so this one should go down, right? Yep. That one should go up. To the left. To the left. Left. Up. All right. So that should all match up and go right to the middle. All right, so now we need to make the Patrick star too. The Patrick star is like a pretty important one, huh? You don't show freezing? You don't know freezing? Ah, oh, it's just really cold down here. Well, a star, that's one part of the star. So the thing is, is I'm over here making this and my stuff isn't even working right now, which is kind of oof. All right, to make the Patrick star, we need a bunch of things actually. Concrete, pink. So can we just make Pink dye. Why am I making the pink dye like that? We need to just go ahead and tell this to make a ton of sand, like a ridiculous amount of sand. And it's going to use it all by the time I'm done. I don't remember the exact numbers, but I know that I'm going to need to make some of this into we need the magenta, right? Is that right? Magenta, yep. 
don't remember how much it is, but I know it's not 40. And then we need lime. We need two of these. Is the sand already? Oh. Let me grab the gravel out of here. I don't know you can make gravel. It's an interesting recipe for it. All right. We really only need two of these. I need to go eat, but I want to go be here for the big finish. Oh man, I it might take me a little bit, but yeah. And then we need green. I don't remember the exact numbers for these, and I'm gonna have to count them. And I don't want to have to count them, but I gotta count them. And then I think that's it, right? Lime, green, pink, magenta, and that's it. All right, let's count the Patrick stars then. Let's count this. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, pink concrete. I just got rid of that water. So let's try that again. I think, is that? Is there a hole there? Okay. I just got to be real careful. Because if I break down, it's going to cause me a pain. All right. Then we need to use the rest of the concrete powder. And so concrete, green concrete. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and then we just need two lime. Pretty sure it's two lime, right? And then we need the magentas. How many magentas do we need? Oh, I hit something here. My game's crashing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. To wet the powder? Mystical wet recipe to wet the powder? Oh, did I just count? I missed my count. I'm just doing it this way because it's the quickest way I know. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13. It's quick if I'm not dumb. Like this. This is the fastest. Like, I mean, I, I usually automate this, but like, I don't really care to automate this, you know? I'm, I'm just, I'm just kind of going. We're going to have to push that down, but that's fine. Okay, let's make this star. Let's use the magenta concrete we got here. So three across the bottom. Three across the bottom. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then it is the corner pieces here. Did I miss that star side? Is it me or did I mess that up? I did mess it up somewhere. I knew I messed it up somewhere. Supposed to go up one more, that's why. Can I have that back, please? No. Thank you. And then three in the middle. Okay. That's right. That's the better start. Okay. There we go. Did it just take my die? No, it just gave it back to me. Cool. So one, two... Is this in the bottom down here? Oh, God, it's so hard for my colorblind eyes to see. Okay, well, that goes all that. The lime concrete goes right in these little dots right here and right here. Still going? You done goofed? I done goofed. Green concrete is like the middle right here. It's like makes a T here, I think. And then here and here. This is not supposed to go right here. This is supposed to go here. And then we have pink. Let's do pink. 
You got me, Pierre. Pink is supposed to go there, then pink goes across the top here. It's the concrete powder that's going to mess me up. Did I make too much pink? Nope, it's supposed to go right there. And pink concrete powder. This one's kind of harder for me to see, so I've got to kind of really focus. Oh, we should have split this, by the way. Um, gotta hate being colorblind. This is no fun. Okay. Is that all the pink powder? That's all the pink powder. Magenta. Oh, God, this one's terrible. Here, 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 here. I can't tell if that's pink concrete powder or not. It's supposed to be magenta up like this. And then green concrete powder is the last one. And this one is supposed to go here, 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 here. Is the rest green concrete powder? Maybe, but yeah. So now we just bust this out and we put this right. So where's my cogwheels? So now we just got to connect these up with some shafts. We're going to do just like I just did. I'm going to get these casings back out because I need these andesite casings and we're going to make this go up and speed this up. So bam, I'm going to andesite casing this so it does this. We're gonna do a little one. We're gonna go out like this, casing this little one. Okay, big one. I just need to do this twice, right? Casing, can I go down with this? <clears throat> I think this is actually fast enough now, All right? And now we shaft it. Overstress. I had a feeling. Because we can't double this one up, I don't think. Still overstressed? Bro, you got four. Why are you overstressed with four? You got four water wheels. Does it matter how much water I, how much water I have put on these? I wonder if it matters. I don't think it does. Water. I don't think it actually matters. I'm overstressed with ones. I'm upset with this. It should be not overstressed unless they changed how much is needed. Okay, that one just gave it to me. That's cool too. Did it just make the water bucket right there? It just gave me the water wheel. It just said, hey, here's your water wheel. All right. Now it's not overstressed. Make me the Patrick Star. See? It just needed the water. What up, Malefic? Malefic? Mal Malefic? Malefic? Millefic? I just don't ever want to do these stupid concrete things ever again. All right. While this is making the Patrick star, we need to make the dirt. Can I make the dirt 5x yet? Oh, God. Dirt's done. Did you make it to Patrick Star? Thank you. Patrick Star is done. Cool. All right, Patrick Star is done. Now all we need is the diamonds, and I think we're done. So Patrick Star is done. We don't need this. What is this needed for? I can't remember what the mechanical arm is needed for. Do we have all of this in here? This singularity, railgun, player transmitter, you. What am I doing with this? Oh, hold on a second. I ain't trying to. I ain't trying to use this. Oh, wait a second. Oh, we didn't make that gravitational modulating unit yet. Oh, God. Hold on a second. We didn't make this yet. Okay, we got to go get make this recipe. This is where that other antimatter thing was made. Okay, we got to do... We got the antimatter in here, so I don't have to make that. I don't think it needs to know how to make the bronze nuggets. Maybe it does need to know how to make bronze nuggets. Do I have bronze nuggets? Oh, I have bronze in here. Ooh, hold on a second. I'm kind of scared. I'm going to be honest with you. This tells me if I did this right or not, because we only need one of them. 
And so gravitational modulating unit. Okay, the three antimatter that I need for this is in this backpack. Am I tripping or is it not in my backpack? Or is it in my inventory system? Did I put it over here in this thing actually? Where is my antimatter? Oh, it's right there. Ooh, that kind of scared me. Why is it in this chest, man? Ooh, bro, that could have been real bad. I was kind of scared there for a second. That could have been really bad. How could you? I'm kind of like scared because that actually kind of scared me. I'm going to be real with you. This is going to take a second to craft. This is not an easy craft. Why is it still crafting these? What? Because it's got to craft all of these things to craft this. Didn't we soul forge this up over here? Casually misplacing antimatter. Dude, tell me about it. That's kind of crazy. That scared me. I'm going to be honest with you. That scared me. We're almost done. Question is, how are my diamonds doing? I'm so sick of not having the diamonds. I don't think I'm actually getting the diamonds that I need. I don't think it's even giving me diamonds at this point. I feel like we, we only need a thousand more. So here's what we're going to do. The diamonds should be coming over here in this chest. It should be done with this chest. Unless this is just not getting me. Did it finish all these diamonds out yet? Well, it's still going. And those are still spawning, so we still have these spawning cave creepers. Which cave creepers should be working. Gravitational, that's still being made. And then this needs the chunk destroyer over here, so we just kind of need to swab the cave creepers, right? Hold on, this is cave spiders. I was gonna say, hold on a second. We just gotta go make some more cave creeper spawners, is what it is. I need more than one. I think I, how many spawners do I have in here? One, two, three. So I need three of these. Oh, did I just swab a? Oh, I got a cave creeper. Never mind. Cave creeper. And there's the three cave keep creepers. We need buckets. I'm kind of. I'm kind of annoyed that it didn't actually upgrade the um, the things like it's supposed to. It didn't actually use the things that I needed. I'm actually upset about that. Um, the spawner agitators didn't actually work like I wanted it to. I don't know why I put these buckets up. Can I just grab this? And then seed. So I'm actually impressed that it messed up. More so, I'm saddened that it messed up. So, that's for a future note. That's where all of our diamonds and stuff went. Was when I wasn't around and I was out of the place and it wasn't generating anything because I didn't use a conduit like I should have. So, next speedrun, I gotta make sure I use a conduit. Wonder what your stream are you gonna stream after this? I'm gonna go to sleep after this. Not really. I'm gonna just not do anything anymore. Uh, I'm just gonna chill out. Is what I'm gonna do. So let's turn this off so it's not spawning any. You know, I just realized that blood spike is right there, and that entity conveyor, entity conveyor, needs to be split this way. And this needs to just have redstone, I'm gonna be honest with you. So that's just turned on. At this point, if if this doesn't kill it or whatever, I'm gonna be impressed. What's in this one? I don't remember the warden. Oh, please don't spawn the warden while I'm doing this. That would kind of suck. This is the Coralysis, and that's the Wither Skeleton. And we don't need either of those anymore. Turn those suckers on. That should all have redstone. Should up our diamond stuff. Is your YouTube channel on the same name? Alfred GG MC is my name. Uh, my original Alfred GG was a different one. And so what we can also do is we can make a bunch of diamond seeds. So what do we need for diamond seeds? What tier is a tier five, right? 
tier five. So it needs some premium. Yo, Anki, thank you for the follow. So at this point, we just need diamonds. Really sad that this didn't work out. And so while this gets made, our chunk destroyer should still be pulling some diamonds in. So I gotta make sure I stay close enough here so that I can actually pull these out. Chunk destroyer. We could just use the chunk destroyer to make that. Is our gravitational whatever done? Ah, uh, it is. We need the rail gun in here. What else is it? The end exchanger. There's our Nexium emitter. So a Nexium emitter, emitter is done. All right, I think I've made everything at this point. We got the dirt, right? Dirt 6X is done. So we're making the dim seed. We have everything for the dim seed except for the nether rack, I want to say, and the emeralds. How's our nether rack looking over here? So 6X and did we wait, did we make the nether rack? I thought we did. Did we make the nether rack? There is the obsidian, in stone, emeralds. We have pretty much everything right now, except for this violet. Okay, that just stays in there. All for the dim seed. We haven't made the netherrack in yet. Oh, just the dirt. Okay. So, netherrack. Could just take it to the end, or the, or the nether, and just go to, go to town. I know I have a bunch of netherrack in here so let me put all this stuff in this backpack here let's have the stuff that doesn't go for the star like the cobblestone the flux points what one was this one this is the philosopher's fuel i think i can just go ahead and make that right let's get this you know, the stuff that needs to be made into the philosopher's fuel or whatever. All of these should just instantly be used. We've already done the Gaia Spirit. The Gaia Spirit, it was needed for... What was it needed for? The We already had the dragon, whatever. Okay, now we should be able to make these. So high condensity, this is, should be this plus this plus the jet suit. There's the improbable probability device. Should be able to make this with our compass. So there's those two. We made the, made the Patrick star. We just need, we're waiting on the chunk destroyer for that. This is the philosopher's fuel. Which takes the rainbow furnace. It takes the insaneite block. This is the one that takes the Gaia. No, that's the other one. Our right, Inanite block, the Twilight Force, and the Rejuvenated. And it takes the Philosopher's Fuel. And so now for the Dim Seed, I just need these three. That's just part of the star regularly. That's just part of the star regularly. And so this should be everything I need for the star. Except for the diamonds. We're just waiting on the diamonds. So let's do 4x. Still missing 11,000. All right. Or 1,100. Sorry. Let's go ahead and just break this. We don't need anything other than the nether seeds. That's the Sardis Quartz. And we could really just stomp this out by waiting, just making more diamond seeds. Nether Act 2. Yeah, I have the Nether Essence going. So, should be good. And the Nether Act is like the easiest one. So that one's being, oh wait, hold on. Nope. Yeah. 
This is supposed to be Supremium. Okay, that'll make me the Diamond Seeds. And these will go in here. These will go in here. Make me more diamond seeds. The more diamond seeds, the better. Made a bunch of dirt seeds, but the nether seeds are probably good to make too. Man, I am actually so sad that I'm being like... I, the spawner agitators are actually what killed this for me. That kind of makes me sad. I could, yeah, watering kit would be a good idea. Just manually use it. Supposed to be any bone, but all right. And that should be all it needs is the Imperium one. Just stand there and look at it all pretty. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to just go. Loop. If you sneak right click in the air, it'll should activate it and so it auto does it. So let's get the diamond seeds out. Can I put this in my offhand while I'm doing this? I don't think it works in my offhand. <clears throat> and this harvester pylon just ain't gonna keep up, man. You made a tertium warren can twice, but I guess it's fine. Oh, did I? That's fine. I knew I did something wrong. What up, Soroku? How you doing? This is, so the thing is, is like, this is not the best way to get diamonds, right? So like getting a 4X or whatever is not going to get me this. This is, a, ooh, 995. The thing is, is these guys over here were the ones that were going to get me it. But the thing is, is they're, they were bugged out. Like these are the fastest, some of the fastest spawners you can get, but they were bugged out. And so like, if I look at my diamonds right now, my diamonds should have been going up a long time ago. Like I should have been having these like, it should be way more than one per second, but it's not, which is weird. These guys have a good chance to drop diamonds. And because if I get too far away, some of those get gone. So let's go check on this. this. It's bugged how the spawner agitators didn't work. That was a problem. The spawner agitators didn't work. Mm. Yeah, they don't work, I've noticed. Yep. So now we're just waiting for this. Thought it was a server thing. Apparently not. Yep. Now we just need two more netherrack times fives. One more. Yeah, I was just missing the essence now. Not enough power. Bro, what? Things should have all the power. <clears> hmm. <throat> I thought the water I thought the water wheels was the thing breaking. I was actually kind of scared there for a second. But that actually legit scared me. I was like, oh no. That's not good. Yeah, so netherrack wise, we should be pretty solid. Like this is gonna be easy to get the netherrack. Um diamond. Thing is, is I think it's something to do that it's bugging with this. I think it's I think I actually might have enough. Right? Like if I pull all these out. Hmm. 
No, I guess not. Close, though. Yeah, that is the entire reason why this thing went south. It is because it decided not to give me. It didn't decide not to work. The spawner agitators didn't work. We need another seeds. We don't need dirt seeds. Kind of makes me sad, though. But it's all right. It ain't the end of the world. This is my first speed run, and I think we're doing a good job in terms of... Oh, I needed those. I think we're doing a good job in terms of, like, how fast this was. My, this is my first speed run for this, for all the ones nine. I didn't think even just standing here is not going to be fast enough just because the harvester pylon's not fast enough. Does it work when I'm even in my inventory? I should have been standing here this whole time. So we need to make one more um, 3x here. And so we're missing 577 diamonds blocks. I wonder if it's actually better for me to go harvest the diamonds by myself. I wonder if it's actually better. So how much is that? Because I have looting on my thing. And so netherrack is another thing too. Which I think I got all... Did I get all the netherrack out of here? No. Is there a faster way to empty out your stuff? Make a diamond side potion real quick? I wouldn't need a diamond side potion, right? Netherrack. Oh, it still needs a little bit more. You have diamond side? Could use that. I don't know that I need to do diamond. I wonder if it's faster for me to grow the diamonds like this. Because, like, how many diamonds am I getting per second standing here, right? Versus how many diamonds I'd get by going and mining. So I need to be getting way more than that. This sucks to be the end of my speed run right here. Ugh. The farm and the growing for faster? Yeah, the modular router would be faster. But I think also it's just at this point where it's like, it doesn't really matter too much. Do we use all, are we out of prosperity seeds? That should make me some more diamond seeds. It'd be faster, but it, the thing is, is like, I'd have to make the scythe. And I'm like, kind of worrying if the scythe is worth doing. There's just a mystical flower seed just chilling in the middle there. It's like, don't mind me. The, the fluorite ones actually confuse me. Should have done this earlier. Be like, this isn't fast enough. Or is this full? Okay, it's just not full. Or it's not fast enough, it just was full. All right, so that should give me a bunch of diamonds. Do I, am I not making more diamond seeds here? Or is it just out of diamonds? Is that a diamond? That's all the diamond seeds I made. All right, let's see. I don't want to sit here and just do this diamond whatever. So missing two. I need, I'm almost halfway there. So this if you can make the Othamon's hoe and apply fortune. It does an AOE, unfortunately. There's our netherrack. This actually might be our diamonds too. So 
So nether X, so let's do six X. Can I just straight up make the six X? Still missing some and then four X diamonds. Is it me or did that not help at all? Am I, am I, is that weird of me? Or did that not help at all? You know what I think we need to do? I think we need more soul forges. I think that's what we need to do. Soul forge. I think we need more soul forges. I think we let this thing know I'm accidentally middle mouse click. I think we break this. We put another one on the front. Do I need to soul forge this pipe too? I wonder if that gives it enough power. And then I'm just going to put a soul forge here. Are you going fast enough? So not another right? No, another right in this backpack. I thought I picked them up. Oh, there's more another right right there. That's dirt. All right, there's our netherrack. Now we just need the diamonds. One diamond block. So now I think we just stand over here with the watering can. Is the chunk destroyer done? The chunk destroyer is almost done. And they should make the pulse heading back home. There you go, Soroku. Thank you. I wonder if it's actually more beneficial for me to just... I wonder if you can... Okay, now I've got a... Now I'm kind of wondering something. What is this for? Oh, this is... Yeah, this is just for the part of the star. I'm kind of wondering something, y'all. I wonder if I could just... No. I was wondering if I could just come over here or whatever and just soul forge the plants. I know I could do this easier with, like if I had to plan this out, I'd have done this with the, something different. The final countdown? No, it'll be done in like a minute or two. This is gonna be it. Cause once I get these 142 blocks, we should be good to go. As long as I'm close enough for that to spawn, I think that's fine. Could just hold like this and just farm infinitely. As long as it doesn't give me the extra seeds. There's a bug that gives you the extra seeds sometimes. If you're doing it manually like this, don't hold shift. Soul Surge the Harvester. I don't think I can fit a soul surger in there. To be honest with you. We need to put this in my dang. You can try nine. I can I can't play it. Wait, if you feel the challenge, I can't play nine. You can't. Fido Soul Forge would be good. Yeah, it absolutely would have been good. If I'd have, if I didn't. The thing is, is we should have had the diamonds. I set this up already. Like I had already intentionally set up diamonds, and it was like I put diamonds together with. That's why specifically I grabbed um, earlier. I grab. I don't think I grabbed the cave creeper. I grabbed the cave enderman. But I want to say that I had a, one of these do, drop a diamond. It was for my emeralds. And the Chunk Destroyer should have also given me a ton of diamonds, too. 
And so now we take all these diamond essences out, shove them all in there. And so that should make me my Forex diamond. Missing 41. What, nine? Nine? I wouldn't say it's harder, to be honest with you. Is this done? This is done. Yeah, nine has more mods. I think nine, I did like doing blood magic in nine. Like I liked that it was in there. I liked that extreme reactors with it was in there and it felt like an actual experience. Whereas I felt like before it didn't, you know? I don't know. That's just gonna be me. Oh, hold on. They should have given me a diamond seed. We're throwing that away. You don't sneak. If you sneak, it gives you to you. I think it's a bug. But I don't do dupes, so I delete that. Me personally, anyway. Because I can just sit here and sneak and just get a ton, a ton of diamonds. But there's no point in all that. Ah, 4X. There it is. All right. Now I can ignore all of this stuff and make the dim seed. And I have everything for the diamonds. I have everything for the, the star. So we're going to split. And we're going to get this stuff out. So we need this. We don't need the guy spirit. Wither compass. Pulsating black hole. And then all of these. Make sure that I don't have these messed up anywhere. And so now all we got to do is put it together. So let's grab the Avamod star here. The star recipe. Let's grab his recipe and let's put it together. All right. It's the final countdown, y'all. This is going to be it. This is where we put it all together. And I realize I messed up. Y'all ready for this? Bum, 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 bum. These go in the edges. We have this here, this here, this here, this here, this here, this here. Oh, come on. Oh, wait, can I break that? Please tell me I can break that and not mess up. Okay, cool. I was about to cry. Sometimes I'm like, oh God, did I place this down? Can I place this down? Like, is it going to break if I place this down? Is something going to happen? I can't believe the nether stars weren't our problem. Like that actually impresses me the most. The nether stars weren't even an issue. It wasn't even a close to an issue, which is so weird. That's usually not how that goes. Patrick star in the middle. Oblivion shard in the top. We have the dragon soul on the... Left side, we have the Wither's Compass, which this, if you hold, it gives you Wither. Pulsating Black Hole in the top right. We have the Improbable Probability Device in the bottom middle. Dim Seed is going to go on the right side. And then we have the two Awakening of Supremium here and here. And the Nexus immediate, uh, Nexus Emitter here. And the Philosopher's Fuel here. And is that it? Split. That's it. There it is. The All the Mod Star. Start, stop, wait, pause. That's it, we done, we finished. It's 25, 27 hours, 15 minutes. There it is, 27 hours. All because of some spawners and stuff being messed up. Oh, that makes me so mad. We did it though, it's done. I finished it. The Alamon Star.